Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the greatest auction on the seven seas. That's right. It is whale auction time. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the greatest. Somebody needs to mute their YouTube. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, got a great panel tonight, guys. Um, got uh, a lot of really awesome books. If you are new to the show, make sure you are subscribed so that you can bid and bin and comment. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, bring on the panel here. You can see who is all here. A little bit different lineup this month. So uh, a few people making their debut appearances tonight. We're starting with the myth, the man, the legend himself. That's right. Roman Curtis is in the house. Say hello to the people. The internet's looking top top shelf, buddy. Top shelf. Hey, the picture coming. Buddy, else. That's great. Is the, is the picture coming in okay? Oh, yeah, that looks nice. That looks oh. nice. I'm checking it out. I guess Roman Curtis is staying here tonight. Roman Curtis has nine lots tonight for you guys. Some Mark Jewelers, some heavy books tonight. Just to do it real quick, while MT's got me here, here's four lots for you right here. We got a first, Electra. We got a Dazzler if you want that. So hit me on IG. We got a news standing in the direct if you need. Deadpool. If you need Deadpool, we got a news fan and a direct. We got a theme lot for you tonight. A man wolf lot. First, second appearance in some other man wolf books. We got a big starting off with Rogue, a Rogue and Gambit lots. 21 books. And then we got then we got one more. Here's your Mark Jr. lot here. Starting off with how first Howard the Duck. In a Mark Jeweler. Wow. It's going to be an exciting night, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. You do not go anywhere. And, and my books don't, and my lots don't end today. If you, whatever doesn't sell, see me on Tuesday. <laughs> Miss uh, Lady Fantastic is back with us tonight. What's going on, Miss Caroline? Uh, I am here flying by the seat of my pants. I've got some X Men, I've got some old school Marvel. I've got some DC. We'll see what happens. If you don't like my books, I'm going to cry myself to sleep and write a poem about it. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, I like it. Enthusiasm is, is it bubbling over. Bubbling Woo! Over. I'm just kidding. Here comes Blue Room Paul. That's right. Yeah. Oh, all right. Here. Appreciate everybody being here tonight. Y'all saw what Roman Curtis is doing. We got a bunch of new guys on the panel. Still got to Don't ask me any questions of what's going on tonight. MT is hosting, guys, so y'all message him. I'm just here selling some nice uh, whale books. So, yeah, we're going to get ready to get started. Awesome. Really, Roman Curtis? Golly. <laughs> All right, making his debut appearance on the whale auction. That's right, replay. You can see him on Thursdays here on Strictly. Uh, say hello to the people. Hi, everybody. Yeah, thanks for. Uh, let me join the uh, the whale auction. A little bit nervous, but uh, I'll figure it out. Um, I've got I've got uh, three lots, and uh, I, I I've got yeah, three lots, two X Men lots, really nice lots, and a Miles lot, a really really nice Miles lot that can get really really nice if we if people awesome. are interested. Well, hey, if Paul can do it. Anybody can do it. So I think it'll be fun. Yeah, it's whatever. I, I actually got like 15 messages saying that. Like, <laughs> Without a doubt. Talking about first appearances, here he is, Mr. Nathan Comic Planet. You can check him out. He does a great newsletter, uh, FOMO Loco. Uh, in fact, if you drop me that link, I will put it in the chat. I forgot about that. No worries. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, guys. So um, happy to be back on the whale auction. Um, got a very, very... Um, a lot of books tonight um doing some um astro boy i got some even got some raw uh you know, romita goodness with the tattoos doing you know um some mark jewelers i know mark jewelers are popular right now i got the um rare dc stacks of these coming up tonight and anyone who buys from me i'm doing i'm um uh, reanimating my uh mystery slab so any purchase, whoever wins gets to uh, pick a number and get a slab or two, including a signed Arthur Adams, um, I believe it's an X-Men in one of these 
uh, fancy bubble packs. Wow. So um, not only do you get an awesome deal on a book, but you get a free slab with every purchase. Look at that. Amazing. Incredible. Well, thanks for being with us, buddy. We are definitely looking yep. forward to seeing what you got going on tonight. Um, let's see here. Hi there. So what's up, everybody? I got some of the stuff on my board that are potential lots. I got some other stuff hiding that you never know what I might put up tonight. I've got some banger books, uh, some big time stuff. Uh, special uh, thoughts and prayers out to Mr. Jackal. Can't be with us tonight. Uh He's got a, a stepdaughter not doing well. Granddaughter is also in the hospital, and his wife just fell and uh, oh man, pretty serious yeah, injury. So he mm. will uh, he will be out for probably two weeks, uh, trying to help out. And um, so thoughts and prayers out to him and his family. Uh, special, uh, definitely a, a cherished member of our community here. So. Check on him. Make sure you're saying seeing he's okay. Also, fair warning: there will be a Dapper Dan sighting. He will be mm -hmm. coming. Home, so get your hair jelly out. He does accept mm -hmm. hair jelly payments. Um, a little bit different. A uh, little bit different format to the whale auction, guys. So you want to stay tuned because things happen a lot faster on this show than they do on the normal auctions. Um, we start the auction right away. And uh, if during the auction people have some buy it now as they want to show, that's fine. But it has to happen during the auction lot. Everything starts at a hundred dollar minimum start bid and goes up from there. Um, if the the clock will be on the uh, screen the entire time, we will do sixty second runoffs if so required to get ourselves a winner. And I'm gonna go ahead and plead for some likes right now, guys. If we can. Whale auction, it takes 125 likes before we do a giveaway. I typically give away a slab at 125 likes. So if we can hit that number, we will go ahead and do that. Um, we will send Linda out to look for likes. Good old Linda Carter. She gets likes every time. So she's also really good at finding them. Uh, shameless promotion of Linda. Shameless. But if you weren't old enough to appreciate Linda Carter, I'll give you a little bit of this. I know uh, Champ <laughs> or a little bit of this, maybe. Yep, I know. Shameless. Um, all right, a couple quick housekeeping items. Uh, we do auctions three times a week here. Normal auctions, a little bit more laid back than today's real auction, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. Same bat time, same bat channel for all our shows. Also, please give us a follow over on the Facebook and the Instagram Strictly Comics group for the Red X. Or you can use a black one if you don't have a Red X key, because I heard that's not a thing. Um, give us a follow at 100 followers. I'm going to select their lucky follower and give them a graded copy of the first appearance, first cover appearance of Mr. Sinister. You are here. It is the day for the whale auction. So the next one will be a month away from today. Paul's going to pop up this Saturday. It's all Jim Lee all night long, as for what I hear. The next Saturday, tune in for that. And then two weeks from now, May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo, the return, or what is it, Revenge of the 5th, uh, will be our vintage comic book auction. Those are a little bit heavier on gold, silver, and bronze books where tonight you can... Cinco de Mayo. Right. Wait next, a minute. I'm Oh, never mind. Go see our buddies over on uh, uh, Madhouse. They do shows Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Helvetica is a great member of the community. We like to help him out. He helps us out. It's all good. $100 minimum start bids. I need to get your starting bid before you show the books. And we're just going to start slanging books. Oh, I forgot to call out the chat. Yeah, I'm so excited to start selling you guys books. I missed the chat. GT Key Comics, first one in the door. Appreciate you, buddy. Thanks for all the early bird support. Robert is here looking for Jackal. Sorry, Jackal's not going to be with us, buddy. Surgeon for X-Men is here. He is awesome. Surgeon for X-Men. So make sure you got some of those ready to go. Miss Liz is in here. Already counting likes for Appreciate you, Miss Liz. Uh, how are they late for a whale auction? Only ones to find this. No, no, it's not strange whatsoever. We like to build the anticipation. Lucian Carmen's here. Uh... The comic industry has crashed hard today, no longer. <laughs> yeah, I wish that were true. Um, happy 420. Oh, that's right. It's hippie lettuce holiday today. So let us know uh, if you're at hippie home lettuce. Uh, taking in the, the herb. Uh, Kenneth Bird is here. What's up, Kenneth Bird? Good to see you. Uh, hashtag Team Paul. Oh, you're out of here. That's warning one. Please start doing <laughs> 
Dapper Dan is here. That's right. Going to be a great show. I saw the books that Dapper Dan is bringing tonight. Uh, definitely going to be some great stuff Dapper Dan will be bringing, so he will be here soon. Mystic Traveler's here. What's up, Mystic? Good to see you. Uh, hashtag Russian. Okay. I w she didn't strike me as a Russian, but I'll take it. Archangel's here. What's up, Archangel? Is is Darth Vader on the panel? Yeah, yeah, that's Roman Curtis. Yeah, his Roman. name's Roman <laughs> Curtis. <laughs> Darth Roman's on a uh, PlayStation. <laughs> it uh, is. I'm Darth Roman's on on PlayStation. <laughs> Ramonis. Ramonis. Good to see you, buddy. JD Ingram is in the house. Oh, look at this. Look at this. OG supporter of the show. Michael Comics 54 is descended. Great to see you, good buddy. Old DC Dave in the house. David Anderson. Looking for some DC books as always. All right, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and start slanging some books. If there's something in particular you're looking for, drop in the chat. We'll do our best to dig something out for you. But let's go ahead and start with Mr. Rowan himself. What's your starting bid, buddy? Starting bid. Uh, I'll take a gamble. 250. 250 books. For twenty-one books, all raw. This is a theme lot. It is rogue and the gambit lot. So let's go through them. Two fifty, twenty-one books. Um, all of them. Yeah, just yeah, just about all of them. A very fine tenure mint. I'll describe the last two. So we got a David Nakayama, Virgin variant. We got an unknown comics version variant of Rogue. We got another unknown comics version variant of Gambit. Another virgin version variant of Rogue. Virgin variant of Gambit. Where'd you get these, Roman cards from NT? From everybody. We got, another, we got another version of a Rogue. This is Rogue Gambit issue number five. With a we got, the, <laughs> we, we got the whole Rogue one through five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, from our series, yeah. We got the whole Rogue one through five. Oh, and now we got somebody. Now we got Gambit. Do you know what the uh, book count is here? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-one books. books. Two hundred fifty dollars starting bid. He's going to keep showing the lots here, guy. Or still showing the books. I'll That's the Gambit from the Gambit series. Yep. Solo series. Yep. Man, you ain't throwing the gold one, Roman Carter. I don't have. I wish. If I had the gold one, I'd be keeping it. <laughs> Got the five five book series of Rogue and Gambit. <laughs> wow. That's nineteen books, so of course it's two books left. Gotta give you a very fine near mint. Oh, there you First go. First appearance of Rogue. Wow. Look at that. Well, that's, that's more than half the starting bid right there. Dang. You're only paying $11.90 a book, guys. $11 and of course, if I'm going to give you a rogue, I'm gonna give, this is like a 6.5. I'm going to give you a gambit. Oh. First dirty appearance. Dirty duck. Well, that's 21 book lot. Yeah, There's your main two books right there. Yeah, you're, you're, those two books are already paying for your starting bid, guys. You're only paying $12 a book right now. $12 a book. And maybe we'll start the bidding at $250. First Rogue, first Gambit. We got the Rogue Gambit series. We'll start all over from scratch. Just flip them back over. Yeah, I like the theme there, Roman Kermit. I'm trying to come with a theme tonight. I have so many of these. Rogue. David Nakayama. Right. So we got a rogue version variant, Snakiyama. Mm -hmm. Another rogue version variant. Was that Ken Kendrick? Like Linux. And 
Yeah, but this is the gamut number one, Marky, uh, Marco Maserati, 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 Maserato, something like that, from Unknown Comics. <laughs> I didn't write it down for this one here. Once you get all these virgin variants of Rogue and Gambit, i not ready for this one either. And then you get the one of them together. I know that's number five by Rico. Rogue and Gambit issue five by Rico. And then you get the Rogue series. All right, guys, there's a first appearance of Rogue, a first appearance of Gambit in this set. You're also going to get their first self-titled solo series. They did both did miniseries, Gambit and Rogue. You're going to get that and a slew of modern virgin variants. All for $2.50 starting bid. That's only $12 a book. And uh, you get a nice, crispy, mint copy of the first appearance of Rogue. And uh, what would you say, like the VF copy of the first Gambit? Yeah, six six five. Was that very fine plus? Yeah. Fine plus. What the hell of a deal! You got your, uh, you got those two books paid for with the with the opening bid here, and you get all these extra bonus on top of it, gang. Yeah. Yeah, let's just hold them bad boys up here. We got about two minutes left on the clock here. Um, anybody want to start bidding at two fifty? I thought that was pretty. I thought that was, that's a hell of a deal, especially for a direct copy. That's a high grade, six percent direct copy of the first appearance of Rogue. That's a beautiful looking book. Beautiful book. We got this. The guy got it from. Has that six five, so you see, he had a six five. So I thought it was lower, but then I looked. I didn't know. I thought it was a beat up one from a distance. You get up on it, it's a little better. Needs a press, but you got first gamut, first rogue, and gamut rogue series, first rogue series, first gamut series, and like you said, a bunch of virgin variants of both. That's a hell of a twenty one. 21 books. The Rogue Gammy Badge. $12 a book. $12 a book for the first Rogue, first Gambit, first Rogue miniseries, first Gambit miniseries, and a school of great artwork on the Virgin Variants. What are you doing? Wow. Nobody. I tried. I tried to put something together. That's a hell of a lot. That's a great lot. I mean, Rogue and, and Gambit, super hot right now. Get that rogue booty. Find out what happened to Gambit. He's going to rise from the grave. All right, just a few seconds left. Well, you know what, guys? You can always hit up Mr. Ron Curtis on the Instagram. Scroll at the bottom of the screen. Work yourself out a deal. I can't believe nobody jumped on this. I'm sure he will get a instagram message over this one all right guys fair warning on the end line fair warning on the end line end line coming down thank you mr roan for opening the show that was actually fantastic fantastic opening the show thank you great lot no problem let me get to the last two books one last time that's in a lot of 21 books these two plus 19 others so awesome awesome we'll see you all next right Thanks, see buddy. you next round Miss Caroline, would you starting bid, my dear? A uh, hundred dollars, please. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do an X Men lot, and this first X Men lot, it's five books. But now, um, sorry, mind you, they're all like midish grade. They're not in the best shape. So, with that in mind, here's issue ninety five. Wow. And I'll show you the issue with 95. Um, Roman, you may need to move the micro microphone away from your face a little bit more. We're listening. Oh, okay. You breathe pretty <laughs> Okay. Do you see that in the top? Look at the top. Yeah, just a little bit of chipping there. Yeah, it's chipping. So, this is the... Uh, 
third appearance. This is the third appearance of the all new, all different X Men. So, just to keep it, you know, 100% transparent, <coughs> this could do with a nice press and clean. Uh, there's that. There's issue 97. I, this I like is that mid grade. Issue. Yeah. Mid, mid, mid grade. So, not the best. Yeah. But Buckle. 95, 97. There's 107. First Star Jammers. Star Jammers. Mega key issue. But mid condition. Mid. M I D. It's a pretty nice looking mid grade copy there. It's right. mid. Was that Warbird, ain't it? That the Warbird? Yeah. 95? Yeah. Yeah. And a see, crease. Again, these are mid grade copies. Star Jammers. Um, and then I've got. This is probably the best condition of the bunch is the 115. Uh, but you'll see it still has some ticks. All right. So there's that 115. And then the final book is 116. All right. That's uh shoot. Mid grade. That is a key issue. Uh is that adamantium? Fastball special, maybe? God, I can't remember. So there's that. Anyways, uh that's the lot. So X-Men ninety five, X-Men ninety seven, X-Men one oh seven. X Men 115. I love Sauron. X Men 116. The only thing is, these are all mid grade. These are not. Um, these are not great shape. But if you need fillers, readers, this is twenty bucks a book. Twenty bucks a book for these great X Men books. So I'm just saying. Carolyn tends to undergrade her books. I buy a lot from her, so I know. Yeah, I like that Sauron book. And uh, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna I'll do one add-on. If you if you add two, if you add another one hundred dollars, I have some nicer ones. But just wait, hold on. This is one thirty-one, okay? Ooh. But now look, it's got an issue, and here's the main issue. Um, well, some. Chipping, see? Mm -hmm. six, six. And this one is bad because it's got a little, looks like a quarter of an inch rip. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay? Now, this is the worst shape of these three that I'm throwing in. Okay? So there's that. This one is the nicest shape. I think it could be a contender for 9-6-ish. You clean this. I only see one little tick on it. First, uh, first full there, of Hellfire Fire Club. Fire Club. That's the tick. That's not bad at all. And then that I don't see anything else. Okay. <laughs> so what? What are you still got? Hold on, hold on. Great, great, great. One thirty-three would be the last book. So at two hundred, all of the books. So I'll add these other three in. What grade is that bad boy in? This. These are the only issue with this is at the top. So at this, I would say 9.0 to 9.4. You need to do, you need to press this and you may get higher, but I would say 9.0, 9.4. But then the rest of it down here, oh, she is perfect. But what you need, need to do is you need to press this girl because this oh, corner is okay. a little, a little crinkly, but. Go ahead. You can highlight. That's fine. Um, yeah, I you want to go ahead because everything's in. 
Yeah, all the books are in. Let's go ahead and go back to the start and let's recap everything that's in, in this lot here because you got a bunch of really big X Men keys in here. And we yes, want to sure. be okay, uh, in order. Um, all right, here we go. We've got for the, this for $205 X Men 95 mid condition, mid, M I D. Death of Thunderbird, third appearance of Nightcrawler, first time they use Banff. In his teleporting power. Okay. Issue 97. Mid. Mid. M-I-D. This is uh, first cameo appearance of Lalandra. Uh, first appearance of the second Eric the Red. First use of the name Polaris by Lorna Dane. That's why I think this is a huge key. First use of the word Polaris. It's a badass habit cover. Uh, Colossus's first name is revealed to be Pita. Pita. Pieter. Um, Pieter. 102, sorry, 107, Star Jammin'. Yep. First full appearance of the Star Jammers, debut of Wolverine's Fang costume, first appearance of the Shi'ar Imperial Guard, and the first appearance of McCran Crystal. Why do they make boots like that? I mean, that these are the questions, Farron. None of those superheroes on the X Men covers ever smile. I mean, it's a serious business. Fire like, signs want to know. One fifteen. Hey girl, hey girl, wake up, please. We need you to wake up, Queen. Wake up, Queen. <laughs> I love Storm so much. She's playing possum. I think she's I dead in that one. She's gonna. She elect did in that one. But go she's ahead. Not Paul. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to pressure Storm into prom sex. <laughs> that is uh, that is the uh, first uh, introduction of Wolverine's healing powers, although they only hint at it. Um, and uh, first time it's implied Wolverine took a life of an enemy, so he gets he gets a murder rap in this one. <laughs> um, this is a really great issue. For White Queen. Um, unfortunately it's got, so this is lower mid. Um, the biggest problem with this one is that it is got a quarter inch tear here. It could be half inch, you know. All right. You want me to go into overtime? Yeah. Yeah. We're into overtime now. All right. And so, and then we go oh, okay. This one I think is candidate worthy. Yeah. Um, no, not nine eight, but I would say nine four, nine six. Yes, totally. Yes, nine four, nine six. Please smash that like button, gang. And and one of the most expensive books you have in this lot is that uh, Solo Wolverine. So make Ooh, sure Roman Curtis said two twenty five. There you go, this, Roman Curtis. I say is nine zero oh to nine four material that's so on the well show guys we do 260 right. seconds and after this will be 30 seconds that's right this is early direct yeah. um the this, reason why 90 to 94 is see these creases here at the top yeah right i mean this is a 150 200 book all on its own so. that's the that's the problems here and then as we go down it gets it's just immaculate yeah, everything X Men is red hot right now, and especially Wolverine issues. This is basically like factory condition with crinkle up in the upper left hand corner. And then that's it. I mean, this is a fun. I think a really good. You're getting a good value. Absolutely, two thirty. Crazy good value. Ton of good value. Thirty, 30 so, seconds, guys. Y'all keep in the bids. What's the uh, total book count here again? Uh. I believe it is eight. So we've got um, one. So you're 15. under $30 a book, $25 a book here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All and right. That was the timer. Oh. Roman Curtis got it. Another 30 second. Yeah, eight. Also, I have this thing. 
if we show buy it now, do the buy it now have to be over a hundred? Uh, that's technically the rule. Yeah, uh, just say yes if it's yeah. the rule. Like, okay, I'll show this, and if anybody wants it for a hundred, they can. Uh, shit, they can have it. But I don't know anything, Bunny. I'll have to find. Oh, here it is. Seven books. Okay. Oh, let me show this. You know what? I'll just show it next round. Did you reset that clock, buddy? Nope. There we go. We can reset, Mr. Rowan Curtis. God, there's so much value here, guys. You got two resellers bidding on this because there's just a ton of freaking value here. I'm going to go once more under the breach. And if Roman wants to beat me at this, because like, yeah, I think we're at Roman's budget right now. So I you think you're good. There's two books in here that are $300 easy. And then you get all the other stuff on top of it for free, essentially. Um, uh, amazing. Nobody's in it. Nobody else is in on this. This is an incredible lot. Oh, there you go. I think we hit Roman Curtis's budget. I'm buying up X-Men collections. Anybody willing to sell them to me? Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. He found some change. There he is at 280. He probably found that roll of $5 quarters over there on his couch. All right, remind me what grade that Star Jammer book is again. One more time, please. Star Jammers. Let's look at it together, friend. I say it's a mid grade. Um, I'd put it. Gosh, I'm not a grader. So I'd put it at an A O, maybe? I don't oh, yeah. That's no, yeah. Oh, geez. Mid grade 8 she says. All right. Because see, look at the ticks. Fine, 6 0. I can buy that. Agent Smith, we don't. <laughs> All right. In, you are. in line, coming down. Oh, wait. Yeah, he is right. I would say because of the crease and the yeah. ticks, it is probably more of a 6 0 or 7 right. you know, 5. In line, coming down. Like I said, I have to preface things by I am not a grader. I'm not perfect. All right, Roman Curtis is the winner. Sometimes I do over. Sometimes I do under. Anyways, the things I wanted to show um, are these Thundercats, UK Thundercat things. And I, I can show them, you know, the next time I go around. But yeah, think about it. These are fun. Um, you had a great round. Great lot. Thank you. We ran a little bit long on that one, guys. But hey, that. Because uh, Miss Carolyn will be back next round with some more awesomeness. Some more awesomeness. Let's keep things moving along here. Who do I have up? Uh, I've got, oh, Mr. Paul Comics is next. What's up, buddy? All right. 150 starting bid. Good, sir. All right. I'm going to do this book. 5-5, five, five, Captain America 100, Jack Kirby, Stan Lee. First start of his solo run. That's yeah. a great book. It's a great book, and my God, is that a candidate for the uh, for cracking it out and removing the tanning? Uh, one of my all-time. Yeah, a... And uh, so, Paul, go ahead. Let's see the front again. Is this the variant or is this the regular one? No, I think this is. Show me the title up close. Yeah, I think it's a. Uh... That's the regular one. Okay, so it has yeah, the yellow. It has behind the title all right i mean uh i'm assuming you had this pressed right or did you buy it like this boy that doesn't yeah, look i bought it just like no that. that's not that's not pressed at all yeah look at that all can come out i would break that out in a heartbeat well, okay. i mean i was going i was going got a gloss that. on it too yeah, I mean, I'm getting pretty good at doing the acid removal uh, process. It is extremely time-consuming, but if it's on a book like this, it's worth the effort. Um, okay, guys, that's the book here. We'll go ahead and start the timer here, guys. Anybody want to break the ice? Oh, look at that. Christian V must be in the heart of Appalachia. It's already bidden 150 
Archangels back at 160. This is a fire book, guys. One of my all-time favorites. Those who watch the auctions know I have a big plaque of this hanging on my wall. Yeah, I mean, they can hit you pretty hard for, for, for shadow lines more so than uh, for tanning. Um, but that can actually be removed. I was surprised at how much of the shadow line I was able to get out um, on the X-Men 8 I just did. Yeah, guys, iconic uh, cover. Been homage, but you got Jack Kirby's goodness right here. Got all the characters. Yep, you were just selling one of the Mickey Mouse versions of this here. Although yeah, it's funny so, yeah. because the wall art they sell in uh, Hobby Lobby, they couldn't get the licensing for Iron Man, so they took Iron Man off of this image to do the the wall art that they sell in Hobby Lobby. It was they did it oh, right. Iron Man in the back. Yeah, when the Iron Man movie first came out, is when they started doing them, and they couldn't didn't want to pay the extra fee to do Iron Man. Canada's best fan is MT. <laughs> Like like Nathan was saying, another bunch of I think it's, I agree with him, like a bunch of stuff that can be pressed out. Oh yeah, there's definitely pressable defects here. If, if you know somebody is really nice that is capable of doing the uh acid removal, tanning removal, I think this is a prime candidate for that. Or even LED. I mean, you could without even messing with the uh yeah, to, but yeah, yeah I heard about it's a little too. bit of whitening. Just be careful. Yeah, don't. Here's don't the careful. problem here, and I'll tell people. Or I can do a peroxide light bath for you guys. You know. Yeah, you I would. Uh, I would not do. I don't recommend you doing peroxide treatment, and I definitely don't recommend you doing blue light on anything that's got a lot of red ink on it because it'll turn red ink pink in a heartbeat. Oh, um, really? Okay. So you got to be real careful with that. But yeah, you could you could certainly mask the rest of it and just focus on the on the shadow lines and probably improve the grade by at least point point and a half. Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, everybody's Captain America fan has this book in their collection. Starts off the his solo series. Look, Cap in his own magazine at last. Some Clorox. That's right. Peroxide light bath. All right, guys. Um, I didn't. I'm too busy doing other things here. But my God, I just use Clorox. <laughs> happy to crack this sucker out. Um, yeah, like Nate. Nate said. Uh, yeah, I think it's a crack resubmit type. I think if you clean this book up, you're looking it, it up to a two point. Increase. Thank you, Nathan, for helping me out. I don't know what MT's doing, but. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> no worries, man. I'm here. I'm here for you. <laughs> God, this is a great price on this book. This is the deal. There's just so much room for improvement here. Show that spine one more time. Gotcha. Yes, sir. I mean, that top corner doesn't look that bad. One, one, yeah, there's one. I don't know. That, is that a tick or what is that little right it near just, his face? I think it's like a little. I don't you know. think it's a tick. It's just. It, down from there. No, not that. Down from I, there, I right near his face. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. What be, is uh, that? That's weird. Could be just a scratch or part where it didn't, uh, like a printer didn't print, issue. Didn't print right because yeah. there were a lot of different errors there. Yeah, so, a thing. but the good gloss, good gloss on there. Yeah, I was, I was commenting that earlier. Yep. Staples look relatively clean from what we can see. I mean, that, but you don't have like. I'm not seeing ticks that are like bigger than quarter inch or so. So I think I think you could get this into the sevens for sure. Uh, what lady? Well, the, the lovely lady's in. Mm -hmm. You looked it up. Show me the back. Yeah, she went to go collect. Uh oh, show JX. Show me the back again, buddy, please. Yes, sir. Let me turn it. I mean the corners. I mean. Not having rounded corners is a pretty big deal on this book, and those corners look pretty dang crispy for a Silver Age. All right, that'll put us into overtime, gang. That's overtime shot clock. Uh, we do uh, two 60-second shot clocks, then 30 seconds. Right now, Jax Pitalex is in the lead. Thank you, sir. 
uh, looks like uh, Brewfront is going to bow out. So uh, that should be anybody. Oh, Archangel still in on this. Archangel, if you want to want to bid again, um, anybody can still bid here with thirty five seconds left. Yeah, you're getting a good deal at two two thirty. For, for more than two thirty, guys. But yeah, first solo, Captain America, Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, and a five five. Like MT was saying, and Nathan got potential to get higher. Yeah, I crack the, books all the time, and that one's definitely definitely a candidate. Can you take me? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, showing. I'm gonna be showing some CPR books tonight. All right, fair warning, guys, on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. I don't want to force post stuff from premature end line. We don't do that. We, do, we got pills for that. All right, congratulations, JX Pillex. You got yourself a fantastic oh, win. Uh, you know, the bill with the small comics. There's his Instagram scroll at the bottom of the screen. Appreciate that. Uh, Appreciate Curry, it. Everybody, again, to smash that like button for us. We will do a giveaway if we can breach 125 <laughs> likes. We will ask Jennifer, Thank you, buddy. ask Jennifer to see if she can get us a like or two. She is just that good. That's right. Um, that's Thank right. you. Vader it is. All right. Uh, this guy snuck in the back door here. You want to say hello real quick there, Dapper Dan? Hey, what's up, everyone? Appreciate y'all coming out. This is uh, my first time being on this specific auction, so I'm excited. Appreciate you, MT, for inviting me. At least you could have cleaned your blinds a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Mr. Collector? I make sure right. to take my aspirins. No, what's up? Definitely. <laughs> All right, let's go on over to Bree Play, see what he's got going on for his first round. What's the starting bid there, good buddy? All right, guys, it's going to be $100 starting bid. Um, we got six X-Men books, uh, all before issue 94. Some Silver Age, uh, some Bronze, early, early Bronze. I'll show them. And we have two minutes to show the books, and then we'll do a five-minute bidding period. But 45 so listen, I had this whole lot to be safe, um, VG to find. This book here is the only book that has a little bit of an issue. It definitely has an issue. The top staple is detached um, from the cover, but the interior of the book is completely fine. All right, I'll show you the back. This book would be much higher grade if that wasn't happening. Uh, I got number 53. This is uh, first Barry Windsor mm -hmm. Smith cover art. Yep. yep. Really nice very, cover. It's a really gorgeous cover. I, I one of my favorite early X-Men's. And this is one that's more in the in the fine, fine plus range. 77. 79. This one the covers black cover. Yeah. You know. Got some ticks. Yeah, it's an old book. Still, nice, nice looking whites on that. The backs of these, and these have never been pressed or cleaned. I really don't mess with Silver Age books. I buy them, but I don't, I don't submit them, so I don't really clean or press them. Number eighty-five. Let's see. Eighty-six. Hopefully that's coming through pretty good. And then I do have two more. We'll see how it goes. I got these two guys. This is the this is the first or the, the last book in that uh holy smokes, that's in on this one? No, no, no. These can come in. So let's see how oh, this goes. When do they when do they come in? Well, just cut to it. Uh. <laughs> well, all right, so this this is the first Scott Summers. First appearance of Scott oh, Summers. Oh, yeah, well yeah, aware. yeah. I'm well okay. aware. That Hulk book is an expensive freaking book. And, and so I, 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 in, all right, in my notes, I had 225 would bring in 
that would bring that would bring everything in. Well, they're all in. That would be eight. Okay, so they're all in. All right, I'll start showing the books. You guys start the clock. Oh yeah, we're here. So, got the there. There it goes. There it goes. All right. So the first one you got is the Cyclops. That's the one that's still. I think they're still doing backup origin stories in that issue still. Right. Forty-five. Are they done by then? I don't. I don't know. Oh no. I think they're done here. But uh, let me get. No, actually, here. no. They do. They do. There it is. The backup origins run through forty-nine. So you're through forty-nine. Okay. And remember, this one has a detached top cover. I just want to say that one more time. Detached. This top has the. I think this has the origin of Angel in it as well. So it's not just the first. Oh, yeah. you know what? No, that's the Havoc book. I'm sorry. This is just the Barry Smith or Barry Windsor Smith first cover art. You want to give rough grades on these while you show them too? Yeah. So the first six I'm showing are, I'm, I'm just saying VG to fine, man. I, they're Silver Age. I'll show you the backs if anyone call it out I'll, I'll pull a book out if you want to see the backs wow monster lot monster x-men lot here gang don't sleep on this uh we'll show this so this is the um first alex <clears throat> summers um, origin of Angel becomes Havoc. I think that's second one of Dane. I gotta look that one up now. I don't know. Uh, um, uh, first appearance and origin of Alex Summer becomes Havoc in, in 56. First appearance of the living Pharaoh later becomes the living monolith and the origin of the Angel. Yeah, origin of Angel. Yeah, I got you, buddy. Really nice lot. Um, uh, I guess my helper is here. Ah, there's the brains of the operation just came through the door. Oh, no, no, all right. Now, no, it's another should, Philadelphia Philly fan. No. I yeah. need to talk about this one here, guys, real quick. You should know this is one of the more expensive issues in this, uh, in this era. It's the final appearance of the original X Men title. Um, they started reprints shortly thereafter um actually you know what this is the last yeah. story before yeah. they get to all new all different x-men in issue 94 this is also the crossover uh that you can read about in amazing adventures explaining the x-men went into hiding due to public outrage resulting in this battle with the hulk in vegas see uh uh, Cyclops lost all his money at craps and uh, took it out. Oh. <laughs> fine. Uh, you can see the back is really, I mean, it needs to be clean, but it's white, man. This, this is a pretty high grade copy of this book. A high, a high grade copy, according to the book value, is about 500 some dollars. So, um, this is a that's a book is, value. This is a big book, dude. That is a very big book. book. This is a big book, too. God. Yeah, don't sleep on X Men. Go up at this point. Can you highlight here for me, Paul, please? Gotcha. Get a post something. Here. So you got eight books total. Couple now you got four Silver Age books, I believe, and four really early bronze. It's a great cover. And then you got the first Barry Windsor Smith cover art. Origin Origin of Angel, first Living Pharaoh, first Alex Summers, who later becomes Havoc. And then you have the last issue, uh, number 66, um, before they started doing the reprints until, I guess, issue nine, well, until Giant Size, and then and then issue 94 was the new X-Men team. We got 22 seconds. This is a pretty high-grade copy, man. This is, 
And again, none of these have been cleaned and pressed. This, you will absolutely bump, bump this. There's just some minor things that could be cleaned and pressed. Hey, this. Okinawa Jarheads here. Good to see you. Wow, there's a lot of value in this. All right, that'll put us into overtime, 60 second shot clock territory. I'll show oh, them again. Issue 45. <clears throat> Eight books total. Big fan of that, Barry Windsor. Yeah, 53. Seventy-seven. Please get into the reprints. Mm -hmm. Here, y'all help out replays, man. He looks nervous on here, guys. Look how he's shaking those books, man. Am I, am I shaking the books? No, you're, you're nervous, nervous, man. Sorry. Right. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm loosening up. Seventy-nine. Now I'm gonna start shaking the books. Eighty-five. Wow, y'all gonna let him get these for two fifty, guys? I'm gonna put up a monster, a monster first key appearance. 86. Uh, in, a, in a few minutes, guys, hang tough because I'm going to start it at 100 bucks. I might be out of my fucking mind. But I've got uh, I've got good one's going to beat you. You think? We'll All right. That was the timer, guys. And Go your box, buddy. All right. Well, I'm excited to see what Nate is about to put up. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I'm coming down. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Drop it. I forgot about that. Yeah, I got it. You. She is the winner. Please keep smashing that like button, guys. We're about ready uh, to head on over to where are we at here? Um, Dapper Dan, are you are you ready? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna uh, let you. We already got you talked up. We got you here. All right, buddy, go ahead. Give me your All right, thanks. Bid. Oh, you already told me every starting bid is a hundred bucks. I got. Yeah, all my bids are starting at 100 even though the books are worth, obviously, much more. Um, thanks again for having me. Uh, as usual, I do, with every purchase, you get a uh, chance at a mystery envelope. You buy a book or two from me, and you pick a number. These are slabs. They're worth at least 30 or 40 bucks each. Uh, we're going to start tonight with some first appearance um, uh, book with first appearances. So, um, new mutants. Oh crap. I got, I got the sun. Sorry for being California. We still have sunlight. So, uh, new mutants, number 98, uh, as you guys know, obviously Deadpool's first appearance, um, Domino, um, and then, um, a Gideon. character. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Thanks a lot. Gideon. Um, so I'm going to start this at 100 and Any copycat in there too. Yeah, it's, well, it's Domino as copycat, right? Copycat. Um, guys, no, uh, copycat. monster. So, so the question is, did you submit this yourself, or is this a CPR candidate? This is from my PC, so I did submit it, and this is before I uh, was doing pressing and cleaning. So, okay. you know, I don't, I don't know. It could be. I didn't even think about that. It could be a candidate, um, but my collection, which I carry here all the way from Texas was very clean and very well taken care of. I've been collecting since the uh, late 90s, so um, there's a little Florida? dot there. I think that's Texas pretty... to go to California? Oh, God. Yeah. What part did you leave? Uh, San Antonio. Oh, okay, yeah, you were uh, Born and, and raised, man, me. yeah. Austin. Well, I mean, that is, uh, that is the funny part about this is Gideon was the reason we originally collected this book. Nobody really cared about Deadpool yeah. and Gideon. Uh, Rip Ty wants the CGC number so we can look up the grading notes. Uh, the cheapest 7.5 you can buy on the fee bay is going to cost you 300 bucks, guys. So, uh, this is a, a little bit closer for the number. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, turn How much closer. I can get I, I've Here, got, I've picture. got a glare on my side, so I'm trying. Is that I'll, good? Uh, I'll read it off 399-0114. Zero zero three for all you and, at home. It's an expiration date and the three digits on the back of the credit card. Yeah, there you go. Huh. Um, he's on. He's in. And this is a <laughs> newsstand, guys. Nice. And a newsie, absolutely. Yeah, and nice. that, you know, but he doesn't know, like we said. So, 
uh, first appearance of Domino. Whoa, uh, Dave's in on a on a Marvel. This is a Marvel book, Dave. Later became so remember, we got a movie coming out, little one with uh, another small character named Wolverine. Brian Reynolds. He's going to get more and more popular as the movie gets closer. Oh, don't do it, DC. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't do it, DC, Dave. Yeah, he's in the lead. He can't fold, Dave. <laughs> you want I would go ahead and, and spine slide this because sure. this is a really And good again, new stand. Yeah, new stand. Yeah, that error. He's deceiving. Uh, that that yeah. those uh, vertical lines are the artwork from the back. No, that's the artwork. Yeah, from the from the back. You know the the print. Right. So, what is your thoughts on was this graded accurately or not? Uh, I think it could be a little higher, but again, um, okay. I just I set a ton of books in about I don't know how long ago um, without before I knew how to press and clean and everything, so didn't have the knowledge. Corners are looking good. The corners do look good. I mean, trying to figure out why this guy's 7.5. Somebody does pull a greater note, let us know, because I'm not seeing where how this got to a 7.5 unless there's some interior issue going on. Who was looking it up? Maybe you can tell us, put the notes Rick in. Rick Tide was looking it up, I think. Um, yeah. The issue is, is like, it's really easy to not see the... Uh, yeah, so he's still in the lead at 125, guys. Um, Rick Ty's back at 130. You're so in the lead no more, Dave. It's hard for us to see if there's ticks or not because of the artwork on the back mm -hmm. in the case. Uh, to me, to my eye, I could not find a, a, a color-breaking tick, although I'm assuming there has to be one, right? Uh, light bends to cover, moderate creasing to cover. That's what got a 7.5. All right, so that means that press will get that all got all out. Jesus. All right, well, Paul <laughs> highlight kids. I'm going to have to get All right, so okay, I need to increase my uh, initial start. Well, Mr. Collector's in the lead at 150 MT, so we're at your budget, so you be careful. Well, look at that. That's, yeah, there's nothing there. Oh, Baron's in. God. I've got a higher grade, but it's funny. This one's, hang on. Uh, nope, those aren't ticks. That's a stupid brick wall. Yeah, that's the, yeah, the bricks on uh, the, that. Uh, that corner's a little, little, little problem. That corner, but nothing major. You that can't corner? really show these slabs that good. Yeah, especially yeah, I got to turn my lights down. Hmm. All right, Arch, Arch is in at two fifteen. Here's the bottom. This isn't Paul's facsimile. <laughs> the newsstand guy is seven five. He said there's a potential for a crack and resubmit. Nice. Mr. Collector's still in, guys. So y'all be careful. I heard he got his bonus today, so y'all yeah. be careful. Yeah, I'm creeping. <laughs> Mr. Collector's for the streets. <laughs> 220 to MT. Wish it would focus better. Yeah, it's hard on these to really get up. Uh, yeah, and the camera's not built for this. It's like, you know, in. One of those cameras that are in the monitor. <laughs> All right, we're in overtime, guys. Overtime shot clock. Here we go. Two sixty seconds and a thirty seconds. So y'all get the bids in. Oh, Mister Collector, better put up some miles, or he's fired from the panel. Damn. <laughs> He's saying tilt the monitor down or turn the brightness down. No, I did, but then I can't. If I turn it too low, I yeah. can't see you. I, can, I guess see. I can look up the other monitor. All right, recess okay. the timer. One more 60 second. Mr. Collector's right, so, still in. Uh, you guys are bidding coming up. I've got a uh, sign to remark Eastman. Uh, no, it wasn't one. me. Turtles. 
And then uh, I've got a raw 238 with the tattoos. Mm. Uh, a ton of MJs. I'm going to let them go in stacks. 100 bucks a stack. Um, all right, I, got, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Submariner 1, Batman 181. Ooh, so a lot you of... Uh, it has no pinup. Oh, no pinup. Oh. Yeah. You'd make a great salesman, by the way. He says, uh, uh, explain your bonus to the buyer. Oh, sorry. Anyone who buys a book, anyone who wins, gets to choose. Mystery slam. Mystery slam. So, yeah, I can. All right. That Mystery was the 10. timer. So there is a line coming down. Slab in this one. There's like every every one of these has a slab. I mean, one has two slabs because they were kind of. Uh oh. Of Comic dog got upset. All right, end line coming down, guys. What are we at? What are, what do we end up at? We're going to be two thirty-five. What a deal. MT. Wow. All right. MT. Pick a number. Where did MT go? Oh no, Jeez. MT. Jeez. MT's so excited. What the hell, MT? You're so Body excited, hit. you're gone. MT, tap twice on your microphone three. if you're, three. If you're alone. Three. Oh, three. Okay. Blink, blink if you need assistance, MT. Exactly. Blink if you need assistance. <laughs> I think that was Comic <laughs> Dog being <up. laughs> Comic Dog <laughs> took over. <laughs> All right. So, oh. what the hell is going on? Three. Okay. Three. Two, he says he wants a three. All right, they're upside down. Sorry. All right, got you, buddy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't go. All right, here no, we go. I, I, I wasn't saying that. Go ahead, bud. I ain't got you. I got you. The last slide, right? You ran out of the bathroom. Spitting from the bathroom. Five, four, <laughs> three. That was good. He said number three. Three. There it is. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. What wasn't that book like a five hundred dollar book in a, in a seven five newsstand? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Man, that was that was a deal. Yeah. Number three a, is what? Something's killing the children. Point, yes. Sixty yeah. twenty. Turn, turn it a little the, bit. The uh, Fong. Got the glare. Jeremy, turn this down. Yeah, that's there cool. Wow. So number twenty nine point eight. Good job. It's a variant. Yeah. No idea what it's been worth. looking for that book for years. Wow. Yeah, it in the for two years. Yeah, exactly. It's like two years. All right, it's, it's a good book. Wow. You're at, uh, what was it? What was his final again? Two. It was 35. two thirty-five. Okay. All right. Yeah, Thanks, guys. All right, appreciate you, buddy. We're going to oh yeah, going to this guy right here. Where you at, Mister Collector? Oh. oh. I don't think he's going to make it. He ain't going to make it, guys. All right. All right what's um, the, uh, we'll the top page, at, uh, 100. All right. Go ahead. All right. This is going to be a dollar like... starting bid. What do we got? Uh, nine book lot. Uh, okay. Miracle Man. So this is the only one that has the biggest issue there is a small stain on the back i could show it it's on the top corner right here i got this this is the original two. eclipse right yep. buddy? yes sir oh, you can, three oh, four five six seven eight and then the main book is 15 which is the death of a uh, kid miracle I'm going to crack that 98 up. All right. If I can get Paul a 7 0 on that, his coffee with ketchup stains on. No, he got me a 3 0. So this is the main book. Uh, look it up. You'll see what they go for. Uh, so basically, these are just throw ins. But again, this is the original run. I am missing obviously some in between, but I have one through eight. Let me just show you the back of one. Because uh, again, this has the biggest issue, which is. Right there. But what did you do? So. You used it on the blinds again? God, 
Yeah, David Reese said a good point, guys. 79 watching. Hit the like button for us, man. 120 over 100, I think. Uh, MT will tell us when he's going to do a giveaway. So yep, please hit the like good. button. Sorry about that. Go ahead, buddy. That's all right. Go ahead. Uh, we got to get to 125 likes yeah. to uh, to do a giveaway. Um I've got a pretty massive. Why did you spill the coffee? On not pretty soon. Coffee. So, guys, now this has always been a very important, uh, a very important run of oh, books. Yeah, uh, part of the British invasion. Uh, this book has been reprinted multiple times. Marvel even took up, bought the rights to it. Um, certainly, uh, uh, I mean, Alan Moore wrote this, right? Did I know, right? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if you guys know Alan Moore, uh, prolific writer, part of the British invasion, uh, kind of brought a lot more realism to uh, superheroes that were kind of campy. You know, Alan Moore was in on Watchmen, um, did a bunch of heavy metal books. I think what else? Again, that's this is the main one. Definitely the most expensive one out of the whole run. Look it up. Yeah, this is a great deal for a hundred dollars starting bid here, guys. Uh, this is one of these books that are, will always be popular. I think this is uh, definitely a candidate because they had, uh, but the last round all came in poly bags, right? The last reprinting of this. Yeah. Oh, I do have a buy now for a hundred too. If anyone's into variants first, Gwenpool. Yeah, that's that. Uh, Secret Wars. So this is yeah, this is a pretty hard to find cover. A uh, hundred dollars on that. Uh, nice. Really, really minty. Beautiful book. Love that cover. Yeah, appreciate it. Baron says, "Where's the miles at?" I don't know. Worry about miles. You can so also I'm, uh, I'm check I'm out. Check out Mr. Collector's Instagram. He posted some of the uh, potential lots for tonight. Yep, here's one of them. Mark Jewelers. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. One of them. First Taskmaster. Yes, sir. In the marking jeweler. That woke up Roman Carbon. He, he, he wants that book. <laughs> So Paul sent me this copy in Unions 98, covered in water damage, had a ketchup stain on the back, had hard tack candy melted on the interior pages. Sounds about right. And and after weeks of laborious work, I sent it back. He only, he only got me a three, and I was looking for a nine eight. Like, yeah, damn, what, man, you can't, can't, book, you can't do nothing right. What did that book come back as, Paul? Uh, seven five. 7.5. Yep, blue label. Fucking miracle. Who ended up getting that one? Mr. Nash? Yeah, he won it. All right, he guys. Anybody want to get in for 100 bucks here? This is Mr. Miracle, part of the British Invasion and Alan Moore Classic. Always been a hot book. I don't remember when this was called for. Ridiculous money. Everybody Marvel's got them now, right? Yeah, Marvel has yeah. the rights now. Uh, you never know what may happen with this one. Oh, he says he has a Stanley Rocket Raccoon currently at CCS. There you go. Rocket Raccoon. I think Daniel one oh. one I did with that. Miss Liz says we got 55 likes, guys. 71 in here. You keep hitting the like button. You know, Brie plays is kind of nervous tonight, guys. Y'all hit the like button, man. Make him, make him feel at home right here. He's nervous. 
Pokemon yeah. replays. And y'all help out, collector guys. Look at the blinds right there, man. I mean, he got, he's got help him out, guys. Let him get some, some new blinds. He got called up <laughs> to the big leagues there <laughs> instead of being stuck with with Paul in the, in the bush league. <laughs> yeah, I was told Paul wasn't going to be here. Yep. Yeah. Well, but mistakes he lied were made. to you. <laughs> mistakes were made. All right, guys. You may want to get in on the bidding here. Hundred dollars will break the ice on an Alan Moore classic. Uh, what's the book count here, good buddy? Uh, nine. Oh, not it's not all. Is it all? Because it's a twelve issue run, right? Yeah, no, it's uh, higher than twelve. It goes all the way up to, I think, sixteen. Fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. You can always hit up Mister Collector on the Instagrams. Get yourself a deal worked out for this Alan Moore goodness. All right, guys, seventy-one people in here watching. Please, please smash that like button. Please smash that like button for us. Help us out here with that dreaded algo rhythm. Dreaded algo rhythm. Let's see here. I think, yes, yeah, it's up to me. We're back to me here. You can go ahead and uh, give me a $100 start bid, please. All right, got you. $100 start bid. $100 start bid. Okay. We're going to see MT cry tonight, guys. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Depends on how this goes. First oh. appearance of Black Cat. First appearance of Black Cat. Um, I cracked this out of a um, an eight point. No, it was an eight o an eight o slab. I cracked this out of and. Uh, it was clearly not pressed. Does it? It was clearly does it have not that uh, yellow on there or whatever. It's a newsstand copy. Um, beautiful <laughs> copy. There is no reason this shouldn't be deep into the nines. Deep into the nines. Oh, no, Only real defect I can find on this book. Move closer. I don't, I don't want to mishandle because I've pressed and cleaned this already. Damn. It has it has a slight it just you know when they cut these, it's a pretty common corner cut. You can see that it's just a little like it wasn't a clean cut on that corner. Um which I, I've got plenty of nine eights that have that. Um and I don't even know if we'll be able to see it. See if I can get the right angle here. Right above the staple, there is the smallest. You probably won't be able to see it because I'm really nitpicking here. I'm really nitpicking here. Right above that staple, you're probably not going to be able to see it. It is. I don't see anything. It's super small, uh, and it, it's pressed. So, like when I press it, you can hardly, hardly see it. But I don't know if you'll even be able to see it. But regardless, the rest of the book is crispy, crispy, crispy. Um, I cracked it out of an eight-o slab. Uh, it clearly was not pressed. The uh, the greater notes said dense dense to front cover and uh, spine stress. It puts it's like automatically spine stress on every greater notes. There are no dents on the cover. They're all gone. They're all gone. Every other corner looks really good. Really good. This is a trending book. Super hot first appearance. Um, you know, the the, uh, the book value on a high grade copy, I think, is like uh, three or four hundred bucks. This stuff down here, those aren't ticks. That's actually part of the artwork. Um, which is deceiving because there's all these perpendicular lines on the artwork that makes it look like those are ticks. None of those are ticks. None of those are ticks. 
That's all artwork. They're saying, what's the grade on of it now? Um, like I said, I think you are looking at at least uh, a nine four, and you got a shot at certainly going higher. Um, like I said, I've got plenty of nine eights that have this same little cut on the corner. Like it, that's not like damage. That's actually a cut from the bindery. They just didn't get a get a clean corner cut. Um, so it's not like there's anything banged up about it or it's torn or anything. That's actually just a clean cut through there. They just didn't cut it real well. And like I said, there's a light wrinkle that I pressed flat right above the top staple on the back. That I don't, I don't think the camera is even going to pick it up. It's it's very slight. You got to like basically take a black light to find it. It's it's small and it's. I don't think we're gonna be able to see it on the camera. So it is it's that minuscule that um it is what it is. I mean you're gonna have light spine stress is just automatic on everything, but it has been cleaned and pressed. You've got a shot here at getting uh certainly in the nines. Like I said, I broke this out of an eight oh slab because I saw it could get a substantial increase. It had dents all over the front cover. There are no dents anymore. They're all gone. Uh, part of the dents was it looked like somebody had a piece of paper and wrote over top of it. So there were like writing dents on it, right, right in Black Cat's, like right in her torso area. And they're all gone. Wow. And I've got plenty of other mega keys here. We'll see how well we do on this one. All right. Try and try and make sure I bring uh the books everybody wants for these whale auctions so and i try and bring at least one asm 50 252 or secret wars 8 every every month so i do have one of those um i also posted a picture of this on my instagram if you need a stationary photo to look at What number is that journey into mystery right there, buddy? That journey into mystery is the first appearance of the destroyer. It's going to be a, it's the book's heating up. It's going to keep getting hot because it's a Galact, it's part of the Galactus origin arc. Mm. It's when um, Odin gives the destroyer to uh, Galactus, Galactus yeah. to free Fire Lord, who makes his first appearance in 225. Uh, a few issues later than that, but that's a key Galactus. And uh, all right, Galactus. we're in overtime, guys. Here we go. Key Two Galactus seconds. and Galactus Herald issue. Um, I remember one more time that book probably won't be a hundred dollars the next time I uh, next auction I show it because I see that book continues to go up right then. But uh, I did get asked if I had any Thor keys, so I did throw that one up on the board. Gotcha. That don't sleep on that Spaceman book either. Um, I showed that at the oh, very right. end of uh, we're at 30 the, seconds, the very end of the uh, vintage auction last month. It's a Dell four color, it's a Hobby Lobby book, they make posters, wall art of it. It's a, it's a very, very famous. Uh, sci-fi Dell four color issue. Two fifty, really? Wow. Well, you're going to get a steal on this one, Archangel. Um, Baron's still in. Got uh, a couple other people in. You're going to do very well on this one, good sir. All right, that was the timer, guys. In line, coming down. Wow. He said nope. Oh, well. Aaron said no. Yep. 
255. Keep uh, showing the book, buddy. Baron, I know this, this book is, I know this is one you were wanting, and this is just about the nicest copy of this as I've been able to get a hold of. So, certainly a raw copy. Uh, Farron said it ain't over yet, MT. Keep showing the book. You tell him, Farron. I mean, there's no reason this shouldn't be a white pager. Like I said, it had the, the greater notes had it uh, dent, dents on the cover that are completely gone. You know, the only two minor, de I mean, in my opinion, there's no reason this shouldn't get at least a nine, six and there's a percentage chance of a nine, eight, but you know, you never know what CGC is going to do. Uh, a lot of us just, rolling the dice on some of these once you get up into the nines maybe maybe we can see it there it's like 300 wow and i and i'll also say um the framing on this one's pretty good the other copy I have of this, it's like really cockeyed, like the banner, you know, the, the space at the top between the banner and the top of the comic isn't, isn't too, too bad on this one. The other one I have is, is pretty bad. And, uh, part of the UPC symbol is cut off. He said, nice battle. He folded our angel. Thank you, buddy. In line coming down. Farron yeah. is the winner at 300. Wow. Awesome book, Mr. Farron. You're going to love this one. You got yourself a fantastic copy of this. Um, I'm actually pretty proud of all the work I did on this one. This one turned out really well. Um, congratulations, good buddy. I will get that uh, in your box. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Um all right, uh, a couple quick housekeeping items, and we'll start round two. We do regular auctions here Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays, so come check us out. Give us a follow over on the Facebook, Trick the Comics Group, all one word. Uh, I'll pick a lucky follower to win a graded copy of uh, First Cover Appearance, Mr. Sinister. That's right, you're here on the Whale Auction. Come back next month for another one. Uh, next weekend, this Saturday is Paul's pre-planned pop-up auction. It is all Jim Lee all night long uh is the rumor but you have to show up to find out so don't miss that one and then the vintage comic auction is going to be two weeks from now that's where you're going to see a lot of the golden age stuff heavier on gold silver bronze all that good stuff so thanks for being with us appreciate your support guys please drop that like button so we can do a giveaway here i usually do a slab giveaway if we can break 125 likes so uh you know wake up your 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 mom your dad your your sister-in-law get them on their accounts give us a like button to battle let travel the dreaded algorithm let's go back on the top of the order mr robin curtis what is your starting bid for round two good sir is he asleep at the wheel or is he out getting chili cheese ground control to Rome and curtis I mean, Collector got him awake with that Mr. Miracle stuff. But All right, well, we'll try Mr. Roman Curtis back again here in a few minutes. Let's go to the most fantastic member of our panel. That's right, Miss Carolyn. <laughs> Lady Fantastic is here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. I'm going to do DC this time. You don't uh -oh. say. What's your starting bid, uh -oh. my dear? 100. 100, 100, 100. And I'm doing... 10 books. Okay. 10 books, $100. DC. DC. There you go, DC Dave. Uh, Challengers of the Unknown, I number love, 64. Love this title. Crazy nice shape. Joe Kubert killing it with this cover. Mm -mm. Um, Y'all. Sweet. I love it. I love it. I love it. I really, love it. the best covers in this era of DC came out of this title. They really did. Awesome okay. stuff. Then we got, come on, hands. Secret Origins number seven. I have no coordination today. What's Aquaman doing to that universal thing? So. Looks like a Marilade. 
This will get gradually more exciting. Then we've got Iron Wolf Weird World number 10. This is um get gradually more exciting. Then we've got Ronald Curtis, you gotta mute your uh, YouTube. What was Alexa. Fantastic's talking? Alexa. Mike Kaluda cover with Howard Chaikin in T V. Oh, so gotta mute it there, Ronald Curtis. This is um Strange Adventures two twelve. Um Neil Adams. Goodness. Um, Strange Adventures. Oh, he still has it on. Ronald Curtis, mute your YouTube feed. Can you mute him? <laughs> I, I, I did mute him. I keep turning it back on to see. Mr. Fantastic is still talking. Wow. All right, guys. Team. <laughs> ten books in this lot. Ten books in this lot. So $10 a book. These are looking beautiful. This is Demon number 13. <clears throat> Jack Kirby goodness. This is Demon. Still not yet. <laughs> Just mute. Keep him muted. <laughs> Well, I want him in on the conversation if he can figure out how to mute that. And then demon number 15. Jack Kirby. Look at that. Let's see how we do it. We're, we're still there. Look at that. Oh. Damn, she's talking <laughs> and not even saying anything. Wow. How do you do uh, that, Miss Fantastic? The new gods number three. Look at that Jack Kirby guy. With the black racer. Oh, that's right. Cross country skier guy. Right, right. Well, that's DC's version of the Silver Surfer, right? That's Kirby created both. Nothing more intimidating than cross country skier guy. I'm telling you. Right. Miss Liz said, uh, don't mute him. It's too funny. It makes me crazy, Miss Liz. Um, Alexa, play Despacito. <laughs> House of Secrets, number 90. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a Neil Adams, right? Yeah, this is the third Neil Adams I've shown. Wow. Great in this cover. lot. What is going yeah, on here tonight? Juno nope, <laughs> Fluke is in the house. What's up, Juno? And House of She's C a very good ventriloquist. Number 120. Wow, guys, don't sleep on these House of Secrets books. Uh, another, I mean, DC was doing better artwork. In this era, than yeah, take that, Paul. What? She wasn't saying that to me. Yes, she was. What? All right. So, ten books, ten dollars the book guy, Neil Adams, uh, House of Secrets. You got some challengers, the unknown. You got Aquaman doing something questionable to that dorsal fin. Do no flute. Hello, sir. This is awesome. Weird worlds. Howard Chaken interiors are wicked. Yep. Sword and sandal action. The same title that John Carter's first uh, appearance in DC came out of. Um, we got Strange Adventures 212, Neil Adams. He gives him the hook in that one. Neil Adams, goodness, early Neil Adams. And then issue 213. Strange Adventures. Don't die, Tiny. Dude, Dead Man's rad. He does not play. Yeah, Neil Adams. Wow. I've uh, never read Dead Man. He always reminded me of, uh, who was it, the Golden Age Devil? Devil? Mm -hmm. What's up? And then you got yourself. Cross country skier guy and the devil who used to pal around with uh, John Constantine later on. It's Etrigan the demon. Jack Kirby. Goodness. Yes. Class. This is Witch Boy. Number 15. And then this is New Gods number three. Excellent shape. Um, beautiful Jack Kirby. 
So this is a Kirby Adams like delight smorgasbord. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the question being asked here is Orion after oh is he after Orion or is he after you? I don't know. You gotta read it to find out. That um, fire cover. That is an absolute fire cover. Yes, indeed. That is iconic Neil Adams House of Secret cover right there. No, no more. That's more I'm than sure a it is. book. That's for damn sure. No. All right, guys. Anybody want to challenge Juno Fluke here? We got about 30 seconds left on the clock. 30 seconds left on the clock. Unless I get a $105 bid, this is going to go right to Juno Fluke. If I can get a $105 bid, we will go into overtime. 60 second shot clock runoffs until we determine a winner. Right now, Juno Fluke is running away with this fantastic. DC cover art goodness lot, Neil Adams, Jack Kirby, Titans of the industry, Joe Kubert. Joe Kubert, absolutely. He used to have a, a, a school mail mm -hmm. away. All right, fair warning on the end line, guys. Fair warning on the end line. End line coming down. Congratulations, Mr. Juno Fluke. You can hit up Miss Caroline. The, the crawls on the bottom of the screen on her Instagram. Thank you. Fantastic 84. We're going to keep. We're going to go back to Roman Curtis. Thank you. Roman Curtis, we can hear. We're going to go back to Roman Curtis. There it is. Good man. Starting bid, good sir. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah, hear you now. That was that was a beautiful job, Paul. You fooled all of them. Um, <laughs> you fooled all Thank of you, them. Thank you, Roman Curtis. Thank you. You had them really. Curtis. You had them really going. Hey man, um, doing a good job. Yeah, incredible. A <laughs> uh, hundred dollars start a bit. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Now five book lot starting off at a hundred dollars. First off, we got Amazing Spider-Man, 124, first appearance of Man Wolf. We got this at uh, a 2.5. This first appearance of Man Wolf right here. We got it at 2.5. We got Issue, Amazing Spider-Man, 125. We got this at a 9.0. First appearance, second appearance of Man Wolf at a 9-0. I love that. Great cover. Great cover. Next up, we got Giant Size Superheroes, number one. We got Morbius and Man Wolf versus Spider-Man. Got this in a very fine condition. Great book. Next up, we got Marvel Vermeer. 45. Well, man, Wolf gets powers. Oh, right. Yeah, this versus Space Cat. Yeah. Space this Cat. is a fine plus. And we got also at 46. Conclusion to the story. Uh, Marvel Premier 46. Mm. We got those five books. Man, Wolf Lot. Starting off at a hundred. Yeah, uh, Marvel uh, horror characters certainly certainly been heating up. I mean, one of the best Marvel uh, MCU productions was that uh, um, Werewolf by Night Hour special, and uh, we got to see uh, an image of Man Wolf. But we've heard that Man Wolf is coming to the MCU. Great, great character. Big fan myself. In fact, I don't have that Marvel premiere. That's like the one, the only book I'm missing. That one. Right there. Uh -huh. So you got his first appearance, his second appearance, and you also got the giant size. Which, the giant size. Then we got the two Marvel premieres where you get powers. The giant size is a hundred dollar book for a long, long time. Five book. A uh, lot here, guys. Five book lot. What's up, Vinny? Got ourselves a fantastic man wolf first appearance lot here. 
any of you horror junkies out there, I know there's plenty of you out there. Well, can you keep an eye on on uh, on the bids here for six Wow. Got two minutes left, guys. Two minutes left. Thank you, John. I appreciate that, man. It's it's hard to be a professional host as myself. You know, it takes a lot of training and, and dedication to the craft, and then you got to put up with with panel members that, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot on my shoulders, man. But yeah, I appreciate the support, man. Sorry about that, wrong curse. MT, you just, mind uh, uh, muting him? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man! Look, look at that right there. Look at that. You tell him, John. You see what John wrote right there, Roman Kirby? It's 420. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking facts right there. Appreciate that, John. I appreciate everybody supporting me, always checking up on me after the shows. Do you need checking up on? Should I put that on my list? Thank you, Nate. Thank you, Nate. Man. Appreciate it. Uh, I Sending just, just messages wondered. to yourself doesn't count. <laughs> Oh, here comes the hate. <laughs> man, no, no takers on the man wolf live from Roman Carlos? Don't look like it. Yeah. No man wolf, no rogue, no gambit. I got other stuff. That's okay. I yeah. can't believe nobody popped on that gambit bot. That was crazy. All right, guys. 30 seconds left on the clock. Anybody want to get in on this awesome man wolf first appearance spot? And you got the giant size issue in on this, too. Oh, man. Thank you, John. I appreciate that, John. Well said, John. That's strike one, John. That's strike one. Well, we know where Paul's wings go to. <laughs> Check must have cleared. <laughs> yeah. well, well said, John. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. And I'll hit up Mr. Roman Curtis on Instagram so you can work yourself out a deal if you're watching on the Rewind. Thank you, Mr. Ron Curtis. No problem. See you next round. See you next round. All right. All right. All right. Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. It's Paul Comics. Starting oh, bid. Good, thank buddy. you, John. I appreciate the support, buddy. A hundred dollars okay. starting bid, sir. Oh, Ten seconds left. All right. Half time. All right. So I got a hundred dollars start. I got Avengers number twenty. Jack Kirby. Wally Wood. Got this at a five five. Paul, your whole outfit matches your room. Thank you. <laughs> you said that on purpose. You know? yeah, you just, you Some, somebody, somebody caught that. Thank you, buddy. Up, shines up is also you get 
Number 42. Okay. Out of the 7 0. This is Nails did. 7 0 on this one, number 42. This room? Oh, is that, is that that Philly fan again out here? Yep. Bring yeah, that's my, that's my daughter. Yeah, go Stroves. <laughs> the Texas guy. Yeah, it's that Texas guy. You're absolutely right. <laughs> What's wrong with Texas guys? I know that. What? No, she I'm said. From, is it San Antonio? Is it the Texas guy? Oh. So this is when Hercules leaves the. Oh, is that Avengers one in two? In Number 50? 6 0. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's all three, this one. all three books are in. Yep. Oh, uh, I got more. I'm showing. Oh, uh -huh. actually, yeah, this is a really five. good shape. This is a great uh, Hercules story in this one. Early Hercules. Hey, MT, will you check the private chat? Yes, I will. Uh oh, somebody's in trouble. Paul, you're in trouble. Yeah, not me. I got this one. This is in uh, 7 0 Origin of Vision. Yeah, Juno Fluke's a long time buyer. He buy, he's been buying for me forever. I can give you his info if you need it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, he's. he's, he's that's, he's, that's why we call it private chat. No, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'm happy to announce that Juno Fluke's a long time buyer. <laughs> Juno Fluke's a good buddy. <laughs> And the last one, this was it, First Squadron Supreme. It was in a 7 5. Oh, that's in here too? Yep, all these books are in. This is squad First Squadron Supreme. God, this there's a lot of value here. You, screw you, MT. You're not bidding on this. That's very true. <laughs> there you go. That was what the private message was about. I'm sorry. And guys, really, these are in really good shape. Pre no, no. <laughs> Everybody's on it like white on rice. All these are in, guys. All these are in. Squadron Supreme is a mega key issue. Um, Avengers are, are kind of cold right now, so now's the time to be picking up Avengers. You get this cheaper. one. Cheaper than they've been. This or, one. Oh, you got the second vision in on this? Jeez. Whose books are these? I know they're not yours. Who they're is this? Mine, guy? What is he from with Paul Comics? Consignment. Hey, they they say all real these are in, guys. All these uh, are in. I meant to say Paul. Finally got the. Finally got Foles the is okay. Wow. Right, Claire Farron? That's when you know it's going to be in the night, MT. Why are you acting all surprised? Wow. Is it, we smell blood in the water, bro. I don't. I don't oh, have. Oh, lady, you folded. I was going to throw in another book, dude. I wanted more, but well, if you is just the builder, they're no, all. That's in. all I got. They're all in. I mean, I got they're all in. Yes, sir. All yeah, these are in, guys. All these it. are in. All right, I go back to the. Let's, let's let's go over that squadron sinister again here real quick. What, what grade? Because that looked really nice. What grade did we put on that squadron book? I put a uh, seven five on it, good sir. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can take it out and show it to you again. Oh, that's good. I didn't want to know. Ew. You got to put some gloves on first. <laughs> I don't know why MT's so surprised. I told him this was going to be in today. I know these ain't your books. There's no way. No way. Just. Nah, these are cartel books, dude. They're, He's, they're cartel books. <laughs> He's going down to Mexico and working out deals. He's smelling yeah, they're books. I got uh, buy it now if y'all want. Six oh. Five Thor. Uh, this is first Magneto out of X Men. Yes, two hundred on that. That's a mega book. Yeah, Magneto book out book. of the X Men two hundred. If y'all want that one. Wow, that's actually two hundred. Who is this guy? And what have you done with Paul? Yes, sir, I really want to. Ma'am, did they did they run out of Mylar in Texas? No, they never run out of Mylar in Texas. Oh, Paul, <laughs> these are. This is Mylar. I, I just hate. Oh, okay. I hate messing with the books in Mylars. It's easier with yeah. tagging boards. Yeah, they present. Yeah, these are just nothing. All books. these, so. all these are in, guys. All these are in. 
This is a beautiful Jack Kirby. Wally Wood. That was yeah, the first yeah. Silver Age book I ever bought. Was actually Look at that. I think Captain America dies in this one, guys. But yeah, I think so. Well, the Swordsman. That that's the Swordsman's the one who trained uh, Clint Barton. And then this one. John, Ooh, why aren't you bidding to support your good buddy here? See, I, I'm so convinced John Arcano is actually Paul's troll account. Because how is that me? I'm right here. You never, <laughs> anyway, you never where's your that, where's your left hand? You got feet, right? right you got feet. Right right right. Tell anything, it just comes in to uh, give uh, praise to Paul Comics. Texas uh, is not California. Right? Hercules leaves the Avengers in this one. Yeah, I mean that's a great Hercules. This is a and then origin of Vision. Ah. First appearance of White Vision. I'm going to keep telling you. First, no, no, we ain't going to. First Squadron Supreme. Wow. A lot of value here. What's the book count again there, good buddy? Uh, two, four, five. Five issues. All right, I got it pulled. Sorry. I'm trying to make some money, not, not spend more. <laughs> Good books, though. It's hard to pass up when you got great books. I know. I know. I probably have like a couple of these already. But buy it's a good one. price. Anybody want to challenge Proof Front here? We are in overtime. Looking for a $185 bid. Five book Silver oh. Age Avengers lot. Proof Front, you've got good taste. Yeah, it does. There's great books in this. But I'm kind of annoyed at you for bidding on the things I like. That's okay. <laughs> I'll give you. Really well, you could have just told him, Lady Fantastic. I'm bidding on this. On this. Y'all are out. Just... $35 a book. Beautiful. They're beautiful. None of these have been cleaned and pressed in the interest. We can tell, Paul. We can tell. Okay, I'm just saying, you know, I'm sorry. We can tell. We love you still. It's not a reflection of your personality or character. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, it, are you? Just a segue to use that. All right, fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. All right, Rufant. I think I sent out your stuff, but uh, 180, 10, buddy. All right, 180? Yep. Yeah. 180 yeah, and 10. 100. Thank you, good buddy. Great pickup on these. Yeah, send, you, great send that, stuff. Send that money right to Ron Curtis. His Instagram scrolling across the bottom screen. Well, no, no, don't do that. All right, let's keep things moving along here. Where are we headed next? Uh, Replays is up next, looks like. What's up, Replay? What do you got? All right, guys. Um, but, 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 let's count these books. Starting mid? Four, five, six, seven. I think this is eight. Eight or nine. We'll count. Uh, starting, bed, starting bid will be $100. It's a Miles <clears throat> Morales, a little Miles Morales lot. There you go. There's your Miles books, gang. So this Ooh, is the uh, here it is. second print, the Pacelli variant. Um, I just look. I don't know if this is a printing error, so I want to be. There is a binary tear. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. You see that? See the white there in the corner? Yep, mm -hmm. yep, yep. All right, so I, I don't know if it's a printer error or not. I'm not sure. But that is the only thing that is wrong with this book. And I'll put it back in a bag in a minute after I show the rest. So that's the ultimate Fallout 4 second print, Pacelli. Um, mm. Yeah, this is a nice book. This is uh, second appearance of Miles Morales. This is... Um, first solo series uh it's the origin of the red and black costume i think it has two first appearances in it as well i have it at like a nine two nine four um there are some spine ticks on this guy you can you're catching them yeah it's tough on the black covers like that yeah these black is that, is that a direct one yeah, this is direct. Yeah, this is direct. It would yeah, have the. It would have it right here if it wasn't. Oh, so, okay, I got you. Um, did 
Could definitely be a nine four. And the other one's just looking for you know. The back's real clean. And I'll, I'll just I just want to show the front and back of these two before you guys start bidding on them. I will put them back. Um, so that's the first two. This is all everything's in at a hundred. So there's six more. So there's uh, eight total. Oh wow. There's, there's eight total. Yeah, this bidding started, is, dude. So good job. Okay, Mike Mayhew. <laughs> uh, this Ooh. is um, the homage to the book I just showed, signed Sick. by Mayhew, uh, with the COA. Sick. Okay. Then we got from that same run, number three, black cover. Um, I I didn't send this off, and I, I would have. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to get a 9.6, and that's why I didn't send it off. Um, but it is clean, man. Like, the, why a 9.6? It has four very, very, very small ticks that break color. Oh, okay. But I mean, they are. So, you, not pressable or cleanable. It's a actual something that can't be taken out. Yeah. And I, I think you could, you could pull, you'll definitely pull a 9.4. You might pull a nine six. You actually, you mm. you you would probably pull a nine six, but I uh, I have a nine eight of this, so I am good with getting rid of this. Uh, from that same run, this guy mm. he's in a he's in a nine four. He uh, same issue. The the ticks, yeah. those ticks right there. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna bang you. Yep. Yep. This one is absolutely, absolutely a candidate. No doubt in my mind. Fire cover too, man. Mm. Now, this is not from the same volume. This is from the 2016 Spider-Man Volume 2 run. Absolutely. There's not, I don't think there's anything holding this book back. Nothing holding this book back. Then this guy, another dope cover. Mm. Um, so it looks like that split on that first book you've shown is a mm -hmm. known printer defect. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, I know. I figured as much. That, so if that is a, if that is a defect on that uh, second print, Ultimate Fallout Four, that book is a nine six. And then this one, we'll just throw that one in. It's part of the same run. So eight books total. You guys, you started the clock already. Yep, you already got bids. Okay. You're at 115 right now. Yeah, the clock runs from the minute yeah. you're on screen. That's just the way it is. Let me just um, let me just put this one back in a bag and board so I can handle it. Be careful with my all those are in. in. Oh, they're all in. Yeah, everything's all in. in. Eight, ah, there eight, you go, eight. Nathan. Eight Don't let collector get that. No, that's a there that's go, a big man. lot. God damn it. Right, yeah. I don't do a lot of raw, but those are the ones that I, the miles are the ones I collect. Yeah, dude, I, I am not like the speculator guy. It's just not my, I don't, I don't know. Nah, I don't miles is the guy. But Miles is like, he'll how be can you not? Yeah, he'll yeah Miles ain't, around. Miles ain't the guy. Yeah, you right, Bree Plays. Yeah. Miles, miles ain't, the ain't the guy or he is no, the I, guy? I'm no, not a. I'm saying collect. I'm not a speculator, but I will. I will speculate on my like Miles is the no, one where I'm like going to be around. Nah, he's long, the long new time. wave man. Think yeah. about the MCU. Yep. Think about the most popular second gen character. Um, well, Sony yeah. has him, doesn't? Don't they? I mean, he's not mm, going to go to the MCU. Yes. I, yeah, have but all I mean, the rights to the Spider Verse. The yeah, thing. they have the but, rights of the Spider Verse. They they know what he's going to be worth financially. They, they'll work. They will absolutely work out a deal, man. There's no. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch no of little deal. kids that love Miles. All right, so this guy's in. After that, all these are in. This is a Dapper Dan special. They're all in, guys. Only one hundred twenty-five dollars. We're not even we're remotely. Close no, one hundred thirty to Nathan's. There you go. Don't let don't let collector get these guys. I don't collect modern books. I don't buy them very often, but I know what these are worth. And yeah, I so don't even want to speculate. I think this this book in a nine eight is like is worth a lot. If if you send uh -oh. this off to CGC, uh oh, collectors back at one thirty five. But I think we're close to his budget, guys. Really? Did the Dapper Dan wipe him out? He got a case of it yesterday. 
And, I, and I, you know what? And Dapper Dan can back me up. Dan, some of these books came from where I got your book. So you know the quality of these books. On our replays, don't be giving out too much information about our behind the scenes <laughs> stuff. Oh, 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 you got it. He's bidding on this. He's going to help you. Man, well, you, put, you pushed the oh, real oh, Hold up now. <laughs> Oh, I found this. What's going on? <laughs> that just came out of a poly bag. Just came out of a poly bag. When did Roman Curtis in? They when did that come in? <laughs> when, yeah, when does that come in? Yo, no, no lie. That's a, that is a 9-8 copy. No well, lie. When does it come when does in? that come in? Don't toy with my emotions. Yeah. It, I, I'm not nope. I'm not it tonight. Don't man. show I'm books not. you ain't going to sell. He said, take it to the private chat. All right, now that's yeah, yeah, we'll, that we'll, we'll talk after the show. We'll talk after the show. Uh, yeah, it has, it has one one tick on it that's like a quarter of a quarter inch. It's eight the jackal show and tell hour. Real man. All right, start oh. over again. Yeah, I'm out. The, Sorry. That's, that's my. No, that's good, yeah. man. No, it's, got the Mayhew signs, homage. I mean, the, the Mayhew story. book alone. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah. this book, this is a sleeper, and that other one, I should, these two are sleeper books. Mister Collector knows the deal with these books. Yeah, that's the first judge. Yeah, is, uh, one of his best friends. Hey man, nobody wants to hear love life. What, what else we got in here? There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's when he goes to jail, guys. Not even, not even. This is the other sleeper. This is where he gets blood on his hands. So, how many of these are keys, uh, Dapper Dan? I think just two. Uh oh. 150 uh, underbid. Yeah, the one, the three. The well, that's a that's, that's sure. a that's a regular bid. No, it's not. It's an underbid. No, it's an under underbid. All right. So oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. What are we bidding on? Here we go again. <laughs> I mean, this technically is a key, even though it's a second print. Oh well, yeah, yeah, first... yeah. The second print. I'm, I'm yeah, that's a no, in, pro yeah, profit. Yeah, it's a profit number one. One fifty five. The Roman Curtis. There you go. Holy fuck! Yep, keep showing them books. Go that ahead. one came in the poly bag, right? Yeah, yo, this one actually. I bought this in the white poly bag and cut it open right. in my LCS. And the, and the oh, you opened pit. it in the LCS. Yeah, because he, he sells all these books and poly bags. And I was like, dude, I got to know right now. Because well, I think like some, of the, some of the newsstands came in the poly bag. Well, the old, my ultimate there's a, fallout there's a new stand that I just of that bought book. was in a poly bag, too. Yeah, the ultimate fallout came in polys. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, Mr. Collector, cool. Dapper Dan's in the lead of 160. If I don't get 100. What is Mr. Roman? There it right is. Now, this is. There it is. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hurry, guys. I, I, I got a lot of good uh, rounds, too. Yep, guys, come on. Uh, we say there, Dapper Dan. Have we, uh, you searching the couch cushions for. Yeah, I think we're at his budget. You're going to 170 here. Dude, look how clean that is. Oh. All right, Ooh. guys. Fair warning on the end line. Coming up here. Fair Damn. warning on the end line. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Roman Curtis. Got yourself a fantastic Miles Morales lot. You can hit up uh, free plays on the Instagram. His info is on the bottom of the screen. Uh, if you need his contact information, I can get it to you. You know what, uh, Roman? I started following you on Instagram a couple hours ago, so check. I'm on there. I, I started following you. I just want to let Paul know that the run continues. Thanks, All right. Paul. The run continues. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, All right, let's get the ball rolling over to Nate Gotic Planet. What do you got going on this? Oh, what do you got going on this yeah, round? Good yeah, sure. All right, I'm going to do a raw what comic. Do what do you got going on this uh, round? Roman, you did it again, buddy. I'm muting you. Did it again, dude. <laughs> Alexa. All right, so I'm going to do mm. a. Um, Spider Man. I need, I need your starting bid, please. It's all it's all oh, starting bids are hundred bucks. Okay, you told that's, me. You told it's me. all good. It's all good. Two thirty eight. Little known comic. Man, with the tattoo. Debut of a uh, yeah, yeah. Little known What's character up? named Hobgoblin has the tattoos. 
tattoos are there. Careful. Tattoos are here. And the, the tattoos are in? The tattoos are in. I they're didn't in like, the insert? Sometimes the in tattoos the in are missing from the yeah, insert. Yeah, nope, they're here. Yep, yeah, they're, okay. they're here. So all totally complete. Start this, yep, thank you, for 100 bucks. Easily, you know, two, three, what did I? Uh, 250 for, for this grade. What, what grade? Right now on, on Instagram, or uh, sorry, uh, eBay. Um, What's the grade you're putting on it then? Yeah, I... I um, he hasn't got to it yet, JX. I haven't. Yeah, I missed grade. So a five right now, I would give it. 5.5 need to press in a clean. I bought I, this is a um, Sands special, so you know, I got this from him recently. I'm not a big raw guy, so I buy a lot of um, slab books, but easily press and clean a lot of this out. I'll try to put it closer. We what turn is your, this uh, uh, just if it's 5.5, five, what's the main defect on it? Uh, that main deal? defect, so you'll notice the top, so there's some, just the ticks spine ticks so yeah dirt. spine ticks yep and then you've got um yes the tattoos are in there yes tattoos are in so lots of wrinkles it's a lot of room to improve here it looks like to me um, tons of room to improve nothing wrong with the um spine that i can see on the back i'll keep showing this you guys can keep bidding Get really close. Try to make sure my camera. I think staples uh, are a little. That's weird. I'm getting. Yeah, I'm backwards. Oh, here we go. No, it looks good. You know, we're, you're doing. you You look good. They're not getting any glare. It looks actually. Uh, well, this. Yeah, it's, it's not in a slot. So well. not. Not a lot of rust on the staples that I can see. Let's look at the middle. To me, just just from what I can see on camera, clean and press. I think you're probably looking at a seven five on this. Um, maybe better, but just from what I can see. Yeah, so yeah, I bought guys, this. You guys, you guys know Sands, right? So Sands Group collectibles. Yep. Indeed we um, do. got this from him. Here's the middle. Off white age color, maybe. Little little rust on the staples. You can kind of see it there. Off white, definitely. Yeah, guys, I mean, that, that's a good price so, for this book. No Always issues. find them with no tattoos. This one has them. Wow. All right, what, what's yep. that defect here you were just pointing to? Is that a tape? Yeah, or? that was the thing I was talking about. It, it's a, uh, um, oh, okay, no, I think no. it was a sticker that was, hmm. you know, like a price tag. Yeah, right. Stuck on oh, there, wow. so it needs to, be, needs to be taken off, you know. Oh, wow. I'm not oh, even okay. going to attempt that. So you're telling me it's on there and it could still come off guys if you get a yeah, stick exactly stick on your book don't rip it off contact me i'll tell you how to get it off. <laughs> don't ruin books by pulling trying to pull stickers off without talking to somebody uh, it's a good price so glossy yeah yeah i think uh he's, he's saying it's five, five, junior five five as it sits i mm -hmm. think with a little bit of work you're you're seven five at least on this book personally um that sticker should should come off you press out a lot of that stuff in fact if you if you gave it the acid wash you can maybe get it up higher change the page color but it's a little bit of investment in time tattoos are in and there's what's his face uh seth green right one of his early oh yeah right um, right right uh tattoos are in the front part is in as well. And don't forget, this is not only just, yeah, got the cool tattoos and stuff, but a first appearance of Hobgoblin. Um, don't do it, Brewfront. Wow. Um, Ned Leeds. And got, yeah, guys, so, right, I'm also going to mention, because he keeps forgetting to mention this, everybody who makes a purchase wins an auction. Oh, lot. I forgot Can about I? that. Yeah, so whoever gets, whoever buys anything from you, right? Anyone who wins. Get to choose a mystery slab. So a I have a bunch slab. of slabs. Sorry. I said you get a free slab, guys. A free slab with yep. or two. One of these has two slabs in it because they were kind of they were nine point eights, but they were you know a little lower. But and one of these has a um, 
awesome um, um, Adams signed Avengers. So it's a, you get a big giant prize in one of these. Um, but again, going back to this book, John Romita Jr., right? Um, who wrote this? Um, Stern, Roger Stern, written book, Romita 1983. Jr. Yeah, so you're getting a lot of art, some great writing, and a character really that goes on um, in, you know, uh, other movies. He's the Green Goblin's successor, but what was he, a son or a, how was how was he related to Green Goblin? Anyone know? They were they were the second second cousins roommates. Uh, <laughs> second cousins <laughs> roommates. Yep, and don't forget the tattoo. So very unique, and his tattoos yeah. with a Z. Um, one of the uh, crazy you know strategies that uh, Marvel had at the time to boost sales. Well, I uh, tattoo people paid enough money to put inserts in there. Yep. And like the tattoos are almost always missing on this book. Um, yep. And uh, guys, high grade copies with the tattoos are like four hundred dollars on this book. This is going. I know for, this is the raw two fifty at this grade right now on eBay. This is at least in the grade, even in the grade that it's in. This is a two hundred dollar book. All right, guys. Well, I'm sorry that was the timer. So, fair warning on the end line. I cannot believe nobody else bid on this. Fair warning on the end line. Uh, the grade is oh, guys, I can't believe I, yeah, I could. I let 5. that is fair. 25 seconds, guys, pass the timer. I gave you seven minutes to bid on that book. Seven minutes. That was a killer deal. Wow. Seven minutes right. I gave you to bid on that book. Oh, Robert, dude, killing me. All right. So who, you know, let's, let's let, um, who got it? Archangel. Okay. So what's your, pick a number, Arch. Wow. Give me a number. You got between one. Who, what did you get? So seven and a half minutes. I guess. So you got um, between one and six, but three's already gone. So between one and six, give me a number. Archangel. 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 I'm sorry, Robert. I would have. I'd love to honor that bid. Thank you for bidding, Robert. I appreciate it. But, um, you gotta keep number two. We got to keep things moving on the whale lock and there's a lot of sellers a lot of great books so uh it's got to stay back as our normal option so what yes yeah i do have ig archangel so uh robert um do me a favor don't drive and uh bid on auctions bad idea <laughs> all right so Public let's see. So, uh <laughs> archangel pick number two let's see what he got Let's That's see it. Oh, oh, nice. He got the uh, signed by Arthur Adams X Men Annual Number Twelve. Wow, awesome pickup, dude. That's, cool. That's a free include with your um, purchase. So. Man, what a deal! So Spider Man two three eight and a signed Arthur Adams book. Uh, can you hit me up on IG <clears throat> Archangel? Yep, yep. He's good. He's bought with us a bunch of times. Right, I'm gonna put this inside here with you. Actually, I'm going to put this in a bag. All right, we're going to move All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you again. Hey, real quick, next round, um, we're going to do a ton of Mark Jewelers, DCs, the rare oh, ones. Oh, yeah, no. you're going to need to type your Instagram into the chat because it's not on your Oh, sorry, story. sorry. It's, it's my name. It's Nathan's Comic Planet. So same yeah. name is the same as IG. You can drop it in there. I'll add it to your banner. Oh, Let's keep things I'll moving right along now. here. Dapper Dan, you're up, good buddy. What do you got going on this round? Uh, nine business, nine sir. book lot, three hundred. All right. So first book, Inhumans number one. Nine book, you said. Then we have, yes, sir. Moon Knight number one. Spider Woman number one. She Hulk number one. Oh. Uh, oh. Hulk, uh, was it 449? 449, yeah. experience of the Thunderbolts. Black oh, Panther number one. Avengers Annual. Marvel Spotlight. 32. And not a new ah. stand. So. 
What grade is I that? Was, I was, God damn. This one, super nice. What are you doing? Cleaning uh, the house? Good lord, this is a hell of a lot. <laughs> what you doing cleaning the house? Is that what you just <laughs> Selling every good book he's wow. got. Wow. Damn. No fooling around this time, guys. Smash that like button. Mother, somebody needs some new. Uh, Papa needs a new new tin of hair jelly. Come on. Yeah, yeah. he needs some hair gel. He needs a new uh, uh, blinds in the back, guys. Y'all help him out, guys. Yeah, help me out, guys. This That's is thirty three like, thirty three dollars a book. This is like two months worth of auction lots here. Yep. Let sure. me let me show the biggest issue, uh, which is this one. This is the one that has, if anything, the most the rare. most condition. Yeah, issues. that's mm. it's just this one. It's not the. But other than that, nice, very clean. Yeah. What are we, what grade are you putting on the twins issue? Uh, I would say at least a nine two nine four. I would say nine four. Wow. Oh, Lady Fantastic folded. Oh. Bro. Don't let Paul get to you. I need to have a modicum of self-control here. <laughs> These are great books. Wow. I, and I, the moon, I didn't even miss that the Moon Knight, 6% direct Moon Knight is in here. Yep. I love, I love uh, Spider Woman, so you're getting her very first appearance. You're getting and her first solo. All right, what we talking about here? How much money I got to spend? I'm gonna blow the rest of y'all out. Uh, no, we're at five hundred right now. We're at five hundred now. This is a nice. This is a nice. One. We're at three twenty five right now, Roman Curtis. We're three twenty five. We're, we're at five hundred, Roman Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> said, Put down five hundred, Roman Curtis. <laughs> oh, slick. <laughs> What, does everybody in Texas get cartel books? Is that the thing? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure this out. Why? We all get our first solo and our first appearance, guys. Wow, dude has lost his mind. I mean, the twins book is is easily one of the biggest. Books yeah, ever. that's nice. Uh, it is a direct, guys. He said, right? Yeah, it's a direct, mm. but it's it's clean. Wow. And you got old uh, a Medusa cover, good old Medusa cover, and then you got a Moon Knight first Moon Knight six percent direct. First wow. self-titled. Man, um, you add that to your collection. You just added like a like eight hundred dollars worth of value to your collection, right? or more. <laughs> now nah, you might that's a thousand dollars worth of value for three. Look at for, that. All right, can you right. give upgrades on each one of these issues as you flip through here? People are asking. This is about a nine four nine six. Hold on, hold on. I got a question before you get rough grades. Yes, five hundred. I got, I got, a, I got a question. You ready? Yeah. Can you see with one eye covered? Okay, there you go. Thank you for pushing that back a little bit. <laughs> He's got that hard look. I've been training for this moment. All right, so this is about a nine four, nine six. Uh, oh, I the uh, this is about the same nine four, nine six. Well, y'all gonna let MT get to get this guys for three four. <laughs> Hell, I known he was selling this. I wouldn't have bought the X Men lot. Sorry, Lady Fantastic. Uh, this is about a. I would <laughs> have to say at least a nine eight five because of right here. I got one of those and a pence. Mm. You can have another one. Yeah, mm. three here. Yeah. Wow. This is about. Wow. A, this is about a nine two. Wow. I said, like I said, this is the biggest issue book. That book is three hundred. If it's that clear, if it's that good, it's by itself. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> is that Emilio? Is that the Emilio? Emilio? Robin, you got to turn the TV down in the background. That ain't me with the TV. I'm telling you, that's them. Everybody using me for your excuse. <laughs> it's Paul Collins. That ain't me. Uh, this has a little crease line, but it's not a at all. It just needs to get pressed. Mm. All right, Paul, can you uh, run me over time and stuff? I gotta get ready for my round here. Yeah, we got a minute 30 left, guys. Oh, I can't believe them. I can't believe this. Yeah, someone did. Yeah, you can go 350 there, uh, Ron. Good deal. Wow, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. What what is the time on stream time on StreamYard? Wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? Oh, Archangel said, "Screw it, I'm in." I feel you. Okay, okay, okay. My phone is way off. What is wrong? What's you gotta, uh, you gotta uh, go out and come back in. I got it. I got it now. Yeah. Everybody's two are on the right time, and two is on the and one is on stream yard. Okay. Where's Archangel's be there? Okay, three fifty. Oh Lord. I believe Alexis, just hey, you you could go to that you could go to the con with like those nine books and some other garbage and make some money. <laughs> Three seventy five, John. Wow. Damn. You ain't Replay feeding the kids. Is, is, that, is that John and the kids? Oh, I thought that was John and the kids because he damn sure ain't oh, feeding no, the kids. Ain't no, oh, okay. Ain't. I about to say because he damn sure ain't feeding the kids this week. But the kids can read. Look at that, all this Art, new material. Oh. Four hundred. I just got to sit back and, and I, you know, I'm doing the rope dope. You got to do the rope dope. The Ali, let him go punch drunk, and then go ahead and come in there with that that beard. I'll go ahead and keep slugging these out. Oh, yeah, we're in overtime, guys. Back last year, Paul, huh? Yeah, well, I was, I was getting the biz, man. They're coming in. They're coming in hot and heavy. Yep. Ooh, I might not be in the bed. They trying to knock me out of the bed. There's a lot of heat, a lot of heat in this stack, gentlemen. I might have to, I might have to sell something. Yeah. And then the MT's got to follow this. Good night. Oh, MT. I ain't gonna be able to follow this. I'm gonna be able to follow. Yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> I have to pull out my journey to Mystery Eighty Three. Yeah, it was like screw it. I had Mr. Miracle. What was the you number know, total? Miracle. What was the number of books total? Uh, nine, 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 nine books. Nine, nine, number nine. I had to do some slick stuff on the buy it now. <laughs> All right, five seconds left, guys. If we if we get to five hundred, I'll throw this one in. All right, we we need a reset on that. That's if uh, uh fair warning on the end line. Oh, okay. Right, right. I'll throw that in. Yep. Let the drop the end line. The end line. Right. Oh, no, I ain't. God. Oh, oh, oh there it goes, uh, Roman Curtis. Like I said, 500. Had, had, I told you I'd do the Ali. You got to do the Ali, let them go punch drunk. They all sock at each other. Then you just come in there with the beard after they punch drunk. Yeah, I did, Liz. These are my books that collectors helping me sell. All right, well, and I got to. I got to start paying 60 people. Sixty more dollars. Sixty more dollars. God damn, man! There we go. Ah, uh, damn! I believe in you. I don't. Uh, what is that? What is that book? That's I don't even know Miracle Man. Miracle. That's look, it up. look it up. Look Alan it up. Moore, Miracle Man. That's a. That's a oh, I ain't the first appearance of Miracle Man. That's when he dies. This is when Kid Miracle dies. Kid Miracle dies. Okay. Yeah, this is the biggest. What type of shit guys. is this? Forty seconds. Who's going to get it? Five hundred. Whoever throws in the five gets it. Fifty more bucks will get that other key issue. Damn. It made. It made. Man, I'm glad I'm not following you up. I I guarantee. No, I'm glad I ain't following you. <laughs> I feel sorry for the person that got to follow that. <laughs> Ten seconds. Oh, Roman Curtis said, "I mean, yeah, Roman, Roman you Curtis, have, you gotta 25. back, you gotta back that mic up off." All right, fair one. Oh, that reset the clock. Yeah, more dollars. Oh, John resets the clock. This is man. Yeah. Hey, let me. Hey, hey, hey uh, John can have that shit. Wow. I don't wait. I don't wait way past. John won. I'm, I'm. You know how I do. I, I'm not even gonna congratulate John. I'm, I'm, I'm like, like, ah, you're like, I ain't even congratulate. I don't do this just for anyone, but look me in the eye. Uh, you got this. No, oh, he folded. He sure did. Ah. <laughs> All right, guys. Five seconds left on the clock. If I don't get a four hundred sixty-five dollar bid, this is gonna go right to John Tereskovich. Congratulations. Yeah, you might oh, need to do that. 
damn. Move that mic away, uh, Roman Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we oh, got the 500. That. He's going to go to 500 and get the extra book in there, buddy. You get it. Hey, wow. you know what? Since you bought, I'm going to throw. Uh oh. F it. I'm just going to give you all of them. Oh, oh, man. So you get all of it. All this is yours. Wow. Hey. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Good Appreciate job. It. That's a hell of Ooh. a lot. Good buddy. Appreciate that very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, John. John, I don't think I. Uh... Yeah, that's a new name for me. If you're new to the show, thanks for being here. Uh, we ask that you make payment right away to Mr. Collector. Yeah. And when he confirms that you have made payment, we will welcome you to the family. And once you're in, you're in for life. So thanks for being here. If you're new, anybody thank new, you. please smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed so you can make comments. Uh, we oh, will do a before you, uh, start. There you go. He, he uh, got out. All right. You're up, buddy. What happened? Nathan, he had he came back in. No, no, no. He's saying oh, he's oh, okay. there he is. Um, I'm gonna plead for likes here, real quick, guys. We're gonna. I'll, I usually give away a slab if we can break 125 likes. So make sure you got your like button in there. Um, I will do housekeeping items here first, real quick. Just real quick, we do auction three times a week: Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. Give us a follow over on the Facebook. You're here on the whale auction. Paul's doing a pop pre plan pop up on Saturday. All Jim Lee all night long. It's the rumor. And then two weeks from now, Venture Comic Auction on May the 5th. So there you go. Oh, and Madhouse Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There you go. You got them all. All, all right. right. Um, $100 starting bid because that's what we do. That's what we do here. Damn, you got to follow that. Good night. Yeah. Well, call me the Titty King. Special shout out to Jack and his family. Thoughts and prayers. Um, yeah. There you go. Wouldn't be a whale auction if I didn't put up a high grade copy mm. of a black suit Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider Man. Do whatever a Spider Man do. First appearance of the black suit. First appearance of the black suit Spider Man in a high grade. I got it in the comic clear. I suppose there's oh. a book two I could add to this, but we lost Roman Curtis. Where the hell he go? He came back. Oh, okay. Hundred dollars starting big guys of ASM two fifty two. He said high grade, right? What grade? Yeah, mint, there mint copy. Um, mint. I think. No, you got two guys in the I think you're probably a solid nine four with a good press. You got a you maybe got a chance at a nine six, but I'm gonna say this is a solid nine four book in uh all right, y'all know how this works. If we don't get no bids, it'd be the end line immediately. Nine <laughs> four as it sits. Um it does need a press, which I didn't get to yet, which I could probably do for you if you ask nice enough. Um, Ooh, 150, man, already. This is uh, a monster key book that's always been hot. Kids are in. Timer's going, guys. Here we go. This book Please. is never not going oh. to be in high demand. Uh, homage to AF-15. Yep. First black suit, Spidey. He's saving saving kids from Paul's cartel of sex trafficking children. Huh? Okay. Oh, he's saving the kids. He's saving the kids. <laughs> saving the ninos and the ninas. Yeah. Replays yeah. replays calls our books cartel books. The mijo. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got border issues down there, man. Uh, getting all the books. We smuggling in pinatas. I'm gonna put <laughs> smuggling. We don't oh, smuggle yeah. in people. We smuggle in comics. Put this back <laughs> in the comic clear. This is uh, this is a near mint book, at least a nine four. Uh, 
after it does need a press. I think it does have a, a shot in the nine six if you're gonna submit this after a press. Um it just has a slight bit of stress at the bottom staple. And the one uh let's see where I can find it. There is a very small tick on this. I don't know if we can find it. See it here. Yeah, there it is. But it's it's really small. You can still get a nine six with a tape. It's less than a sixteenth of an inch. Oh, wow. Replay. There goes replay. There goes uh, Roman Carter. I'm surprised. Usually this book gets a lot. Of uh, well, some, let me show a couple of buy it nows here while I still got two and a half minutes left on the clock. I watched the uh, preview for the new Transformers where it's like all the Avengers are voicing the Transformer characters. I got 9.8. Grimlock book signed by uh, Greg Berger, the voice of Grimlock, uh, 9.8, 200 bucks. I got another 9.8 witnessed signature. Different. This one's a variant issue, I do believe. Transformers, yeah. 1984. No. You should never do variant. 200 bucks on that one. He's got the sword on that one, guys. Nice. They are doing a G.I. Joe Transformer crossover movie. And I have got a live art cover by Arthur, uh, I'm sorry, by Andrew Wildman yep. on G.I. Joe cover signed by Arthur Burkhart, Paul's good buddy. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Andrew Wildman did the Devastator, and then he was voiced by Arthur Burkhart. Man, that's great. So this one, is two, a. Punch. Live a live art cover signed twice, witnessed, signed, and sketched by Andrew Wildman and signed by. Yeah, Arthur. funny story on that one. He uh went up and apologized because that's a transformer on a GI Joe book. <laughs> he made a mistake. I've got yeah. another one. I've got a GI Joe and a transformer book too. So yeah, right, he said to do the other one. Fifty two right now is only going for a hundred and fifty dollars. A screen and deal on this book. Screen and deal on this book. Um, don't be afraid to bid on this one. Yeah, we'll be in overtime because we still got a couple of bidders. Nobody's folded. I am uh, really certain I have a little bit more than this. <laughs> I try and bring the high grade ASM books, at least one of these, to every auction. I guess, I mean, the rest of these I have is bronze. It goes a book a little bit more. I have bronze and silver age. I don't have a whole lot of copper age ASM to throw in on this. Oh, 155, Roman Curtis. How are you not going to like a black suit? First symbiote, first black suit symbiote. I could throw in my Mark Jeweler Secret Wars 8 in on this. But. Yeah, don't, don't mess with me with a good time. I think I decided I'm not going to put that. Mm. All right. That'll put us into overtime. That'll put us into yep. overtime. Still plenty of room on this, gang. Plenty of room on this. Uh, nine, four or better copy of ASM 252. You ask me nice like, I'll probably press it for you for free. One sixty. I could throw in a massive. Oh, oh shit! Oh man, we're gonna tear down the internet now. We there you go. Uh oh, that. we lost the show. <laughs> oh, I could do something ridiculously stupid. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Who's bidding on this? Michael Fifty Four is bidding on this. All right, maybe I will. Um. Mm -hmm. 
four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. I would throw in a double cover. Both covers are nine eights. First sin eater. This is a double cover. Both covers are nine eights. All right. That was the timer. In line coming down. In line coming down. But you'd have to go to four hundred at least. They want the bar jeweler. They said. All right. I have, in line. The, I have the entire set of Secret Wars in Mark Jewelers. The whole thing. All right, Michael's got it for 160. That's a screaming deal, buddy. You did real well on that one. Real well on that one. Congratulations. Appreciate that. Micro Comics 54. Hold on, before you do that, we'll bring it back in, my buddy. Oh, whatever. That's there he goes. Good. Let's start at the back of the order with Mr. Roman Curtis. It's you. You're up, buddy. You look like you're ready to go, too. You're up, Roman Curtis. Clock running there, Roman Curtis. Roman Curtis, you are up. <laughs> you want to sell anything or? Good God. He's got this. You're on mute, up. buddy. You're on Alexa, mute. Alexa, play the theme to Fallout 4. <laughs> Roman, it's you. Are you selling anything or not? Yeah, there you go. Put on your damn thing. There you go. You're up, Roman Curtis. Yep, still on mute. Oh, what's up? It's your turn. You're you're hey, we're oh, I, I ain't what's got my. Y'all fussing them. I take the headphones off. <laughs> you got okay, you. Yeah, turn the TV down in the back, too, buddy. Uh -uh. Turn that TV hey, down. Man, you're a great ventriloquist, Roman Curtis. That's you know, listening to stuff. Y'all fussing about the headphones. I gotta take them off when y'all when I'm not on. Which one should I do here? Neither one of them might not do nothing, but yeah, let's yeah. start big, good buddy. I'm bed. trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure that out now. <laughs> Tell you what, yeah, hundred dollars, hundred dollars, just hundred dollars, hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Uh four book lot. Four book lot. Uh Adventures to Fear with the man thing. So that's the what is it? First Damn T now the phone is bothering me. Adventures to Fear uh Man Thing issue nineteen. Do some of this tape here because I don't like it. Ah, there we go. So, Adventures in the Fear, first, not first man thing, first Howard to Duck. I'm sorry. First Howard the Duck. First Howard to Duck. What in the world? Did we get Rob Jobs here? Not a Mark Jeweler, huh? Wild. We got job, Joe. Either that or it fell out. So oh, we got to put another. I'm not even going to sell that. I'm going to go get a special. Skip me. All right. We'll come back. Try again. So I'm going to get a special Mark Jula out of my Mark Jula box. Okay. All right, again. All right. That's fantastic. Are you ready? Special Mark Jula out of my Mark Jula box. Oh, I got to meet you. I got to meet you. I'm gonna show a buy it now. It's Romans. You gotta start your auction lot first. Supposed to. Huh? Can you start I'm, your give me uh hundred dollars? Do whatever you want. It's your seven minutes. What do I care? It's a start off with a hundred dollar bid. Thank you, my dear. All right. So here we go. Wheels are already the way I'm gonna do this. Um <laughs> Hundred bucks, five oh, books. I'll help you out right here. Let's We've got you Strange go. Tales, one thirty-four. Enter the Watchman. You got that right. That's the uh, fourth appearance oh. of King, yeah, the Conqueror. And this is a uh, Steve wow. Ditko cover art. Yep, there's a bunch of keys in that issue. Yeah, it's. I, I love Chubby Baby Watcher, but this <laughs> is in really nice shape for its age. Sure. 
nicer than the coffee I have. And it, and it just really presents beautifully. B E A beautiful. Yeah. So issue 134. Then this is a kicker. Issue 165 of uh, Strange Tales. Oh, yeah. This the Steranko. Yeah. Watchers be watching. That's absolutely right. Got a signature. Oh, oh. Glenn Ranko signature. Or St- Jim. Jim. I don't know why I always say Glenn, but it's Jim Steranko signature. Jimmy Steranko. He's got one of the best looking sigs in the game. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's hard. It, you know, tell me that's fake. Okay. All right. All right you can. I don't think no. it is. No, because um, he, he signs in the same place on comics. And I've got a, a bunch of books signed by him. And they're all signed right in that same area. So there you go. And then we've got. Strange Tales 168. Ooh. You don't say. Before Doctor Strange gets his title. Yes, the final ish. This that one is also um really nice shape. Yeah, because they 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 it went to Nick, Nick Fury Agents of Shield. Um so there's that. And then there's more. There's going. We're going to Tales of Suspense, number ninety. Oh, Red Skull, classic Red Skull. And it is a very nice copy. Or a, not? That is nice. That's a key issue. And, and you said Red Skull is on the cover, right? I believe he is. Let me check my notes. Because <laughs> uh, I definitely. Is there any yellow glove on the cover? Uh, not sure. I'm gonna again. I need to reference my key collector app to know anything. I think that's part of the sleeper storyline. And the final book of the lot is Tales to Astonish, number 77. It is in the worst shape, but one of the cooler covers. The thriller you never expected to see. They out- Vanna is dark. He comes out of the closet. So yeah, exactly. um, where we got some got some structural issues here on the spine. All right, you see that it's intact, but it's just a little funky. But again, presents wonderfully. So there's your lot. A lot of great books here. We'll start back at Strange Tale. That's the first mention of Eternity, the fourth appearance of Kang, Kang Lang, and there's something else key about that. I'm trying to... It's Chubby Baby Ditko Watcher. Chubby that Baby is... Ditko Watcher. That's the key. I know Key Collector doesn't say it, but they don't. They don't know every everything. Oh, it's the final Human Torch issue. Because it, it used to be Watcher. Human Torch stories. Chubby BB Dickle Water. Also, this one has a really cool date stamp. Signed by cool. Jim yeah. Steranko. Yeah, signed by Jim Steranko. Cool little date stamp. Some people don't like the date stamps. I'm a big fan. I think they just add to the time. The provenance. Yeah. So it's just it's 165. <laughs> And then we've got issue 168. That's just a really great cover. Oh that, man, is it ever. Like an LB Cole cover to me. And it's um this is in really nice shape for its age. Tony and why? Tony, did you get your books? Pretty sure I sent them. And then we've got this beautiful. Tales of Suspense. Classic Red Skull cover. You need to find out he's got ear holes. I'll bet to, to hear you, my dear. 72 likes. Keep smashing that like button, gang. All right. Let's do some math. What's, um, if there, you, you did good. Good, good. Good, 
Here we go. So five, 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 five books. Um, no, four books. No, five books. One, two, three, four, five. I can't do math, bro. <laughs> What's up, Captain Beardo? That's a new You're name. about 30 bucks a book right now. All right. Thanks for being here. Smash that like button. If you're returning. $27 a book. How about that? Returning guests, thanks for coming back. I just think that's such a great cover. Salvador Cali, I'll be cool looking cooler. Yeah, so it's less than it's less than 30 bucks a book. It's still less than 30 bucks a book. <laughs> When it hits 150, it will be exactly 30 bucks a book. Because I'm simp. I'm a simp. Nathan's Comic Planet, I'm pretty sure you won something as a free prize. And I have it here. How many years ago? Um, No, I think it was like a couple weeks ago. So, oh, really? Uh. Uh, it could be. I have to say, it's Hulk. The Hulk? The Hulk. She Hulk. It's She Hulk. It's all good. I'll check. Oh. oh. It's someone who had a long name. Yeah, it was tough in elementary school. Just ship to you. Nathan says it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Done. Whatever it is. A statuette of She-Hulk. It's not. Is it really? No. Is it comics or is it? Actually? Yeah, it's comics. It's She-Hulk. Oh, okay. She-Hulk. Looking to the right, like it's a in, in in a corner or something. I'm literally like looking at the little stack of the comics that are that I have oh, okay. on it. I'm trying oh, okay. to see. If it's Got if I can read the name from there because I'm an old mammal. <laughs> We're 30 second shot clocks from here on out, so I'm gonna let yeah, I'm not gonna, 30. I want these by my fold. It's tough to get these old tails of suspense in that kind of oh, I know, right? <laughs> I have to sell some books, I gotta stop buying them. I know it burns as precious. That's the way I was earlier with that <laughs> lot that Mr. Collector one two three had. It was hurting. It burns. I just burned. received a whole damn box of of nineties uh, collectors cards. I'm like, when did I order these? Like, when did I start getting into cards? I love this. I right. love Kirby Hulk. Fair warning on the end line, guys. Fair warning on the end line. Tony M. Y. Jr. is going to take this down. And Chubby Ditko Watcher. Kirby Hulk and mm -hmm. Chubby Ditko Watcher. That's my wow. jam. Great deal. Thank you, Miss Caroline. All right. Thank you, Tony. Um, we'll, we'll go. Oh, and next round's going to be my last round. And I also have a buy it now for that last round. You want to show your buy it now that we forgot about showing here? Yeah. Real quick. Yeah. This is, this is a, I think it's, I can't remember. It's either 11 or 13. I think it's 13. So, this is like a $70 book. These are all, it's the Doderman variant lot. $70 book, White Queen. A $50 good. book, oh. King Grey, uh, number one X-Men. All Doderman. These are all Russell Doderman. $25 book, Thor, 31. Mm. Boom. Uh, $25 book, Ford, number eight. What's the buy it now price? So if somebody wants to pop on this, they can. One fifty. Okay. Twenty five dollar book. Um. Sky lot. So now that has paid for the entire lot. The rest is just land yet or extra. Strictly mm -hmm. comics. Which who is that? I'm telling people what the bid price is here. Cause I'm already huh? breaking enough rules. What? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> okay. No. Anybody want how many? All right. Well, Tony just bought it. So 13 of them, I think. 
Let me no. just here's, let me get through all of them and then I'll count it's them. Sold. Carolyn, it's sold. Don't need to show them anymore. Bye. Tony and Y bottom. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Shit. All right, Roman, take two. Starting bid. That's a good question. Now, nah, man. Oh. Oh no. I'm going to start. I'm going to start it. You know, I'm going to start 200 now. 200 to do. Chat, get ready. Oh, shit. Chat, get ready. So, since this is still the first appearance, at least on Howard the Duck, I'm going to throw that in a lot. Yeah, it's still a great book. You know, it's Howard's first appearance, Howard the Duck. Next book. Did you throw it throw it in the in the lot or across the room? Yeah, I was gonna throw the there's your Mark Jeweler. There's your number one Doctor Strange. Oh shit, I got one of those. Damn. Wow. Hey, uh, what what color is that? MG, what color is this? Original car what is it what do you call it? Card card the card 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 Damn, Roman Curtis, what the hell are you trying to do? Man thing, number one. Beautiful copy, number one. Because that was an insert, too. Son of a the cardboard. <laughs> man thing, number one. So you got Dr. Strange, number one. Man thing, number one. First appearance of Howard the Duck. We are throwing in man thing, number two. And I went to the box. All that was in the first lot. That was supposed to be the first lot. I went to the box, got a special book out. Both of these are Thor's. The chat got to pick which one they want. I'm letting one of my babies go. The most expensive one. A or B. The first one to get the three. <laughs> the first one to get the three. $300. That's the one we're doing. A or B. But they got to get a hundred to do it. Huh? They got to get the 300, bid 300 to pick? No. I'm starting. It's, it's going in because I got embarrassed over that lot. I'm just being embarrassed. So I'm throwing in the extra book that just for the hell of it. I'm take A. I got one A, one B. One, first one to get the three. Right, I see, do I see three Bs? One B, two Bs, three Bs. So three Bs. Here, you want to see what A is? Mark Jeweler, Beta Ray Bill. Ooh. God. So y'all got y'all got Mark Jeweler. Oh. Fire Lord. That's in the lot. Wherever we that's already in the lot. Mark, Mark Jeweler Fire Lord. You said they gotta get the three hundred or it's already in. No, they it was in the lot from the jump. And of course it's the old style cardboard. Wow. It's a little chipping right. Here on the back of it. That's what's wrong with it. And it's got a, a little mark up here in the front. Hey, I got the three B's. So Mark Jeweler, Fire Lord is part of the lot. So you got Doctor Strange, number one, Mark Jeweler, Man Thing, number one, Mark Jeweler, Thor 255, first Fire Lord, Mark Jeweler, and you got a copy of of uh, Howard the Duck, just regular. And man thing number two. That's what's in the lot. Wow. We can get crazy. We can get crazy. I don't have no more Mark Jones stuff anyway. What was the I other must one? bring in the 3037. That was y'all choice. I ain't <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you I gave it one or the other. We're not bringing it. you know, for some reason I don't care about Beta Ray Bill as a character, but Oh yeah, that's I do have another three thirty seven. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Who that's hard to get that up. I just I ain't had this fire lord but a week. Mm. Uh, I this was like my first big mark jeweler, and I sent it in and got it cleaned and pressed, and I cracked it and <laughs> took it back out the thing because I want people to be able to see that I have a mark jeweler. This a mark jeweler inside. It was a six five. Six five is high as you gonna get with this book. This one here, six five. It came back at six five from CGC. I mean, my man e rock e -Rod pressed it, cleaned it, sent it in. We got a 6.5. I think, you know, that's high as you're going to get with that book. So, uh, that's man thing number two. 
This is Man Thing number one, Mark Jeweler. Doctor Strange number one, Mark Jeweler. Wow. Got the old cardboard insert inserts, and you got Thor two twenty five. Mark Mark uh, Mark Jeweler, first Fire Lord. Uh, I know y'all want the other one. How about keep them together? Tony, Tony told you to stop crying and throw the beta ray in. Don't stop <laughs> I'm trying. Up, Ain't bro? that? A, I got to look at three different things to see where we at. I mean, it's, it's a three hundred. It's over. Man, look here. You go pay for it then. <laughs> here we go. Double that number right there. That MT guy, and you can get the beta ray in. <laughs> Double four fifty, you can get the beta ray in. There you go. You want the beta ray? You can get the beta ray in. Now I find some stuff to throw with it. You want my beta ray? You got a first Howard the Duck. You got a Man Thing number one and a Mark Jeweler. I gotta put them back in their bag so it'll be easier for me. First Howard the Duck, Man Thing number one, Mark Jeweler. Doctor Strange number one, Mark Jeweler, and Thor 225, first Fire Lord, Mark Jeweler. I'm buying it for that Fire Lord. Yeah, Mark Jeweler. Nice. Yeah, man. You don't see those every day. Nope. I've never seen one. Hey, I was man, hurting. I'm going to let MT get this a lot, guys. I'm giving away. I'm giving away the, for, the Fire Lord. Easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I got a charge for the beta ray. <laughs> I'm giving away the fire, Lord. Uh, 30. Wow. All right, we're about ready to go into overtime here. About ready to go into overtime. I mean, that. what grade do you think that uh, change the Doctor Strange number one mark is in? I give it a. Let me see. It's not. I had it at a VG because of uh, this right here. Okay. I mean, the Fire Lord. The fire it's not really. It's not really that many ticks along there. So I could be undergrading. I ain't never seen none of these in Mark Jules. I've never seen wow. none of Mark Jules either. This is my second Doctor Strange. This is my second Doctor Strange number one in the Mark Jewel. Boy, look at that. Look at you, Rum Carters. We need to know all that. Yeah, I think we'd be geeking out right now. <laughs> wow. I'm really, I didn't check. I'm sorry, I didn't check this. Huh? Y'all first, lucky because you. Duck, first hour the duck is in on this. Man, three, yep. one in the Mark Jeweler and the Fire Lord, the big book. Look at this book here. They got this book. I got this from um, my comic shop. I they know. got this book at a 4 0. <laughs> it's no ticks, nothing. They got this book at a 4 0. Wow. Luckily, I'm not a man thing fan, so it goes to you guys. Yeah. I'm just trying to. It don't, it don't have no ticks or nothing. I don't see nothing wrong with the book. I mean, you know, but they got it at a 4 0. Don't help us off. Can you uh, give us the grade on uh, Fire Lord? We got the we had the, the crippling, the, what 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 you call it the um uh, uh, uh brittle. It's, you got this mark here in the front. Can uh -huh. You see that, right? And then we got the the chipping or the brittle part right here. Like it's a little brittle to me when I was, I didn't want to touch it too much. It's still there. It's just bent over or is it missing? It looked like it's getting a little, uh, oh, I got another little tear right here. The other little tear right. It's hard to do this with the phone. We ain't using it. See that? Yeah. So then we got that and we got, it looks brittle. That's why I don't like to touch that area right there. 
All right, fair warning on the online, guys. Fair warning on the online. Looks like I still won't have a Mark Jeweler 225. Congratulations, Tony. That's a killer lot. The search continues for a 225 Mark Jeweler. Great lot. Great lot. Thank you, Mr. Roman Curtis. That's going to good buddy Tony and why? You know the drill, Mr. Tony? I know the drill. With Tony, me and Tony, got we we'll communicate. All right, let's head on over to Blue Room, Paul. All right, give me one fifty. Starting to be a good sir. Please yeah. smash that like button, guys. Please smash that like button. We'll do a giveaway at. Uh... Oh, there he is. He came back. What we got here, Pack Simile. No way. Secret Wars number eight. Secret Wars number eight. Wow. Chris. Yeah, I got this high nines, guys. Definitely needs a press, but serious potential. That corner needs a little work. That easy to yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little okay. tiny little press on that corner. Little tack iron work to get out that spine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, Ritai. Another great looking facsimile. He's, he stole this book. This is one of those cartel border books. It's in English, right? Yeah, this is another one. Yeah, the old China white cover. Um, this is another issue I notice has a lot of badly cut uh, top corners on it. Um, this one doesn't look too bad. It does have the... Yeah, like that thing. Right there, right there, right there that out i don't see that that's you might have nope, one that could be pressed right. easily it's not breaking any color too uh well a little bit of black yeah. um but gorgeous gorgeous copy can we see that top corner again i'm gonna explain to him what i'm talking about here the one right here no yeah. other one no that's oh. the one no that's oh, the oh one. sorry 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 that's a that's a factory cut that's not a tear they just no, it's the last like that last book yeah the the blades get dull and they hang up and so sometimes you can get a little bit of a tear in the top corner but that's actually a bindery defect um and it's very common on this particular issue um sorry right, so we got ourselves a near mint secret wars number eight here 150 dollars starting bid in a direct copy uh first appearance of uh i guess what do i can't remember how we described this this really is his first black suit spidey um where origin of the symbiote suit i guess that's what we yep. say about this one right origin of the symbiote suit he gets it from the machine at the end of the yep. movie and it's implied that it's a uh AI type suit, I think. So. Where's the star stamp? Says Roman Curtis. And you know, well, I ain't got that. That ain't this one's a direct. Yeah, I uh, I was gonna put up my entire set of these. There was something that occurred two days ago that has kind of made me hesitate about that, but. I mean, I, I saw a 6.5 Mark Jeweler copy of this book sell for over $600, and my copy is much nicer. Although Paul had Paul had a copy of this graded in a Mark Jeweler that Ron Curtis gave him a good offer on, and he didn't want to take it. Yeah, it has a star stamp on it. I don't know. Roman Curtis. I told Roman Curtis what I'd take, but he didn't want Roman uh, Curtis, I, I got some coupons if you need them. Coupons. I'll give somebody a chance to buy the set out, right? So this, this is a Mark Jewelers, you said? No, 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 no. They're talking about. Oh, okay. Copy I have. I've got a Mark Jeweler I've been talking about for weeks. Got it. 
I heard star stamp. So, um, do you guys talk about the significance of this and what year this was at 1984, right? Yeah, this yeah, is one of the all time you... key uh, Spider Man books, the origin of the symbiote. This gets homaged constantly. There's a Miles Morales con exclusive version of this. It's always gotten yep. a lot of traction. They just did uh, what? Macho, Macho Man Randy Savage had an homage to this from NWO. Um, there was a uh, Mexican. There's a Deadpool variant, too. Yeah, there's Who's a the bad guy in this series? The Beyonder is the enemy in this, um, and Doctor Doom. If you want to count Doctor Doom, yeah. The true enemy is grief. It's grief. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard anybody say. It's like, no, this is a comic book movie. Villains actually are villains. That was uh, who screwed up the uh, Doctor Strange two movie. By saying we don't need a super villain, or we don't need a villain to fight against, like wrong genre for you to be writing movies in. Yeah, this was huge back in the day. Secret Wars was like the, the first major crossover event, um, multi-titled miniseries. I'm trying to remember if there was a Romans in at hundred. I'm trying to remember if there's a mini series that oh, came go higher than that, Roman got it. Contest of Champions came out before this, right? I think so. I think Contest Contest of Champions came out right before this. Yeah, I got this a uh, over uh, nine plus in wait a minute, wait a minute. Starting bids one fifty, Roman Curtis. Yeah, Roman Curtis. 150 starting bid, guys. So neither one of those are going to do it. Think about the concept of the battle world. You know that was created with this comic book, and now it's used. It's a. It's Didn't a they made like figures off of this comic book. Uh, oh, yeah. no, that was Contest of Champions that was created just to sell action figures. Um, but basically, they did Secret Wars, Secret Wars Two, Secret War. Damn it. Uh, the Ultimates run, and then they did the uh, the version where they rebooted the MCU with the uh, God Emperor Doom Secret Wars and Deadpool's Secret Secret Wars. Well, you had a chance to put Swift to you. <laughs> All right, we're going to go into overtime. Actually, no, we're not. We've only got one bidder, so this is going to go right to Mr. Roman Curtis. Uh, fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. Unless I get a one fifty five dollar bid real quick, this is going right to Roman Curtis. Fair warning on the end line. Oh, great pick up, Roman Curtis. All right. Yeah, I think I got I got stuff still for you. I haven't sent out. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Roman Curtis. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. We're going to keep things rolling here. We've got a lot of sellers, a lot of books we want to get to you. So we're going to try and keep things moving along here. Over to Mr. Breeplay. Mr. Breeplay, what do you got for round three? Starting bid, good sir. You're on mute, man. You're on mute, rookie. What's your starting bid? Hundred dollars. Sorry about that. Hundred dollar holla. A C note. X Men eight book lot, Bronze Age, uh, high high grade, except for the first one. First one's a VF plus. Anthony, no, I think you're thinking of Contest of Champions, not Secret Wars. Thanks, Arcane. No, they they made a they made a toy line but from them. Yeah, but Contest the Champions was specifically written to, to sell the action figures and not the other way around like Secret Wars was. All right, go ahead. So, you got? Yep, 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 yep. After this, all the lowest grade would be near mint minus, but they're all right. So this one's a VF plus 149, 150. Yep, Great that's uh, expanded origin of Magneto, where you find out he was in Auschwitz. Yep. 
Kitty Pride goes to the movies. And I still swear that's where Scott Young stole the baby X Men from. Was that cover? Could be. I think this is a. I think this is an origin of uh, the Summers. Yeah, the Summers origin, the Summers family, whatever Scott's family. Origin of Corsair, the father. Got that guy. Um, that is. Uh, I think that's the final dark. Uh, I don't think I don't think it's a key. I think she just like comes back in this one, or she doesn't really come back. Oh, actually, she comes back to life. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is uh, Paul's favorite artist, Sinkovich, Sinkovich, Sinkovich. No, I'm 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 about hundred percent confident in the contest of champions was specifically written because I just watched that documentary here not too long ago. And then this guy, this is um, first Callisto and uh, first Morlocks, first appearance of the Morlocks, first Callisto. So those eight, that's a hundred. If anyone is interested, and I have two other books I can bring in. If you guys are interested, so 149 is the VF plus. Everything else is near mint, near mint minus after 149. 150. Oh, sorry, we gotta start the other block. Yeah, there you That's go. I'll show these one more time and I'll show you what can come in 157. And I can't even see 159. 167. What are the other two? All right, Troll Fire, give me one second. And then again, first appearance. Uh, if we get to 160, I don't think that's asking much. You got the first. The first appearance of Gambit. And the second appearance of Gambit. That gets you to 160. Um, I have this guy at a v, VF, VF Plus. Um, I'll take it out if you want me to and show you the back. Uh, just It just needs to be cleaned. It, it needs to be pressed. It, it has ticks. Maybe I should flip it the right way. does have some ticks the back's a little dirty uh this this one i have it like a nine two nine four it's a real nice copy um again no, not clean. i tell you what i i i will take that money anthony i'll take that money uh because i'll guarantee i'm right they wrote <laughs> that specifically to compete with Star Wars action figures, the toy line never got released from Marvel, but it was absolutely written with the intention to sell the toys that never got released. Well, yeah, but he's saying that Secret Wars was like that, that they well, sold fine, toys it, for. That's fine, but it, it the whole idea, that whole concept started with Contest of Champions. Yeah, you better not do that, buddy, because you'll lose 500. I don't want you to cry tonight. Yeah, don't test me. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't don't bet him. He's trying to lure you in, buddy. Right. They never released the toys, but it was absolutely written to sell toys that never got released. Seen that, I've seen them, that documentary about it, I don't know how many times. All right, so a hundred dollars for these for these eight, and then 160 brings in the two gambit books. If you guys are hold on, replay. We got a serious thing going on over here. Hold yeah, on, I, I, I got you. I'll, no, just, got I'll work my way through. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're doing a hundred dollar star bid. How many books are in this line, buddy? Sorry, uh, there, there's eight, eight for a hundred, and then uh. 
If we get the 160, you can have the first and second appearance of Gambit. Which... Oh, the first and second appearance, as in uh, 266 and the annual, or what? Yeah, the annual and 266. So these these eight books for 100. If we get to 160, we'll throw both of them in. Um, this is like a 9294. I have this at a VF, VF plus. Good books. One forty nine. One fifty. Right. And again, these are all near mint minus near mint. Yeah. So one one fifty is or expanded origin. That one is Kitty Pride goes to the movies. All right, Romans in one sixty. That is the origin of the Summers family, Cyclops, Havoc, and Corsair. 137 was that or 157 uh, 157 it's just a great cover yeah that guy's near mid minus and this, this is, is the one Robert. uh the dracula issue with storm yes exactly yeah actually that was a great read actually i forgot that this guy's a near mid minus some cabbage this guy's near mid no key significance just a great great cover John Byrne run. And then you got the first Callisto, first Morlocks. This is near mint minus. It's probably more near mint, but to be conservative. And then coming in at a 9294, first appearance of Gambit. And this is already in. Oh, that's in already? That's in already at 160. And this is in as well at 160. Roman Curtis is already in. Oh, you should have been showing should have shown it. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. your times are up, and I only knew that you put those in at the very end after the time was up. Okay, we're good. No, we're we're done. We're done. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm totally cool. Don't. Yeah, don't. Are you sure? One sixty. What grade are both those? I'll give you thirty seconds. Go over the grades real quick. I don't want to. All wanna, right. All right. What, no, no, not those. The two big books. That's all we care the about. Two big books. Um, nine two nine four. It's a VF. Needs to be cleaned and pressed. You could definitely bump this guy up. I've never touched it. So, 9294. Wow. VF. I'm not going to steal this from Roman, but I absolutely should. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, you should have spent way more time on those two books. But, hey, fair enough. Good deal. Uh, all right, congratulations, Ron Curtis. You uh, got the absolute steal of the night for sure. Thank you, Roman. You're welcome. <laughs> that was me. Well, Roman Curtis, you, man, you, you got the best lot of the night. Wow. Killer, killer book. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. That was awesome. I'm kind of stunned. I am stunned. Congratulations. Let's keep things moving along here. Uh, we are headed to Nathan's Comics Planet. What do you got? All right. So let's keep the Mark Jewelers going. Um, you guys talked about some cool Mark Jewelers. I'll show some of mine off. These are not for sale, but uh, the Doctor Strange. I'm going to turn this down. Um, Number one, the 9.2 Mark Jewelers. I know you had one earlier that was kind of cool. Um, I've got the uh, 258 Spider Man. Um, an MJ with the pink. And this is kind of cool, something you won't see all the time. So a uh, Spider Man 244, but it's got the double. Uh, are, you, are you just showing off books? Because I got to start showing off books. I'm gonna yeah keep my timer going. I'm gonna start uh, an actual auction. So this is cool because um, it's got the double double Mark Jewelers. Sorry. So let me get going on books. So six rare Mark Jewelers. These are all DC. Three hundred dollar lot. Ron Krieger is just snagged. I wish I would have figured that out. Would have been a Titans. 38, 6.0, Mark Jewelers. Again, <laughs> DC. Um, 
DC were were really rare on the Mark Jiller. So he is break art now. This is the auction lot now. This is auction lot. So six DC Mark Jewelers starting at one hundred bucks. Two twenty eight. Justice League. So what happens when I don't have Nola here? Stamps. You see the stamps on the. All right. So we've got the star stamp. Some of these have actual prices still. I guess that was twenty bucks from wherever. Uh, Batman, Master of Assassins, and a Warlord. So again, these are our, all Mark Jewelers. If we can get to two hundred, um, we've got another stack of them. So another giant stack of uh, MJ's coming in at two hundred dollars. So starting at one hundred. Troll fires in at a 10 and a zero, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I think that counts, man. Counts, my so, Hold him to it. Hold him to it. 10 degrees Celsius. Um, so, <laughs> book number one. Yeah, I love, I love all their music. Uh, Warlord. Got the pink. Uh, we're looking at, here's the Brave and the Bold. Number 159. Another, oh, it's a purple. Oh, where'd it go? They're Mark Jewelers. Again, we're at $100 for six Mark Jewelers. Paul, can you keep an eye on the bids here so I can get my round ready? At 200 Superman versus Shazam. And what do you think they have? A black, the rarest Mark Jewelers. Can somebody change his banner for him? All my money is going to Brian Hall. You know, please, <laughs> please support Brian Hall in his time with me. Uh, Just League America, number 228. And, oh, another purple Mark <laughs> And you're getting six for a hundred bucks, which is super, super cheap, especially when they're DC, which are rare. Yeah. Wow. My last DC Mark I, II is out there. Who is Donna Troy? Helen Troy's sister. So glad they, uh, yeah, I hid the name. You're so. The blue one and last is adventure comics starring aquaman yeah and these are all mid-grade i mean some of them are better than others um nice black rare super glossy mj so where are we at right now 100 yep that's a excellent deal was it 15 16 bucks for comic if we there get to 200 i have another six that come in far less dc mark jewelers in the world than there are marble oh no they're super rare just not a dc guy so i uh clearing these out If we can get to 200, another Action Comics 510. The Black MJ. And a Justice League America, number 174. Again, DC are really tough to find MJs. Oh, it's a purple. Yeah, Nola's taking the week off here. Um, see, Nola would be helping me out before my round. Paul Comics has abandoned me, Miss Liz. And the third one is a number 16... Superman versus Black Lightning. Yeah, 
and another purple. And don't forget, guys, he's giving away a free slab with every purchase. Okay, all right. So I have four more slabs. If you make a purchase from me, you get a get to choose one of those. Um, next book in the second um, build is 506 Action Comics. Right now we're still at a hundred bucks and it is a black. So a lot of the rare black Mark Jewelers in here. Next one is a 182 Justice League. Again, another black. All right, guys, that was the timer. Fair warning on the end line. I only got one bidder here. Fair warning on the end line. You said there wasn't an upgrade, right? He could upgrade and get more books. More yeah, books I, just, I just showed him. And then the last one was a uh, Warlord. So 200, there's 12 MJs. So you could go to 200 there, Trollfire, and uh, get yourself more mark jewelers and then he gets to pick uh, a slab right so what what letters or numbers are left for him i have four i have four slabs left one of them has two slabs so pick one through four uh it would be pick yeah one through four but we'll just we'll assume this is this is labeled four all right so did did he win Yep, he won. Trollfire won. Trollfire right, picked one, one, two, four. one through four. We'll say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, he just being difficult, this Liz. What he okay. Does. He knows. He give, he's it to me. He give it to me later. He knows he's supposed to help me, and he's intentionally two. not doing it. All right, so one, <laughs> two. Uh, all right troll got number two buddy yeah thank you welcome i'm back buddy welcome to the auction all right all right thank so you, you got oh first wow number one and a five point i'll throw that in with your uh mark jewelers wow that's a good one from the all dc right. line good. yeah good damn why didn't you tell right. me that was number two congratulations <laughs> Let's head on over to Dapper Day, and how are you going to beat that last round, buddy? That was one hell of a lot. What's your starting bid? 350. Uh oh. We're going again. All right. Two book lot. So. Everybody's pulling out their Secret Wars 18. Oh. Oh. So, let's start with this. Minty, the only issue with this book is right here, where his uh, left leg is. You see it right here? I don't know if that can come out or not, uh, but other than that... What is it, just like a little spot or something? It's hard yeah, to tell. Yeah, it's like a... Sorry. But you think that that's actually on the book and not just like missing ink or something? No, I... I I don't know if it can get cleaned, but other than that, I mean, that's literally the only issue with the book is that. And then this, I'll show the back of this book. This is about a five, five, five. Five, five on that one you said? Yeah. That was a spine look because this is one of the books I've been dying to do my new acid wash on. It could use a press for sure. Still, that's not that bad. This is a book that suffers heavily from canning. Heavily, they all do. Yep. Awesome, awesome issue, guys. You're going to get them both for 350 starting bid. Uh, is there more that could 
come in or uh, uh this might be my last slot so yeah there's one more book that i can throw in um but i mean we got to see movement here first before i even think about putting it up well you can ask for whatever you ask one ask for to throw the other one in you never know you might get it yeah um yeah i, I can show the other one real quick i am watching <laughs> mark jewelers black Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah. First test master. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. They're gonna be bringing uh, him, her back for uh, Thunderbolts. I'm told. The only issue with this one is right here. Other than that, everything else is good. But yeah. let's, I guess, go with these first. A little dance fever. Oh, yep. That is his banner. <laughs> banner. His, his name really isn't Dapper Dan. That's just what we call him. Mr. Collector is what his official ID is. Oh. That's my uh, street name. Yep, yep. That's his gang name. That's his street that's name. The, He's for the streets. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a cartel name. <laughs> that's why I have my cartel name. <laughs> Hola, Dapper think, Dan. Damn. Yeah. Peso Paul and Dapper Dan. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Running those streets <laughs> down there. Archangels in 350. Yep. I mean, you could. Oh, you know what I just noticed? Show me that Captain America, uh, the, the title. <laughs> It's not. I already know what you're talking about. Okay, all right. I'm way ahead of you. I wouldn't believe me. I would have said something about that. Yeah. Um, if like I said, I think this is gonna be my last round. Um, if you anyone's interested in this, I mean, I know we're at 350 for at uh, 125 more. I'll throw this in. <laughs> that's true, Farron. That's very true. All right, what do we need to get? I'm sorry, one more time. What do we need to get? Uh, to? At uh, 475. 475, that comes in. So another buck 25, guys, Archangel. You can get yourself Taskmaster Mark Jeweler variant, which that's a killer deal because that's about a $200 book. Nah, I'm there counting. We're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think some of them even collect comics. They let them come in here. Shit. Come here and buy them. Uh, wow. Appreciate everyone stopping by and bidding on everyone's books. Make sure yeah, he's got to follow because they always have good stuff. The only thing, yeah, that, thank you, buddy. The only thing that Bree Play has over Pause by here. Him is, the, uh, is the Amish Mafia. You got the whole Amish Mafia. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, we, got, <laughs> we got our own problems in uh, Canada, Pennsylvania. They work. Uh, grade, uh, like I said, it presents really, really nice. There's our couple of spine ticks. Hard right pencil. here, the biggest issue, MT. I guess you would be a good person to ask. What what would you count that with this? Like I said, this is the biggest issue. Or right here. Yeah, here's the deal. Because it's on the back cover, it's not as big of a deduct. So, given the shape of the rest of the book, you probably could still squeak a seven out of that. Um, Depending on how look after it pressed out, but um, I think seven is not unreasonable for that. If it was on the front cover, it'd be a lot larger. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You just go. You go four fifty. Just hundred. I'll throw that in. Well, that's a screaming deal. Because I know what he paid for it, and it was a hell of a lot more than $100. Yeah. All 
All right. Well, John Tarasovich. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, he paid me, too, so he's good. Oh, well, thanks. Welcome you to the family. Yeah, man. appreciate it. Look at that. So, uh, obviously, you have free shipping, John, so. Welcome. John, you literally brought all my family, love so far John. if you win. All right, that'll put it into overtime. We got two bidders now. We can turn the confetti off. Uh, Arch is Maddie Bride from Ozark. So there you go. Yep. You're gonna have to fucking keep. This on. is a, this is a black uh, Mark Jewelers in here as well. Yeah, I love the, the black black inserts are my favorite. They look the best. Great on the Secret Wars, Archangel. Um, it's got a, it's got a. Uh, yeah, let me show. It, it would be a high near mint copy, but it's got a, uh, a, a, it's just set, this. a spot on the cover we might be able to clean off. That's literally it for this book. Well, if I don't get a $450 bid real quick, this is going to go right to, okay then, once more under the breach. Again, guys, thank y'all for uh, meeting and hanging out with everyone. You've had Dude. amazing books tonight, Mr. Yeah. Collector. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All the big lots tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Shut you up. know, it's not, it's not easy being a professional like myself. Man. That's true. That is oh, true. Oh, look at this crap. <laughs> Selling more books than Paul Collins. You have some new Sorry, John. Four sixty. That resets the time. What are we at? Thirty seconds, buddy. Yep, we're on to thirty second shot clocks. I have got to get that book before I die. It is such an awesome book to own. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful lot. book. I've you never had it before. I had a slab lot. that I was uh, that I sold. Peggy Carter's on the cover, even. Yeah, I have got. I've got to get a cap one hundred before things are before this year ends. I, I need to get one. Well, yeah, I sold one uh, earlier. Well, you got a Captain America movie coming out, so it's going to go back up again real quick. So now is a real good time to be buying it. Yeah, she's right, guys. Out. That's Jack Kirby, man. Look at that. Nice. And mine comes down. Oh. And uh, Sharon. I'm sorry. It's Sharon Carter, not Peggy Carter. Sharon right Carter. Right here. 13. Sharon is scaring. <laughs> So you're getting a Cap 100, a Secret Wars 8, a First Taskmaster 196, and a Mark Jeweler. Mark Jeweler. Mm -hmm. A lot of value here. Damn, I'm glad I ain't got to follow that. Just make I'm sure I can pull out a picture book here. Feel sorry for the guy that got to follow that. I should pull out a bigger book. Hello, after what the last Yeah, Brie plays are like, man, we ain't got to follow that. <laughs> <laughs> well, MT's next. Uh oh. Man. Mr. Collector's like, oh, man, you've been getting on MT today. Mark Jeweler, guys. Mark Jeweler on this one. Yep. Yeah. Pull out my Polaris book. That would start it. John, I appreciate you being, man. Thank you again. Yeah, welcome to the family. Thanks for checking out the show. We love new people. Glad you are with us. Subscribed up, smashing that like. Yep, Farron, you ain't lying, Farron. He did not put up an ultimate Fallout 4. All Archangel right. Archangel just Archangel just paid me, so he's good. Oh, he's buying some us a long time, but thank you. Thank you, bro. Wow. All right, thank y'all so much. Uh, yeah, can I say my goodbyes as well, MT? Nope, nope. Go ahead. He says he wants you to be on. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate everyone bidding, um, everyone stopping by. Make sure to stay tuned. These guys still have great books to show. And uh, make sure you all give them all a follow. If you're catching on the rewind, make sure to leave a like, too. Uh, other than that, I'll be on uh, with Paul next Saturday as well. So, thank you. I got three Lee yeah. books. What's up? You got Jim Lee books for next Saturday? All Jim Lee all night. Gotta look for some, but <laughs> might, be, yeah, might, 
Uh, but no, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you all again. Thank you, MG, for uh, inviting me on again. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for coming, buddy. Appreciate yeah. it. You brought some fire lots. Unlike some right. people we know, Paul Cone. <laughs> Great. And uh, Archangel, just, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll hit you up on uh, Instagram. I appreciate it. I'll still be in the chat, but uh, I'm going to just sign off from here. But thank you all again. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, sir. All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Do you get a new avatar? Oh, avatar. Got another what one. To, what happened to the Dapper Dan one? Looked like that. Bonafide. Um. What's your starting bid, buddy? Hundred bucks. I could always say a deal. All right. I just don't know what I'm going to put up. Although I did just notice the show and tell time, um, which we'd love to do here. That uh, the first Wonder Man and the first Red Guardian. I didn't know wow. Red Guardian was a swipe of Wonder Man. I just figured that mm. out. Mm. Who knew? All right, let's do this. This has been a hot character, hot title here recently. Um, I've had this for a while. Let's just get it down the road. X-Men 282, first appearance, first cover appearance, I guess you could say, but it is really the first appearance of uh, Bishop. 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 This is signed by um, John Byrne and Fertaccio. First appearance of Bishop is actually on the label. First Bishop cover, Death of the Hellions. Um, he says, I remember that book. <laughs> yeah, I, I, know, I turned down a $250 offer on this a while ago. I probably shouldn't have, but um, let's just get it on down the road. Pertaccio, there's a T in there, contender. Pistachio is a nut. Well, that would be that would actually be a great name for him since we have started. All right, time is going, guys. Here we go. We could start calling him Pistachio. <laughs> Let me see what else I could throw in on this. I got a whole box of slabs of sneaky sticks. Selling them all off. John Burns' signature is hard to get. I mean, to get something written or signed, this is a verified jump stick. I mean, the Bishop books were on the trending list here last week. Or last. My camera placement makes me think of whack-a-mole. Uh, okay. Wow. I was going to put this book up, but... I was going to put this one up, but it would have been a $500 start bid. Yep. Which one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would have been $500 to start. Sorry, I get excited when I see. It's a perfect, perfect, perfect copy of that. Um, or I could have done uh, First Bullseye, since nobody's interested in that. Yeah, I don't want to try and hate, but I did GAF about DD. <laughs> and that makes me a B. You don't like bullseye? Oh no, I've I've um, you know I've never been a daredevil um enthusiast, but it's not because I've hated it. It's just not something I just he doesn't interest me. The street level characters I, I never gravitated to. I don't I don't do street level. Uh, Captain America is about as street level as I get, but um, yeah. I like cosmic characters a lot better. Same. That Frank Miller run was so goddamn good. That's what everybody says. Oh, 
Yeah, but don't I've read got, it at night, lady. I've got a stack of X Men keys. Uh, Baron said you give me a payment plan for the X Men book. Um, Trollfire <laughs> says uh, show number 50. He's a serious X Men buyer. Mm hmm. Troll good. You should you should you should show that unless you 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 like showing stuff but then you're like sentimentally attached and it hurts you yeah he'll sit there and cry uh, that, this one i've had it took me a long time to get it like i said it, I, i'm just giving up on sending silver age mt catches emotions about books yeah he does He's, like, look at him favorite <laughs> i love polaris love polaris this isn't an ad guys starting bid at 500. yeah but and I would hope that this would go for considerably more than 500. It is that nice. It is that nice. Well, like, I get it too. It's We're here because we love comics and we have passion for them. So I'm not trying to hate at all. No. I would just I feel your pain. I've been in your position. I would just buy another one. <laughs> well, it's like I made that mistake and put that 57 up that night, and it was my own fault. Um, but yeah, I y'all don't know, guys. He went out and got another got one. That, but they got that. They got a thousand dollar comic book for five hundred bucks that night. Um, and uh, hopefully they get it graded and do well. I just I had no clue. I didn't look it up. I put up eye candy on the board, and I got yeah, Riptide. You were happy when you bought that book, and he was crying. Called. You're off. like, hey man, while well, you're done crying, shit my book. Are we good? Oh, we got 50 seconds left. Please, no more disrespect towards Daredevil on this channel. I just want to <laughs> make another, uh, No more disrespect towards the ground level uh, heroes on this channel, please. Thank Luke you. Luke Cage is cool. Made just everything down. possible. Hey, Ramakart. <laughs> All right. Luke Cage, when, when Dr. Doom. Airboy says the dollars. grade on the 50. There you go, Airboy. He's got a wrench, too. Airboy, the great is on that. Um, well, you almost made Potsy fall out of his chair. I did. The great on that would be eight hundred dollars. Is what I hope that book would sell for. That's the great on it. You're you up, Roman Cars. Are you going to be that? ready? There's a DC presents. I bought this from Sam's. I'm going to crack this one out. Oh, baby. All, All right, right. We're, we're done. Yeah, I'm going to drop it. In line, coming down, guys. Nobody line, cares about. Down. Nobody cares about sign books. Nobody cares about sign books. Make sure you understand that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Going to Roman Curtis. Yeah. Can you uh, keep over here for a second? Yeah, I got you. All right. You, you know. Starting a bit. Sure. Huh? huh? What's the start a bit? Uh, let me figure it out for a second. Uh. Oh, shout out to Nathan Comics. Shout out to Nathan Comics. Ooh. Shout out to Nathan Comics. Shit. Stop got that what, what are you doing? Are you like, are you like, I'm doing like everybody else is doing. Nathan's Comics? Yeah, I, 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 you, we're trying to keep him here, man. Shout out to Nathan Comics. Hey, man. Well, why do you got to uh, wink at him every time you say that? Uh, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you giving the eye like that? a big kid. What's the starting bid, Roman Carter? I don't know what y'all want. Y'all want to put this one up? I don't know what you've been putting up. They were tired of you winking mm -hmm. at everybody. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that a new jewelry? That's not a Mark jeweler. Hell oh, no. Shit. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but okay. Yeah. That's just in case. You're really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, one hundred twenty-five dollar bid. You see that kitty right. problem with that? One hundred twenty-five dollar bid. How about that? Oh, just in case you need a burn signature too. Just in case you need burn signature too. John burn signature. Which one? Which one you putting up, Robert Curtis? The book right here in my hand. Seven hundred twenty-five dollars. $125 yes. starting big. Go. Yes. Round level heroes. Don't say that, Miss uh, Lady Fantasy. Whoa. Don't like the ground. Whoa. So we Whoa. just go. We go put up the first Electra. Ooh. We go. 
We're gonna put up the first le- But wait. <laughs> it ain't a mark jeweler. It ain't a mark jeweler. But it is a pence. Ooh. We give it a grade about uh what was it, uh six of them? Pop culture say I'll take the first iron fist. That, 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 that's that's designated for the coffin. I'm um, taking the 129, and then you can give the rest to everybody. <laughs> you don't know. I paid. I, mean, I, I paid because that was my man. I ain't care. I paid 1500 for the book. So it must be something going on besides the signature. It's a double Mark Jewelers? Hell no. <laughs> wow. You dirty dog. Two, two well, double that, star stamps. Well, that, that one goes to pop culture and then put the 129 in my box, Derek, on the Curtis, and then you need a replay. Everybody putting up these tonight. Oh, oh this hey, is my. You just got one from me, Roman Carter. This, but it's not like yours, Canadian variant. Um, So look. Oh, you got that from <laughs> MT. Oh, shit, that's right. You got that from MT when you tried to. You got all the bells and whistles tonight, that me. Is that a national diamond? No. But I got two of those Canadian variants. You know, the other one is a... Oh, oh. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Hey, $1,500 if you want it. It's a $2,000 book. $1,500 if you want it. Canadian variant, 9.8. Yeah, take that 8.0 star stamp. Uh, What's, what's your name? Paul. Hey man, that's a Mark Jewelers, baby. That ain't no Canadian. I didn't go to Canada. My I got two. Of, I got two of these. So if y'all don't mind, I keep two of these. Y'all don't want no first yeah, Electra. Guys, first uh, Electra. UK variant. Oh, UK well, price variant. Said, I don't need no pants. I need P. US only. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got Pence, Pence and Electra, Pence and Black Panther one, Pence and first Captain Britain that that Marvel team up Pence and oh I got the Pence hard Pence, Deathstroke, Teen Titans number two I got that in the Pence. I have I thought I lost this book and I uh, found it. So, you guys can buy it or not. <laughs> Last time I was going to put up, the guys put up already, so I just didn't even put it up. I was going to hold on saying, to it. They're saying they want the Mark Jeweler 129, and then they're saying they want the the other book you got, and then the Iron Fist, the uh, Pop Culture got it. So. Look, what I, look, I overpaid for the book. I paid 1500 for that Iron Fist book. Mr. Collector saying, what's the grade on this one, buddy? I got it at six. Six. Pence. It's a Pence, uh, right? right? UK variant. Yeah, it's a Pence. Cool. First Electra. Yeah. So that thing went uh, across the ocean. They print, or did they print it here? Yeah, yeah. Do you have legal documentation for that book to be here? <laughs> <laughs> I had two death strokes, but I didn't put them up. I mean, uh, two dead pools. But comics, I had already put those up, so no, you, nobody want no dead pools. Why punch would you accept my DM? Yeah. He got a DM. Let me check see what Hawaiian punch saying. No, he's. This was. Oh. See that, Ron McCurdy scared away my boy John. John, don't leave, man. Need your support on here. Scared John away there, Ron McCurdy. I'm going to take, take, take these books to the show and see what I can get in trade. <laughs> X-Men 94. Anybody, anybody wants that for 600? Where is it? <laughs> One twenty five start on this. It's a pence first appearance of Electra. Oh, 
Oh, no, you didn't. Now you're just attacking Mr. Collector now. Wow. All right, that was the timer in line coming down. He's saying... All right. Thank you, Roman Curves. Absolutely. Let's move on to the next person. Yeah, we're we'll going. Let's move on to uh, the Asgard. You know, Olympias, uh, Krypton. Uh, what are what are other powerful areas? I don't know. This lady Still fantastic is up. Uh, you know. Amazonia. You're a, uh, uh, the Gary, the uh, Thelma or wherever they live at. Thelma Gary. Thelma Gary. Um, sorry. Uh, What's your starting bid? One hundred dollars, please. Yes, ma'am. This is a ten book lot. It is Marvel, what? and it's all about the fun and games. So the first three are. Fun and games. Oh, wow. No marking. Nothing's been filled out. Nothing. Nothing. They, didn't, they didn't do this uh, crosswords in there? Unsullied. Wow. Yeah, fill them out at your leisure. Fun and games number two. And we've got a fun and games number eight. Hair raising puzzles. <laughs> Dream Weaver's Nightmare. Yeah, and these are, again, all, you know, no markings inside. Uh, and the final one that's really the coolest, in my opinion, is 11. Mm. X-Men. So, What's the year on these? Yeah. It's like 79, 80. 2021 or something, right? 2022? Yeah. They're uh, a <laughs> <yeah>, platinum age. <laughs> <laughs> What Isn't it Paul the most annoying thing that ever walked there? <laughs> I thought it was. I, think they're 80, I thought that 80, was somebody 80, else. I'm 80. trying to help you, lady. 1980. Wow. Oh, 1980. Wow. I was close. Talking about I was off by a year or two. I was, here, child. I was <laughs> off by a year or two. That too. Wow. Century, None of these have been filled yeah. in, guys. Wow. No. Uh, first, Wonder Man. Mm hmm. Is, yeah, first solo, right, or something? Marvel premiere, Wonder Man. Mm. Then we've got, um, maybe that's not right. It's not, this is just the Marvel premiere. I don't know. I think it's like his first solo story or something like it's that. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah from 2021. Yeah. I no, he's, he's, I know, Paul's <laughs> like a, a savant. Um, you you last, tell her, Liz. <laughs> so, from that from okay the last two issues of the champions because i'm pretty sure the champions goes to 17 issues right or is it 18 16 i think 16. it was like yeah like 15 or 14 or something like that and then issue 17 yeah i think the 10 was the last one or something two issues paul you need to calm down my friend <laughs> um <laughs> There's a nice sen sentinel cover. Wow. It is a nice cover. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's Ghost not like it, but this is a really cool. This is um, John Carter, Warlord of Mars, issue 18. And the significance of this is it, this is the first Marvel book that Frank Miller does penciling on or does any work um, on. Mm. And it's the first time. Uh, because um, Claremont writes. So uh, Miller and Claremont meet on this title, and the next project they do together is that four-part Wolverine mini. So this is history. I'm just saying. Thank you. Thank you, Pop Culture. I appreciate the support. And then um, issue uh, mm, nice. 15, Warlock. Mm. First cover appearance of Gamora, I want to say. Gamora. Yeah. This is there a she is right there. Jim Starlin um, storyline mm -hmm. banger. And this is a second print of 
Secret Wars number one. A He's second in. print. And it shows it inside. It says second printing on the first they're, page. They're all in? Yes, they are all in. And the final issue. Like oh, wow. Like Zig, yeah. Captain America Annual Eight. Wow. How's the, how's the spine on that one? That one's oh, old. She's not bad. bad. That one's hard because of the, yeah, the splash. Looks good. Wow. Yeah, got a little ding there. Uh, I don't know if that's a ding. Yeah, it's a ding. Yeah, that's a ding. Yeah, it is. It's a ding. That book's heating up right now, too, again. No, that's, uh, that's a good book. Oh, Riptide's saying that your second print has the regular Galactus, not the blue. And I can show you that it, sh that it shows second print. Yeah, because I think like the first print has the Marvel, like the M, I think. This one has a square box. Yeah. Wow. He You're says like visit inside. Paul, you are the John Madden of the of the auctions it's like all you do is state the obvious and it's kind of hilarious and people love I mean, me i'm helping you out i mean you, you no I mean, I, i'm right, giving you're doing you a, a good job yeah exactly mm. i'm giving you a compliment thank you i appreciate that it just comes out in a fucked up way he's mm. more like the pat summerall not the not the john madden <laughs> wow <laughs> There it is. Second branding, guys. Wow. So. Minute left. Nathan's Comic Planet is in the lead. At 100. All these are in. $100. That's 10 bucks a book. 10 bucks two. Secret uh, War second print. Captain America Annual 8. Um, it is a little backhanded, but I'm a bitch. Um, a Mike Zeck art. Yeah, um, thank you, Farron. That's how I felt like. Farron number, <laughs> Farron number two. <laughs> Fun and games number two. Uh, Atuma. Oblongata. Atuma. Ob Medulla. No, Fun and games number eight. Fun and games a... number 11. Marvel premiere with Wonder Man. We got the last two issues of Champions. Both of which I find really awesome in terms of the covers. Uh, I love a great, uh, I love me a good Sentinel cover. Not going to lie. That's right, this is kind of the historic meeting up. Well, it's the first Marvel um, work of Frank Miller and also when they he meets up with Claremont for the first time. And this is first cover appearance of... Gamora and a badass just cover Jim Starlin uh, story stuff is good. And uh, that's that. Well, that was right. the uh, timer. So fair warning yep. on the end line. Fair warning on the oh. end line. Thank you, buddy. Nick Comic Play, you are the winner of fun and games. <laughs> of fun and games. And you can have games and fun, not just fun and All games. Right, sweet, Nathan. Thank you. I will hit you up on IG. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate you, sir. And I, this is my, that was my last round. Um, I'm going to bounce. I Thank appreciate you for coming. You guys. Um, yeah. Everybody that got stuff from me, just hit me up and take care, y'all. Good night. Good night. Wait, wait, Bye. one sec. Take care. And I asked, what was the number of the John Carter book? 18. 18. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. John Carter, Warlord of Mars. Um, huge fan. Yeah, I'm gonna be buying that. So. Yeah, it's got such a fun history to it, and a, a lot of people don't know, but um, Tars Targus. Now you do. All yeah, right, I see y'all. No <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. We will see you on the next one. All right, Mr. Paul Comics, what you starting? All right, bid? give me a hundred dollar starting bid, good sir. Oh, oh wrong book. <laughs> We're going to do this book. Ooh. Giant Size, Chillers, Curse of Dracula. This is first, uh, Lith, Lith, 
Lilith, first appearance of yep. Lilith, daughter of Dracula. Major, major key book here. Um, Lilith, one of the great horror characters, especially the female. Her and Santana are it as far as female horror characters go. And uh, the artwork on this is fantastic. They redid this artwork yeah. in a... Uh, it says uh, John Romita Sr. cover. Dracula Tales, where they did a painted cover version of this. In a 9.0 for a hundred bucks, this this is a great deal for this. Nine point oh off white to white pages. I think she's supposed to be in the uh in the blade movie, I believe. Yeah, it's hard to tell what's going on with that movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They've rewritten it three times. Yeah. Well, it's like it's a Blade movie. The first version didn't even have Blade in it. <laughs> and then after the title goes to Dracula, Giant Size Dracula. So this is the only one in that. This is the only one in that title name. No, because it was actually a Giant Size Chillers number one. Um,. And then they made this, which was also yeah. But what I'm saying like this one goes to the giant size Dracula. I don't explain it. Yeah, there's well, actually yeah, yeah. Two different. There's two different giant size chillers. Number one, but this is giant size chillers. Curse of Dracula, number one that went into the Dracula series. You're right. Airboys in at 125. Yeah, I got uh. So it says, Marv Wolfman story. John Ramita Senior cover. Nice Ramita Senior 90 off white. This is a was it the square bound? Airboy, my buddy. Wish you were here with me, bud. But this uh, I mean in a 90. That I was gonna say this should be about three hundred dollar book in a 90. Um, looks like you can't buy a copy less than 250 bucks from what I'm seeing for a 9 Credible deal on this. Credible deal on this. I don't know why MT's so shocked. I told him what books I'm putting up. I don't know why he's shocked, guys. But Well, that's because, you know, uh, you showed me what books you actually own, and then I'm seeing these ones, so it's shocked. Hey man, I always right, Airboys in at 150. Airboys in at 150. Really, this book is going to go up again. This book has been pretty expensive for a long time. And honestly, anything under $250 for this is a screen and deal. Sorry. Yeah, just the uh, 18 to ship, guys, on the slab. But yeah, beautiful book. Roll that beautiful bean footage. I think she's going to be in the Blade movie that they've been rewriting this and all that. Oh, you, you didn't put me? Okay. No, I had a timer going. Not I that know. I know about Red Tide. They're all facsimiles as far as I know. You know no facsimile because it would say facsimile, but look at that. It says 74. Look at that, if, Ramita Senior. If it's not a six dollars winner choice facsimile lot, you know they're not his books. No, what? No, that ain't no facsimile. <laughs> Look at that, that ain't no facsimile. <laughs> it's got a lot of spine ticks on it. Yeah, yeah. No, it ain't got it. Ain't got no spine ticks on it. How come it says uh, Halloween? No, fest. and if you don't like that book, you don't like this book. Halloween fest. Ah, yeah. Don't show books you are willing to sell. The people want to buy. I know you ain't talking. I know you ain't talking about showing books nobody wants to sell. All right, guys, we are yeah. going to go into overtime here. Anybody else want to come in here? John T is in at one seventy. Airboy Barbarian has been in on this. Airboy, 
It says uh, 9 0 off white to white. 1974. 74, yep. John Tarasovich, new to the family. So welcome to the family here tonight. Yeah, this is a John Ramita Sr., guys. No longer with us. Look at that detail in the stuff. His son taught him well. They're the many lives of the Lord of the Vampires. What? I want no. I want no twenty-three ticks on this. Thank y'all for showing up tonight. Appreciate uh, MT having me on the the Well Show. Uh, you know you've been trying to kick me off. Live to regret, regret it. Great book here, guys. I mean, really, this has gone for way less than it should. Um, it's a tough book to get in high grade, black cover, square bound. <laughs> Tell me what that spine looks like again, there, buddy. Yeah, I got you. What does the corners of this thing look like? I mean, a lot of these square bound books, they just weren't glued together very nicely. And this one looks. That's a pretty nice, pretty nice copy of this thing. I think. All right, guys, that was a timer. Fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. John T, you are going to get a steal. I was actually going to bid on this, but since you're a first time guy, I am going to not. Great yeah, pickup, John. Just, uh, what do you get it for? 170? Yeah, it's a great deal. Great 170, deal. 18 to ship it. But uh thank you, buddy. That was a great pickup on that. That was. That was a great book. I wish I wish I could put that up. All right. What? Great, awesome guys. Well, that was a good book, man. It really was. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, All right, let's head on over to Brief Play. If you have a no, follow that. If you have an uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have much. Really, I, I don't have much. This is uh This is my. This is my last. Uh, if you have an X Men two sixty six, show that in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> show your show your good book. In the don't wait seven minutes to show me you got it. Ah uh, yeah 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 yeah. Uh, All right, hundred dollars starting bid. You can just start the clock. It's fine. It's a Mark Jeweler. You said a hundred bucks or two hundred? Hundred bucks, man. Uh, Ooh, first, there you go. Uh, Scott Lang is Ant Man. First, Cassie Lang. Um, what do you get? Putting? First, Did Darren you? Cross from the Yellow Jacket. Uh, I will say there's one imperfection in what this book. And this is a Mark Jeweler. I'll show the Mark Jeweler. Is that not showing up? Can you see What's the start bid? Can you see the start bid? Anybody? I cannot see it. Oh, I see end line. No, I don't see it. All right. Well, I just put it in a second time to show up. That yeah, it's, it's right on there. YouTube. There yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, okay. it, it, it. yeah, it went up. So that's you can see that corner. That is the problem. Was, wasn't showing up in my stream yard. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. That's the biggest flaw. I'm, I'm because of that. Give it like a, a 6 0, and it is a more So, $100 starting bid. I mean, Paul Rudd was so, was such a perfect casting for Ant Man. Um, and they yeah. just totally destroyed all that goodwill they had towards Ant Man with that last movie, but like the first two movies are still fire. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> that last movie was like, unwatchable. You know what? I didn't. I didn't actually. I didn't mind the last one. I, I thought it was. It was. It was all right. I mean, Marvel. Marvel movies suck. So okay. they did more doc dirty. Ooh. Uh, definitely needs to get pressed and clean. He's a Mark Jeweler. Had his three first appearance. Well, two first appearances and. Yeah, because yeah, Kathy Lang, the stature isn't going anywhere either. I will tell you, Paul Rudd, if you ever want to, like, really laugh, go watch Paul Rudd on Conan. 
Like he, uh, dude, it might be the funniest thing ever. He has like this running joke on Conan O'Brien every time he comes on, and it's he's just a likable guy. He's funny. He's a likable guy. Yeah, dude. And look, you know, you know what's funny about this book? So I've had this book for like three years, and you you can't find it. Like there's no there's no info on this book. Like Key Collector, it doesn't even exist on Key Collector. Cover Price literally just added this book like a week ago and there's but there's no there's no sales data on it so i i mean i don't really collect mark jewelers i you know i got it so throw it out there at a hundred dollars i mean on a key issue a mark jeweler and a key issue you're talking 160 percent of fair market value as a rule of thumb all um, right well then, one point okay. six times fair market value of, of a regular news day. yeah i mean it's it yeah this book's gone down significantly since that last movie but still a vf copy is 100 bucks so yeah in a regular issue right yeah so i'm asking you know i'm saying it's a 6.0 it's got that little damage on the back i'll show it again but um yeah and a mark jeweler and you get these scott lang as ant-man his first as ant-man and cassie lang and there's another appearance. I'm only paying half attention because I'm looking at my uh, apps that show sales records. And you're right. I cannot find a single sale of a Mark Jeweler in this book. Oh, yeah. It's, dude, I, yeah. Back when it was, like, really hot, like, I guess, like, a year and a half ago, I, I could find nothing. And I would occasionally check and still find nothing. You won't find it unless it's been graded and, you know, it has, has to be in the notes. I have the same problem with all my graded Mark Jewelers. Okay. I mean, there are more tools that I do find, obviously, you know, but for some reason, this one, figuring there's, you know, it's kind of, it's a key book, man, like, and there's just no info on it, so. If somebody who buys a lot of insert books and sells a lot of insert books, the fact this doesn't have a lot of sales records on it indicates to me that it's probably worth a heck of a lot. Yeah. Oh, all right. So the guy that's bidding on it is the insert guy, right? <laughs> no, that was the other guy. No, no, that wasn't me. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I, I love Mark Jewelers, uh -huh. um, but I, yeah, that's not my number one. The insert guy just bid 110. Oh, okay. Well, he's a national diamond guy before he's an insert guy. But, yeah, know, there's exactly. no, no diamond on this. I uh, I actually don't have a copy of this anymore, so a Mark Jeweler would even be better. I really think this book is probably worth a heck of a lot more than we think it is. Anymore. Yeah, I think I think it is too, but I, you know what? I'm not a uh, what uh, um, what color? You know the color of the insert? I think it was blue. I'll show it again. Oh hell no! This ain't a Mark Jewelers, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, well, that, welcome to the auction. Is it a two color or one color? Is it a pink? Like a, pink and no, blue. It's all, it's all blue. Is that, is that a chartreuse or like an ocean blue? Well, mm. there was a there was a moment in time. Oh, it's two color. I'm sorry, it's purple in the middle. Good. Then that means it's probably real. <laughs> <laughs> But again, it does have that one corner. It don't bother me, no. Yeah. I mean, it is, you know, it's a small, I it's a Mark Jeweler. Every time I get these books, I never get them in high grade. They're always. I can't, I'm just thinking, just sitting here thinking, have I ever seen a Mark Jeweler of this put up? I, um, dude, I'm telling you, for three years, I've been, I never see them. They, I just no. checked three different websites for sales. Yeah, I find them all the time. I can find oh. no sales records on a Mark Jeweler. That's so that nice I get, wow. get concerned about whether it's real or not. And the fact that it's. Oh, a, no, it's. it's No, I, it's a actually, true I, I know. As a matter of fact, I know who I got this from. And I have a, a stack of Mark Jewelers from this guy. He was ex military. He is a postman in my neighborhood that sold me his collection. And I have a whole stack of these, man. The fact that it's a tube color actually points to it being real. So, is um, there a uh, 
uh, star stamp on the front? There's not. Oh. Star stamp. All right, stamp. we're star over time. Stamp. You didn't okay, see just... star stamps in the Copper Age. I, I can't remember. No, no, I, I know. It's a stamp. PX thing, so yeah. I don't know why they stopped stamping books in, in the late 80s, but like you just don't see star stamps in Copper Age books very often. Or yeah. ever. I can't uh... So, During the uh, overtime, guys, yeah, and he's, he's in the all lead, but Nate's out of that in. Yeah, I kind of want this. And he was ex-military, so <laughs> it believe. all came out of that collection. I don't blame you because I seriously think this book is probably worth at least double what we're paying. What we're well, making. it's not that. I want to put it up next to my yeah, my Doctor Strange and you know all the key yeah, the MJs all those I have. Ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty clean. I mean, it's it's pretty clean too, man. It's not. For a Mark Jeweler, every time I get them, they're they're. Oh, they're we shit. lost Roman Curtis. As much as I don't want to bid against you, I just think oh. there's way too much value left in this book. Oh. Not bid against. All right, we're in thirty seconds, so y'all get the belts going. Here we go, thirty seconds. Oh, oh Dude, I just I'm want to keep ready. that. I just want to keep that streak going, Paul. So. Hmm. Yeah, it almost. Apple, I think yeah. it, it, it ended Sunday. I think. But Put your no, price in on. I think we're getting close to his uh, budget there, Nate. You good? Oh, I'm, I'm, no. looking, I'm looking for loose <laughs> Damn, I really. We're the ones trying to make things go fast, and now we're holding everything up. <laughs> All right. For a book like this, I really don't care because I don't think people understand how how rare this is. In fact, Nate, I'm going to tell you right now. When he started showing this, my number was going to be 180. I was going to bid. I, I'll, I'll grab it, and you and I can talk. I was going to go to 180, but I'm. All going right, to... in line, coming down, in line, Thanks. coming down, in line, coming down, empty. As a reseller buying it, my number was. 180. Nathan's not, is I'm a not winner. Reselling. Wow, that was a good. He's not going to resell plane. that. Yeah. That thing is. No, when you no. said you were gonna keep it. I decided. No, no, it goes up next to the other one. Yeah. Uh oh. Where? Oh, Roman Carden. All right, who's after? Oh, we're heading over to Dapper Dam, and he escaped. Oh, Dapper Dam was already done. Oh, and I'm I'm done too. No, nope, there's no escape. Nope. Can I go one oh, round real quick? You're up, MD. No, oh, you're up, Nate. It's you. Yeah. Oh, is it Nato? All right. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. You're up, buddy. No, we're just teasing. We're just teasing. All right. Now, before you start to talk, come on. You'll have to turn on your camera. And secondly, tell people about the giveaway. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, if you buy a book for me tonight, you get a uh, chance at a slab. On these mystery packs, I have one, two, three left. So you get uh, to choose a number, one, two, or three. Oops. Okay. Um, I have a hundred dollar start line. Thank you. And um, the book tonight is a uh, Turtles number one. Signed and remarked by Eastman. Wow. A remark in an old CBCS, right? That's one of yep, the old so, labels? Uh, no, this is brand new. So oh, okay. This is that's their, really yeah. Verified signature by Eastman. Eight point. It should be a higher grade, by the way. It's, it was, you know, definitely higher. But, you know, I think they're trying to be tighter on their... CBCS, uh, as a rule, puts it at least one grade I increment lower uh, yep. in my experience. So it's got a remark on it. It's a um, $150 wow. book right now on eBay. So um, get. yeah, that's a new label. So everyone knows this is the cartoon version of the comic book introduce new characters can anyone name at least one of the new characters i don't know there's female turtle girl that's all i know 
Yeah, there was Ninjara, a humanoid vixen and skilled fighter. I'm reading this, by the way, from ChatGPT. Slash, yeah. an alien turtle from another planet in Dimension X. Yep, yeah, I remember Slash. I remember, remember Slash. Uh, uh, Napoleon Bonafrog. Uh, that's right. Uh, remember Cuddly the Cowlick, a bizarre character, is a giant sentient cowlick that can transport the turtles across space. Actually, um, uh, the, the biggest problem we had with CBS, CBCS labels was the fact you couldn't read the stinking grades on them. And I'm glad to see they finally got the memo on that and made the grades yeah, they, easier to read. All right, so 100 bucks. Book's worth about, I don't know, a couple hundred get the signature if you ever want an eastman signature there it is you put a little remark on there not right. sure which turtle that is well they all had red bandanas back then so yep so everyone's got a bandana so no idea but um 15 bucks shipping what's this say in the back backwards for me Uh, some more um, trivia about the book. So, including an arch enemy version of Donatello named Verma, Verminator X and the Shark Mutant Amagon. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, exactly. I, have not, I remember any of this stuff, and I watched all these cartoons. Uh, complex time travel and futuristic timelines. Um, future story arcs ranging from environmental issues to complex time travel. So, All right, so here you go. You, you can get the kickoff number one book. Yeah, go ahead. So while I have this in front of me, how is the new case on that? What do you think? Uh, it's, uh, let me try to here's find the deal. Seat. It takes nothing to pop open a CBC slab. CBCS is a lot harder to crack those slabs. All right, so there's there's a CGC. There's C. It looks you, actually the. It looks. It's actually the same size. It looks exactly the same. CBCS also is thinner. Are they still thinner? Uh, a little bit. Looks like yeah, it look. does look like they're still thinner. Okay, interesting. Yeah, they are still thinner. Huh. I crack a lot of slabs, baby, and CBCS is the hardest to get open. Well, that EG EG actually has the best cases in the business. But nobody likes EG grid comics. EG also has a thinner case, but they're super sturdy and reinforced. And you can get a lot more slabs in a box. Yeah, I know, but are they... Um, how about these? Do they EGS? have the... Do they have the gray plastic on the sides? Yeah. Yeah, those ones. Those cases are yeah. phenomenal. You can crack these easy, right? No. Uh, why aren't they more popular? Because I got a bunch of these and no one wants to buy them. Because, yeah, because, because CGC was the first through the door and they're the latest, the new kid on the block. That's the only reason. Oh, got it. And like yeah, most come... of the time, all the ones that I bought were like promotional ones that were like high grade nine nines or tens of eg um so i've never had a reason to crack them open but to me they look like the most they feel good in the hand super yep. sturdy you can't like pry them open to like try and slide no up. they have this big yeah this big uh, piece of plastic on the side they have the the, the second and bit. you can pick the color of the you can there's a, there's a million different colors basically for the the problem is look at the newtonian rings look how bad the rings are. It's not even rings, they're like the whole thing's got moisture problems. You can fix it with a hair dryer. No, 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, these are... Um... All right, you got about 50 seconds left. You wanna go back to what we're actually bidding on here while you got a couple seconds left on the clock? Okay, yes, sorry. In. This is a remark, Kevin Eastman. Remarked Kevin Eastman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventure, so it's based upon the cartoon. This is the first printing, right? It is. Because there were two printings of this book. This is the, yeah, the newsstand. 
trying to, is it backwards for you guys? Let's see. Verify signature. First printing. Here's the back. I mean, the guy was basically a shut in for years. So you couldn't get his signature. Um, nope. He's doing, we're doing events again, but, um, all right, fair warning on the end line, guys. Fair warning on the end line. If you're watching on the rewind, you can always hit up Nathan's Comics Planet. And then he does a newsletter, guys, for comic book mm. news and interest called FOMO Loco. And where can we find you if we want to read your newsletter there, buddy? Uh, same place. So uh, Nathan's Comic Planet on IG, and I'll put FOMO Loco into the chat right here dot com and it's oh, i can't put <laughs> this comment is filled all right so there, thank you very much so it's community news deals and just you know different um news about the comic community nice i'll bookmark you right now buddy yeah thank really you. he does and a great subscribe job. yep did a good interview with mt did an interview with Jack um Yep, Jackal, Edwin, just everyone. So, and if you want, you have any news or anything, something to promote, just let me know. Yeah, you scrape, you scrape the bottom of the barrel, huh? The I'm sorry the about that, Nathan. Yeah, haven't got. Yeah, exactly. Not, not, <laughs> haven't gotten everyone. <laughs> he did a nice interview with Helvetica here uh, last. Week. Oh yeah, that's right. Helvetica oh yeah, yeah finally got yeah. yeah that's probably cool. got the most um, traction and most uh, traffic than any other interview. That was of really course, great. man. Yeah. Oh. Wow. You had a celebrity right. on there. <laughs> right, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Nice. All right. You're up, buddy. Speaking of uh, all of that, I might as well do quick housekeeping here before I show you what foolish thing I'm going right. to do at 1 a.m. Um, we do auctions three days a week here Monday or Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Paul will be doing an auction tomorrow if I can find enough sellers for him. I'm still short, so if you want to sell, hit me up. Uh, follow us on Facebook, please. I'll give away a slab. We're watching the whale auction. We'll do another one next month. Paul's doing a Jim Lee pre planned pop up auction here on Saturday, which may or may not be all Jim Lee books. Have to show up to find out. And the Vintage Comic Auction is here in two weeks, where you can find out when the machines went mad, because I might actually sell a copy of that book. So you can about those things and then go see our buddies over at the madhouse they sell opposite of us monday wednesday and friday we can see how that can do his thing um he is a graphic artist so he does a really good production quality for his options all right well we're gonna do a hundred dollar starting bid no matter what i put up all right so here's what we'll do We'll play a little game here, make it interesting. Um, we will right. do up first. Don't if you want to bid on a uh, on a bullseye book, first appearance of bullseye in a near mint, near mint high grade first bullseye, you can bid a hundred dollars and put in the letter B. Letter B, letter B, or we will bid on the first appearance of Wonder Man, and you can put a hundred bucks in on that and say a hundred with the letter W, and whichever one gets the hundred dollar bid with the letter after it first will be the book that we bid on, or don't bid on either of them. Um, that's cool too. So collector's in, and he says B. Bullseye it is. Yeah, and Bree plays. Wait a minute. Bree plays a hundred and B, but here oh. B was for bullseye. Um, it's both B. We're both big. B right. is for, I was gonna start this at two hundred dollars. And Roman Carter said a hundred A. Oh, okay. I was gonna start this at two hundred, <laughs> uh, but I usually like to start everything at a hundred dollars on the whale auction, no matter how dumb that ends up being for me. But uh, yeah. I'm going to say, like, I didn't get a chance to clean this book yet. It doesn't even need to be pressed, but I'll probably press it anyways. Um, in fact, I can probably clean this off right here in front of you. There's only one spot on it. 
Let's fix that right there. 105 to Roman Curtis. Does he have to put B or A or something? No, no, no. Oh. Professionals, that was fine. <laughs> See, there it's gone. Hey, I'm trying to help you out. It's already gone. Book super clean. Super, super clean book. Um, wow. This is a high grade, high, high grade copy of this that if I had my act together, I would have sent in, but it's not, not throwing this right now. Look at the corners. Look at the corners. Please do not let this go for less than two hundred dollars. Please, I'm begging you. One fifty to Bree plays. Uh oh, man, man, I got some. Uh -oh. It does need pressed, which I will do. It's just got basic handling. One fifty-five to Roman Curtis. All right, that's going to be the regular timer is going. Here we go, guys. 155 to Roman Curtis. Nobody wants to challenge Roman Curtis? Oh, man, someone just... Oh, shit. Yeah, 300. Damn. Well, nobody. I don't see no more bids, but Roman Curtis is in the lead, guys. Oh, I thought I was going to oh, here, steal here this. Here comes, here comes replays bid. Okay. John's ah. in. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, they're coming in now. All right. They're coming in 300. This might end up being the book of the night. I hope so. Um, I think you're looking at white pages. Maybe white to off white, but, but certainly white pages are in there. Your staples are clean. Clean and shiny are the staples. Shit. Oh, here they come. More bids. It's like five people in on this. 305. Yeah, as you can see, there's no shadow line tanning. Man, y'all made sure Roman Curtis is going to get this book. Good night. You can 350. <laughs> 350. <laughs> Woo I got to I got to I got to use the robo dope tactic again. I got to let him go punch drunk. I got to let him go punch drunk. Don't keep throwing up, them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I gotta keep letting them throw the haymakers at each other. Keep throwing them haymakers at each other. Then I can come up again. Okay, three said they slowing down. Oh, they ain't man, going. <laughs> you can learn to dress and sing like John Denver. I know that's wrong because it's Oh, replays oh. with the hammer. Let me put them get the. Yeah, hammer. then I got I got I threw two hammers and got hammered back. <laughs> and then you threw the hammer back at you. Oh, here we go. Woo. Wow. Okay. Order, uh, okay. 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 I'm calling. I'm calling. I'm calling timeout on Goon Guy Monkey. Anybody heard of him? Yep. Yeah. 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 He bought. Wow. Uh, he man. Man. <laughs> I tried. I tried to pull one, Paul. I tried to pull one. You tried to. You tried to. He's already. He's already. In John and I, I love this book. Monkey so and the much. Family. I'm mad because I only got one copy and I need another copy. And that's high grade, too. And, and he said that he's going to press and clean it for you, right? Yeah, now. hey, hey. I'll be getting on, on doubles and triples. I like how Ron Curtis said, Time out, guys. Who is this guy? And then, I need a timeout. Like, need time I need, I need, we need to confirm. <laughs> he, he, he's throwing too many haymakers. Okay, okay. Keep throwing, keep throwing your haymakers, guys. Keep throwing your haymakers. Wear each other out. Um, so I will press and clean this for you. Like I said, there ain't much, much that needs to be done to it. Hey, Paul, I can tell you the exact minute when I looked at that board, I knew he had took the 131 off that board back behind him. I was sitting yeah, there waiting knew, all night. You knew what book it was. I, I, was, I, was, fake, I was fake bidding on that uh, Secret Wars when he pulled that up. I was waiting to see the, the 131 earlier. Now he puts it up now. I've had a couple copies of this, and all yeah, he of does them is dirty like that one panning on them. Like, this is the book I always find with panning on it. Like, you can always tell. It's hard to tell with panning because it's a yellow cover, but this one's really... China hey, take, all right, take the book down. Take the book down, and I'll give you two first dead pools for the, for the, for the bullseye. You take the book down right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell of a grab at 400. Wow. I can't do that to the doing. 
And like the other thing I noticed about this book is the interior. Man, you tried Roman cards. Look how easy it's yeah. going right now, Roman That's a good deal. Cool. I'm surprised you didn't jump on it. Two dead bulls for one bull's eye. Man. Oh, it's always got the marble value stamp. God. What's that marble value stamp on? Damn. If anybody Damn. knows their Jack Kirby artwork. I, Come on, Archangel folded at the 400. No, he got more money than that. Uh, what Boy, are, on the edge of the screen there? You can't tell me who that is. There's a. If, if we tell, if I tell you, will you give me the uh, the deal with the two bulls eyes? I mean, and yeah, the two dead bulls. Uh, <laughs> who the hell is that? It looks like Thor. It looks like. It looks like a Thor. Four hundred five. Who hit the four hundred five mark? Robert Curtis gets himself in on that. It's a task card. Hey, throw in another uh, Deadpool, dead pull, ninety eight. I think he'll buck yeah. it. This is such, such a great book, man. Roman Curtis said three ninety-eight now. No, I said two. Look. Throw in another one. I, I, I just <laughs> All I got I can throw you I can throw you two first Deadpools. Canadian Prize. Uh, and, 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 and I throw you two first Deadpools and a, and a Taylor Swift. And a Taylor Swift. Canadian Price variant. All right, all right, hold no, on. I can't do this. I think you're, you're in the shot. You gotta go to the shot clock. And what? And yep. what we're in overtime this? shot clock. Here we go. And you can you can uh, learn how to sing along with Stan Lee and his music album. Yeah, yes, he actually yeah. did a music album. And you can listen to him. What grade? What grade is this book? This is a near myth book. This is uh. This is a high nines book. Oh. Clean and press. I, I give you. I give you, I give you um, one newsstand, one direct, uh, first day pool, and a newsstand dashboard. First dashboard. There you go. Price Canadian price variant. Roman, put it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I ain't going to do uh, John P. Oh, uh, right. now we ain't going to do John. Well, now we ain't gonna do John wow. like that. Like he, like his name is Johnny Soprano or something. Like he's like his last name is Soprano or something. <laughs> yeah, four twenty-five. Okay, okay. The haymakers getting light now. They, I get ready to throw this. Once I throw this, folks, seventy-five right, in there. Thirty-second overtime oh. shot clock. Here we go, guys. Thirty-second. I see. Wait, hold on. Where we at? Oh, I'm looking at two different screens. <laughs> All right. So I said, like if I put, but if I put an underbeat in, we get to thirty seconds, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. One time, one ender bid, you get one reset. How many uh, uh, caramel macchiato energy drinks did, did you take? Uh, I ain't taking none. I'm ready to go to bed. Uh, man. About this, that, this, uh, this is the book of the night, by far. This is the book. Damn. I want to. No, no, Hey, look. I give you a surprise star stamp. Here we go. DC <laughs> book. <laughs> I give you a surprise star stamp DC book, and when did you know me to ever want a DC book? You don't want this DC book. Disney. Yo. Well, you're going the wrong direction. You're going so the wrong DC direction. in a Deadpool, in a Deadpool. Okay, I paid four hundred dollars. I, I paid four hundred dollars for this DC book Man, with a star stamp on it. Romans, Romans He's all Romans. jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> like Ooh. a spider bug. Oh my wall so bad. Uh, I, I only got one copy. I can't spend that much on that book though. Uh, well, if you want to play with the big boys, Roman. I ain't that a bit. Back, too, I ain't that a bit. Wow. Wow. You hear that? Wanna play with the big boys? Wow. I can't say that, Roman Cover. Wow. Damn. Come on, Look at him covering his face over there, Roman. Start, start digging through them couch cushions, Roman Curtis. I know you got it. Uh -huh. Wow. I, wow. Sent you, right. I sent you hundreds of dollars. In, in line coming down. In line hey, coming down. Wow, monkey. That is a book. I thought you were going to 475, Roman. I was going to pull out another book there. Oh, I, oh, I, 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 I wouldn't watch the clock. I had that saber tooth mark. Yeah, he was. I'll pull out just for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's lying now, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I know you need enough. 50. 6.5 ain't good enough. You need a better copy of it. Wow, he said, 
down. You, you the man, my the monkey guy. That was a motherfucker. Man, be it on you one ready, book Robert all Connors? night. Man, be it on one book all night. Now he the man. Oh. Um, <laughs> he had 450. God damn. You ready, Roman Curtis? He got booked. Yeah. Vintage. These new guys just beat me out tonight. John beat me out that uh, Mr. Collector lot. Hey, See, I was about to get. I was about to. I was about to. Uh. What, what's the starting bid on this, uh, Roman Carter? Uh, I wish I would. Has he got the star stamp on it? Yeah, sir. What, what, what's the starting bid, Roman Carter? You know, the DC, the DC market was hard to get. Well, he don't want that. I ain't something that I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a chump move. Oh, this is a nice demonic jeweler too. I love this one. Oh yeah, that's a famous Neil Adams. <laughs> the Neil Adams one. It's it's a nine eight on eBay. Somebody wants forty five hundred for a nine eight of this book in the Mark Jeweler. Right, I'm hoping one hand wishing the other. That's what I said. Nine. Woo. <laughs> All right, what are you selling there, Ron? Let me figure out my price here. All right, Paul, you got this. You so, uh, yeah, Paul got it, <laughs> I think. We got it. What we got, Roman Curtis? What's the start bid? Uh, uh, they ain't got the money for this, so I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, Hawaiian pussy. <laughs> <laughs> $600. $600 for... 27 books. Damn. 27 books. Well, Brick, of, I'm going to use night. somebody else's line. I ain't going to say who line it is. I'm going to use somebody else's line. Brick of the night. Of Ready? 27 books. Got a VG, Amazing Spider Man, 124, First Man Wolf. We got 9.0, 125, Amazing Spider Man, Second Man Wolf. Got a very fine, <laughs> giant size uh, superhero Spider Man with Morpheus and Man Wolf. We got we got Mar Marvel Premiere forty five Man Wolf get some powers. We got Marvel Premiere forty six Man Wolf uh, yeah, part two of that story. This thing. Hey man, this is a uh, twenty twenty. Did I say twenty six? Twenty seven. Then we got Virgin Variant. A rogue, virgin variant, a rogue, virgin variant, a gambit, virgin variant, a rogue, virgin variant, a gambit, virgin variant, a gambit, and rogue together. We got rogues, five part series. Here it is. Very fine and intimate. We got four books of gambits, first series. Right here. We got the whole row five five book series right here. That's Rogue and Gambit. We got a nine zero at least, probably higher. First appearance of Rogue. We got a six five. First appearance of Gambit, and we got a seven zero. First appearance of Deadpool. Direct. 20, what is it, 20, uh, 27 books, 26 books, $600 starting bid. All right, time is going, guys. $600 starting bid. You get all these books. That's $22 a book. Damn. Amazing Spider Man 124, Amazing Spider Man 125, Giant Size Superhero with Morbius and Man Wolf, Marvel Premiere 45, Marvel Premiere 46, Virgin Variant of Rogue, Virgin Variant of Rogue, uh -oh. Virgin Variant of Gambit. All I'm those in there, man. Spine slide, those, please. We need a spine slide, man. We need a spine slide. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me see if I can find it. It's right there for you, Barbarian. See that spine slide? It's right there for you. I'm sliding that spine. <laughs> I 
I gotta get back to that. Mm. What's that? Uh, Virgin Mary and Gambit. Virgin Mary and Gambit rogue together. We got the rogue whole series here. Got this show. We'll go over them again. What else we got here? We got the got four issues of the gambit. Mmm. 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 We got a Rogue and Gambit series together. Five issues. Put that right there. And last we got nano copy of first appearance of Rogue. Six five copy of first appearance of Gambit. And a seven oh copy first appearance of Deadpool. Wow. Brick of the night. Hold on. What else was at seven hundred I'll throw in the pence first uh electra. Yeah, let, me go, uh, let me go ahead and start putting these books away. <laughs> and nobody be the $600. And she forced. I don't know, gotcha man. Got my gotcha man hat in. Go with my gotcha man t shirts. I can't read the chat. Let me see the chat thing. U.S. only. I hear you. Yeah, hey, it's the brick of the night. First man wolf. Second man wolf. First rogue. First gambit. First Deadpool. All right, seven hundred. Where is seven at seven hundred? This will come in first. Electra, watch this. Just ignorant. And at eight hundred, first Dadras. <laughs> All right. Nobody's bidding. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Nobody's been on that. In line, coming mm. down, Roman Carter. Appreciate that. See y'all too. These books will be cheaper, <laughs> somewhat. Somewhat cheaper. Huh? Somewhat. All right. Guess it's my go. You you there, empty? Empty sleep. There you go. <laughs> he done right. He done. Hey, empty the soul. He's so happy and so that 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 uh bulls he don't know what to do. He over there pressing he over there pressing it right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do one fifty starting to be it. Yeah, you ain't lying, Roman Cover. All right, one fifty starting bid. I'm gonna do these two. I got Batman one thirty-four. Nineteen sixty does have a date stamp on it. Five five off white, and this one will be uh, Batman two thirty eight hundred pager Neil Adams cover. No, Neil Adams cover, both in a one fifty. I didn't even know that did. Neil Adams. This one says. Uh, Bill Finger's story. Yeah, Great Bill Finger. He could have had that book before 75. He didn't want to type numbers. Didn't want it, huh? How often do you get to bid on a high grade bullseye? Oh, Plastic Man, huh? 
Then you get uh, Daughter 49, you get Civil War of Soldiers. What is it? What's going on there? Is that like Pride Monster? I don't know what he is. It says the Rainbow Creature. From 1960. Bill Finger's story. This is a 100 pager Neil Adams cover. Get both 150 star bit. Oh, did Nate dip? Oh, yeah, he did dip. Huh? Yeah, he dipped. It'll be brief plays after me and then you. Get that uh, beat. Oh, I thought I was done. No, there's no. Oh, you're done? You're, if you're done, no, that's cool. no, he ain't done. He can't be done. Once more under the breach. Hundred pager Neil Adams cover. If anybody watches these auctions, you know I tend to put up something stupid. You never know what that is. Don't go anywhere. And this is Bill Finger story. Nineteen sixty. We've got sixty-seven people watching. Which uh, more than we had an hour ago. So, yep. plenty of people still lurking. All the West Coasters are tuning in. Classic Silver Age, then the Neil Adams 100 pager. A lot of people like these Batman 100 pagers, DC 100 pager. The Professor X ripoff the cover there. They gave him a beard that mm-hmm. shows totally different character. On the front, bottom. The only guy in a wheelchair, so it's not that hard. Oh, yeah, I don't. I think that's the guy mm-hmm. from that Doom Patrol, which was their version of X Men. Get both one hundred and fifty. Hundred pages of Plastic Man and Batman goodness. <laughs> it's, just, it's a Neil Adams cover. Bill Finger on this, no longer with us, the writer who said, everybody's saying that really created Batman. Get yourself a rainbow guy, and then you can get Plastic Man in his hot pants. In the hot pants. Those are riding high. Creamy white guys there, huh? This is actually pretty nice for a damn. It is actually um, for 10 center date stamp. That's actually pretty high grade for 10 center. Let's see here. I think uh, I didn't you end up getting Instagram. Notes. 100 pager Neil Adams cover. Bill Finger story on this one. The Rainbow Creature it does have a date stamp on. It. It says a dummy appearance. So NT's appears, appears in this one. Yeah, indeed. I like to reward the people that stick it out all day. Put up something ridiculous at the end. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Brie plays his next, huh? Yeah, I'm next. <laughs> He's, like, he twisted. He's next. Just if you're going to put up a 266, make sure we know about it. Nine, nine, no, I got, actually, I got 1960 got with the date stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and Neil Adams. Yeah, I'm not going to let that go for it. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> All right, guys, they may want to get in on this. You're only talking about $75 a slab. Honestly, it probably costs 150 bucks to get these two graded. Um, why, why did they put date stamps on them? So they know when the books uh, arrived um, because, like, you had to yeah. look up to figure out what, like, if it was a June book or a July book. Uh, so they didn't know. So they used to stamp the outsides so they could recycle their stock. To find out if a comic had been sitting on the stand for too long, because they used to be able to send the unsold issues back. Um, yeah, so they, they get credit for sending them back, but yeah, a lot of people like the date stamp. And uh, it's a beautiful Neil Adams 100 pager. People like the 100 pagers. 
yeah this one's a nice silver age with the date stamp on it all right fair warning on the end line fair warning on the end line and line is coming down and line is coming soon Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Paul, what happens when the cartel shows up for their money and you don't sell all the books? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Those are my all books. Right. He's like, uh, right, nobody, everything nobody you saw see nothing. is mine. Nobody saw nothing. <laughs> Paul's going to be <laughs> hobbling in to the next show with a broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> What's the start bid here, buddy? We'll do 100. We'll just keep it going with 100. All right, so I got the boys. Uh, I'm going to call it volume one. So it's it's uh, one through six. Because <clears throat> after this, it switches over to, I think Dynamite picked them up after this. So this is the Wildstorm run. Garth Enos. So it's going to be one through six. A lot of first appearances here. Um, I'll do my best. I'm just going to read these. I wasn't prepared for this. So, so boys number one in a 9.2. Two conservative 9.2 first appearance of Billy Butcher um, first appearance of Huey Campbell yep. first appearance of the A train yep and, uh, yeah dude I forgot to tell you dude some of these books are are they, like the are print, kind of dates yeah the print counts on these are stupid uh, low six, six, six thousand right i think are the print yeah. counts on these yeah right right like and you're talking like walking dead early issues were higher than this Had so work, right yeah these print counts are so low man especially for the first six all right so anyway number two in a near mint plus uh first appearance of the frenchman first appearance of uh female of the species merciless Mother's first milk. appearance mother's milk i mean it's just these just stocked with first appearances this is the one in my opinion this is the book dude I, number one's great but this is the book um i i have one of these in a 9.8 fire book uh first appearance of the seven which means this is the first homelander right first homelander and that that's pretty much all i ever like that's what i care about also black noir but first First Homelander, like, he steals the show in a 9.4. I think the only issue of this I have left is the Mave sex tape issue. Okay. Uh, number four. This is the first full team appearance of the seven. Yes. And then also the Teenage Kicks or whatever. So yeah. that has, like, 15 different first appearances. Wait, is this right? Yeah. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. That's not supposed to be in there. I'll throw it in there. I don't care. I mean, the best part about this is like they didn't, they actually went all in on the actual live action. I was surprised. I thought they were going to hold back because these are gritty, gruesome stories. Yeah. <laughs> and they went full in on that series. And I give them credit for that. Um, monster, monster books. Wait, I do have to throw, yeah, so, no, seven's not part of the run. I do have other issues, but whatever. Let's just do the one through six. That's the uh, Wildstorm run. That's where it started. A uh, hundred bucks starting bid. I think, I, I mean, this book probably alone is worth close to a hundred bucks. Yeah, I would, I would say so. In that grade, especially. Yeah, and I'll, I'll show it. I mean, I'm, modern books is my thing, so. I know how to grade a modern book. I, I know the problem is like the the back, the back page corner. It was like a shipping. It was definitely like that shipping crunch that you get when you ship books. Right, right. It definitely if you could press it. I, I did press this one actually, and it came out really nice. But you work on it with a tack iron, a little bit of humidity. You're you're going to be in good shape on that one. All right. So for a key issue of number one. There are 
2,500 copies on the right. census, but you got to figure. So there are a certain percentage of those that are crack and resubmits. Uh, I'm trying to find out how many actual print count there were because I think you're right. I think it's well under 10,000. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's it was 6,000. Which That's I mean sounds right. And, to me. Yeah, and I hate to use like everyone's like always chasing spawn books, and I'm one of those idiots that chases spawn books, and they never got to 6,000. No, you know what I mean. Like, I think like the lowest spawn one was like eight, eight or nine thousand in like the in the two hundreds. And I buy them at twenty dollars a piece. And I'm drawing a blank on the website for uh, print counts. Somebody knows, drop it in the chat because it. I know it. It's, it's not uh, short box. It's something. Mono something. Where is it? Yeah, uh, Comicron. Comicron, thank you. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to you have to really learn how to use that website. It's Comicron. Yeah, once you learn how to use it, you're welcome. And this is again first Homelander. A ton of a ton of first appearances in these in these six issues. Season four is coming out in June, so I'm probably like probably should sell these in two months, but whatever. Here we go. One through six. What I'm just, what what year is this again? I can't remember. I think like two thousand six. No, 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 no. Earlier than that. No, no, way earlier. It might, have been two, it might have been 2000, actually. Uh, the, 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 the 2006, September 30th, 2006. It was 2006. Oh, good. Yeah. Now, Comicron is not You're a, welcome. a quick uh, yeah. site to pull up data on. Uh, it's, it's brutal. I mean, you have to really do so much homework. Um, You're welcome. Thank you. I can tell you that I know this. <clears throat> when this came out, <laughs> the book that it was number one sold 272,000 copies. I remember that for a goddamn fact. Um, it was Civil War. Oh, we lost Roman Curtis. And it sold 272,000 copies at that time. And this was at like 6,000 copies. I, I do remember that for a fact. If that makes any sense. Makes sense. He's upset about not being able to get that bullseye. I'll have to hear about that for three weeks. Yeah, you're going to be hearing about that. <coughs> All right, man. A hundred bucks to my buddy. There's the other one. The Grand Comic Book Database. Oh, is that the timer? All right. Well, yeah. we'll end line, end line. Yeah. I got a great deal. Um, Barbarian, well, certainly a pretty He's a good dude. Too. Nah, he's a good dude. I'll no tell you problem. what, Barbarian, I, I know for a fact you could resell these on eBay for like two fifty. He'll probably All right, honestly. All right, uh, <laughs> hold on. I guess Roman Curtis came back. He's gonna sell again, right, Roman Curtis? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. What did he put up? Because I missed it. Oh man, he had a crazy brick lot. A brick lot? What are you selling bricks? Yeah. I put the I put the the wolf, the man wolf lot together with the rogue and um, gambit lot, and threw a and threw a first Deadpool in there for two. For what? You throw it in for two. Six hundred. Right. I said I threw it in there too for six hundred. Sorry, All right, he forgot that it, barbarian. I'll put the end line for you. But yeah, it's already you. You got it. He oh, forgot to do it for you. <laughs> And you know All what? Right. Before you jump on there, Roman or Barbarian, I got these too. I got a bunch more. Oh, what were you showing replay? Let me see. These are for Barbarian. Uh, I got these too. So we talked. Are you ready, Roman Carter? Hit me up. <laughs> you ready? You ready, Roman Carter? For what? I thought I thought it was uh. It's in turn. 
just, hey. I'll put up my uh, first. Was it a hundred dollar starter bid again? First red Sonya um, national glass. Oh damn! Starter bid. No way. Too late for too late for that kind of stupid. All right. Well, hopefully there's people who want X Men in here. Uh, this. Oh great. god, no. What's the well, starter bid? It's a hundred bucks like it always is. All right. Go I'll ahead, do buddy. the Silver Age ASM, or I'll do some X Men builders. Uh, I'm hoping that somebody is watching. You open. I'm hoping that somebody is watching because let me show you what this book looks like. This book has been picking up a lot of here. This is a direct copy. It is a high grade copy. Um, I did not press this one yet. There's nothing to clean on it. Um, it just needs a press. I have more I can add to this. But what's up, Comic Dog? You you All right, Comic Dog is going to help you sell a hundred dollars starting video, guys. Here we go. I feel like I should find a, a cleaner new bag. Grab the other book for him, Comic Dog. Trying to help you. 89 likes, guys. Keep hitting the like button. <laughs> Honestly, if nobody's going to bid on this, I would much rather. Oh, John's in. Not sell this tonight. Um, uh, this is another book. I've had a really hard time getting high grade copies of this. I think mostly because the cover shows every little defect possible on it. Um, so the only weird thing about this particular issue um, is that this is actually a printing thing. So that's not actually a defect. That's actually a white printed line on there. I'm not sure why they, if it just happened to be a missing but just a bad part of the graphic or whatever, but that's not a defect. That's actually printed on the page. It's full gloss through it. Um, I just need to press this. <sighs> Real tough book to get in the high grades. The corners on this look good. Um, you get some Kitty Pride booty in there. And uh, I'll press this for whoever wins. I got a new press in the mail, so I'm up in my amount of presses now. Turn around, because one of my presses, I just don't like using it anymore. I just use it for uh, square bounds. It was like the first press I bought. It's not very nice. It's one of those swing arm ones. Yeah. They deform. So if you're going to buy a press, buy a clamshell. It work tremendously better. Um, I know what the last copy of this I sold for on the auctions were, uh, and I think this one is slightly better than that one, but I 
and again, this is actually printed on the book. That's not a, a tear or a, or a tick or anything that's printed on the book. So um, nice, bright white back. Get you some Legos. Days of Future Past. How many homages of this cover have there been? Tons. Really famous issue. In fact, I had another one that... Uh, Let me let Paul and MT know that I'm here. Yeah, let them know that you're here. <laughs> what are you doing? Speak <laughs> not itself. There it is. I've always thought that they actually ripped this cover off for that, too. But uh, Avengers had one like this. Uh, West Coast Avengers, I think, had one like this. Where are we at here? We're going to stall out at 125, huh? You got almost three minutes left. All right. Here's what I will do. Because really, it shouldn't sell for me. I'm hoping. I cracked this book out of a CGC or CBCS 9.6. Why did it get a 9.6? Somebody wrote in pencil inside of the cover. Mm. Pencil came right off. <laughs> Took me two seconds. Oof. All right, guys, we're gonna be in overtime. Strict, strictly, you're next. Uh, so, you ready? Yeah, I'm to throw this in so you can get, <laughs> you can get, and these are both six percent direct copies, one thirty three and one forty one. You got to come. All right, we're in overtime, here. guys. Overtime shot clock. You got to get the three twenty five. Actually, I should say 350, but I really want hey, to. Sit up straight, straight. Uh, 350, I'll put them both in. I cracked this out of a 9.6 CBCS. And the reason it got a 9.6 was it had pencil inside the cover. Came right off. No big deal. Um, this one, I sit think, up. after a press, should get an easy 9.6. Easy 9.6 with the corners where they are. Hey, sit up straight. Strictly here. Hey, MT, I'm curious. Did it say pencil in the notes, in the graders' notes? It just said writing. Writing. Okay. Writing inside cover. And somebody wrote on there, they paid $14 for this book in December of whatever it was. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, everybody, you're going to get a steal on this, buddy. Good job. Yeah. All right. In line coming down, in line coming down. I really thought this would have went closer to 200, uh, but I should have pressed it before I showed it, so it's my fault. Mm. That's all right, Airboy's a good guy. Um, I think that's it for the night, unless you're trying to throw a Hail Mary here, Strigley. No, nah, you, you ready, Strigley? I just fired up Old Faithful. I want to see if she still works, so she's, she's working, so I'm just going to hang out. How about you, Ron Curry? Right. You got a Hail Mary for us? I, I just threw my Hail Mary up and got no. Uh. Hail Mary, Mother of Grace. Uh, yes, I do do Cash App Barbarian. Airboy the Barbarian. I think you've sent me Cash App before, but it is scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Oh, damn. We lost Roman Curtis. My Cash App. Damn. Is right, Chomp? He said total. Total is uh, $210, Airboy. 135 buddy. 135 135 oh, I forgot it. I'm wearing the wrong damn shirt. <laughs> damn. God, you're already nice. breaking more rules. Nah, I'm going to turn it inside out. I'm good. Rookie. All right. Um, Get him in. Yeah. Thanks everybody for being here. Uh, I will do uh, housekeeping items here. We do auctions three times a week, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. Please give us a follow over on the Facebook group. Going to give away a graded slab. Uh, if you come back next month, I guarantee you will do the same. Need that? Need a cough button for these people. 
Sorry. Um, come back and see Paul. It's going to be uh, Jim Lee all night long. That's right. Nothing but Jim Lee books for four hours. So make sure you're on the pop up, pre plan pop up, which is going to be this Saturday, a week from today. And uh, the vintage auction, two weeks. Don't miss that one. The last two, three, two. I guess we've had two of them so far. They've been they've been absolutely phenomenal. Don't miss those. Then go see our buddies over at the Madhouse Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, I think they're back to doing all three shows a week. So come give them your support if you will. And Miss Liz, how do we do on likes, Miss Liz? John, uh, special shout out to you, John Tarasovic, first time buyer. Appreciate you very much. Uh, yeah. Thanks for being with us. Uh, hopefully you'll come back. I apologize for Paul Comics. He can't be helped. Uh, so please come back and check out Paul tomorrow. Actually, he'll be here hosting our regular auction on Monday. So, so uh, we'll come back and do that. And then there was one other new buyer tonight, right? Uh, I forgot who you are, but thank you very much. Uh, thanks to all our regulars who support us every auction we cannot do it without you guys cannot do it without you that's right this is the whale auction let's go around the horn let everybody talk to the people let's talk with roman curtis give us some more speech roman curtis here we go here we go hey appreciate everybody coming out and buying from everybody and uh and i got one buyer uh my man Tony and Y Junior get these books out as soon as I can on Monday. Boom boom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Replay making his debut appearance on the whale auction. Thanks for coming in, buddy. I know I pulled you off the uh, bench, forced you to do the show. So appreciate you coming and doing that for us. And you can come back and see him on Thursday night. Yeah, guys, thanks a lot, man. I actually I had, a, I had a really good time. I, yeah, I had a really good time. You guys were uh you guys were great and uh yeah i'll see you guys on thursday nights absolutely absolutely we'll give you a little linda linda we'll see you there too that's right that's right all right paul comics give us your war speech oh okay that's it strictly what do you got to say no nah, don't put it on me <laughs> no nah. that he's rocking that food man too <laughs> rocking that food man too all right, appreciate, appreciate uh MT for having me on the well show. Uh come back uh tomorrow night. We are still gonna be doing the auctions, longest running auction on the YouTubes, the strictly affordable auction on the Sundays. So y'all come and show us support. We appreciate y'all supporting us tonight and uh be sure to be here tomorrow. So, and how many likes did Miss Liz say we got there, Paul? I uh, know she's not the official like count, so I don't know. 89 likes says miss liz um i don't know we never push for when jackal's not here he's the guy who always begs for likes but i appreciate everybody who dropped us like um azraf hi and bye you missed a great show azraf you have to come back and check us Azraf. out next yeah, week yeah come back tomorrow night guys thank you so i have a slab here waiting on you uh wolverado says i saw 90. let's see if uh let's see if miss linda carter can't at least buy us another like to do it yet. come on linda find us a light find us a light <laughs> she's fighting off all those evil algorithms doing battle with the evil algorithm and if you are too young to remember linda carter we'll give you a little oh of that. my god <laughs> Uh, call me the Teddy King. Thoughts and prayers out to Mr. Jackal and his family. He's going through quite a bit of turmoil here. He's got multiple family members in the hospital. His wife just fell, had a major accident, so he won't be with us for like two weeks. Um, mm. So thoughts yeah. and prayers out to him and his family. Um, yeah, get better, Jackal. Fair warning, you will see Michael tomorrow. Uh, fair warning. <laughs> <laughs> See, where were those books earlier? You're slinging these Batman graded books. You could have been slinging those books. See, I know those aren't your books. Don't oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's, He's holding out. Mr. He's holding on. It keeps going. 
Mr. Consignment. Yeah, Keeps going. Keeps going. Of course <laughs> <it>. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, did Linda give us an extra like? What, what do you say, Liz? What happened? What happened, Liz? Did we get it or not? She says we're at 93 likes. Look at that. Linda got us four. Look at that. All right. Let me turn in. A little virgin alarm. I'll give you a little Taylor Swift. Shameless. Oh, virgin. What else we got here? Oh, we'll show off some of Mrs. Liz's art. Paul's doing a terrible job selling those horrible spots, but hey, we're here for you, Mr. <laughs> and he's uh, only got one, Liz. Get him. I need to get some new video clips to give our time. All right, well, we're going to keep droning on. I think we're all done here, unless you've got something you want to say. I ain't got nothing, man. I'm just going to hang yeah. out. Just, like I said, it's turn on old faithful just to see if she would crank up and she did so hey man just shout out to the auction for them all man uh, give us some plug us up <laughs> I got hey shout out, to, soon. shout out to paul he, he, he trying you know he, he's still learning <laughs> he's still learning uh maybe mt will come on there for 15 minutes to train him some more yeah. on paul's uh and shout out to paul's mm -hmm. pop-up uh known pop-up auction or playing pop-up auctions. Pop -up. Hey, you could be on there, Robert Curtis. Uh, no, nah. it's playing. I don't have no gym. I don't have four hours worth of Jim Lee books. Um, so, hey, like, <laughs> <laughs> damn. Who has four hours worth of Jim Lee books? I don't. I don't. Who does? Hey. This guy right here. This guy right Shout here. Out. Shout out to Paul hosting the show tomorrow. Shout out to Paul trying to host the show tomorrow. Him and. Him and whoever, but uh, right. we scrape the bottom of the barrel on Sundays and just give it to Paul to see, yeah, see what yeah, he can that's work on with. Tuesday. That's on Tuesday. Paul's gonna knock it out of the park. Yeah, Paul's gonna knock it out of the park. Paul, what you do you know, when like, you're giving lemons? Like when they give you said, lemons, man, I'm the greatest host ever. Oh, god, <laughs> like, a lot of people said that today, Paul. And guess what? Today yeah, like is for like strictly told me, guys, I'm the greatest host ever. Oh, Only Generation, you get that. Yo, for real, I, I want I want to come on the Saturday show and do four hours of Jim Lee. There you go. Like, I, I'm not I'm not even kidding. Like I'll, I'll bang out don't, five don't Jim want, Lee lots. Like you wouldn't. You don't want that abuse. You don't want that abuse. All right, guys, we're gonna shut it down. The wheels will come off the bus. Great, greatest host ever, guys. Great wheel show. If you need to, you need to say about you know, so. All right, good night, everybody. Happy 